Never miss a show by watching on the go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobby Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Oh dear. Good afternoon and welcome to Hobby Maker. How are you doing? My name is Nigel May. Look who's here. The weekend has begun with Simon Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Very oh, good. We've got something brand new for you. We've got a returning favourite as well. We've got lots coming up, but let's show you what's on the menu today here at Hobby Maker because there's loads of great shows coming your way. In fact, I'm going to say this now. Quite simply, a superb day at yes. Hobby Maker today. We have got a great lineup. Check this out, my friends. Uh, so Sandra's here right now. She's also back later uh, with more tips and tricks. But this hour, we've got the spring stencil set with Sandra. Uh, we've also got the return of the fabulous clock that you may have seen last week. That's back today. Um, we've got coming up in the later hour as well something brand new that you're going to absolutely adore. So don't miss either of Sandra's hours today. In fact, Sandra's got three hours today because she's got two. She's got you're doing a double whammy, aren't you? Well, it's nice to do that, actually, isn't yeah, it? Get a little bit seven. more in-depth with things. You're starting the day and you are ending the I day. I am, yes, yes. That's the yes. perfect Friday, yes. let it be said. Absolutely. But who are you sandwiching? Let's have a look what else we've got on the menu today. Sheena is here. Sheena Douglas, the gorgeous Sheena. Uh, the return of the In The Frame Bold Florals collection, getting its third viewing here on Hobby Maker. Um, very popular. That's going to be up at 2 o'clock. We've also got some great deals on pencils and things like that for you. Uh, she's going to be back with the Garden Visitors collection at 4 p.m. this afternoon as well. Uh, now, sandwiched in between at three and five, Liam is here. Now, I know it's a special surprise. I know it's something to do with We Are Makers, and I know that it's going to be an incredible price. I, d oh, I love the fact that he's looking at him. You can't move in this building without a picture of Liam, can you? you? Honestly. Um, I, see it in my, I see it in my nightmares. It's a bit scary. Uh, like, look, so <laughs> it's the weirdest picture of him. Uh, uh, is that 20 year old Liam? Oh, I Hasn't time well, been hasn't was time been cool? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, Liam's going to be here at three o'clock with the printmaker. And now I know that the price is brilliant. I know that on its own, it's normally about 250 quid. Um, Laura won't tell me the price, our lovely producer. She literally was like, are you sure that's the price? It's a surprise. I don't know about it. You don't know about it. But all I'm going to say is you will want it when you see it at three o'clock. Can we spell the word surprise right as well, please? That would be nice. Liam's special surprise. I love that. Su surprise. There you go. Liam's the worst speller in the world, so he'll look at that and won't even realise. He'll just be looking at the picture. Um, anyway, who's in charge of all this madness this afternoon? Certainly not me. Uh, let's have a look who's in the gallery. Who's in the dark room? Who's in the dark room? It is, look, producer Laura. There she is. And Dan, the man, is directing. He's got a poorly arm, but he can still spin on his chair and press the button, so he's all happy, which is good. Um, now... On the floor today, literally on the floor in the studio, is the rest of the crew. Look at them, like four sardines of creativity. We have got Levi, we've got Kat, we have got Lauren, we've got Jimmy. They are all there. Give us a wave, you crazy people. Bless their beautiful hearts. Right, they're going to stay there for the rest of the day, probably. Um, Sandra, <laughs> let's dive on in. Uh, oh, we've dear. got a brand new stencil set for you. It's the perfect time of the year. It really is. The spring stencil. You're already checking out on the website for this. I do not blame you. Sandra, what have we got, my lovely? <gasps> this is just fabulous. Do you want to see the, the samples? Uh, yes, please. Okay, well, there's obviously one there on screen. Look at the wellies. I know. And just beautiful. Do you, do, you, do you want to pass them over? Oh, Come certainly on. will. Together, or so, do you want to do it? So no, you do it, Sandra, because you're it. queen. I'll so do it then. what you get is obviously the A4 stencil with lots of great shapes there you to do. create what you like. You've got you inspiration and the book that comes with it as well. Um, so 
so let's let, I mean so let's just already. look at the look at the samples so you can see here that you've got the crocus it's the one of those that depicts 10 percent gone spring isn't it that's lovely and of course when you think that this is drawn from scratch mm. and that anybody can do anybody it anybody can do this look at the watering can you've got the little plant pots you've got the flowers you can mix and match this in with all the different ones as well you don't have to do it to get <gasps> see that's stunning that is spring personified it is isn't the it, we're getting it is little april showers but there's nothing stopping you actually putting that with the wellies having no. it the other way around a little bit of raindrops in there but of course look we've oh. got to have the little mouse it's obligatory now of course if you wanted to change that mouse a little bit you can change it to a rabbit ah what well, change the ears and stuff yeah change the ears, okay. absolutely yeah so you've got a bit of a mix of all the flowers there a lovely little wreath of course this introduces you to the oval like frames we do a lot of frames the snowdrop mm. you've got to have a snowdrop in there haven't you and again very looks very intricate very tricky to draw but the instructions i show you how this is stunning and then of course daffodils i mean it it's spring it, it's, it's spring. so it is i mean i think with this collection because we're talking about a lot of floral spring mm. items it is one of those ones immediately it puts a smile on your face yeah. immediately Absolutely. i think it lends itself to every occasion yeah. as well 20 percent gone i mean this lends itself to obviously sand tangle for of home course. decor it lends itself to sand tangle for your paper crafting mm -hmm. it lends itself to so many areas of the crafting of course arena. it does i mean don't think if you want to put these on panels and make mm. quilts out of them or cushions and things mm. like that you can do that easily uh, it's the same pen that we draw with fabric paper doesn't matter. what's what i'm going to say talking of fabric mm -hmm. laura and i laura producer and i we were um, lucky enough to check out sandra's brand new fabric that's coming to sewing street when is it uh, uh next thursday next thursday put a date in your oh, diary so are you on from like seven in the morning uh, I have no idea what time I'm on, but I'll be next there. Next Thursday. I'll be there. Whatever yeah, you're doing next, next Thursday, Thursday can cancel the whole day and watch Sandra, oh, quite I'm frankly. Oh, I'm so excited. Of course, Dobby's cousin's going to be there as oh, well. Oh, Dobby's in the house, by the way, today. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. They're both here, but Mackenzie's like, no, I'm not coming in. Dobby's just... Is there a little bit of rivalry with them now? I think so. I think they've been very good, and they've got, you know, got back together again, you know, and they're having a good chat, but now Dobby's like... Itching to but be Dobby's flying solo today. Yeah, okay. Mackenzie's in the other room reading. Oh, is he? He is. That's yeah, nice. he's like, no, I'm reading. He's like, I'm not. I'm not going on TV. Sorry. <laughs> um, just say you're on ten o'clock next Thursday right, on okay. uh, Sewing Street. So there All you right, go. I'll be there. Fine. Um, very busy for our brand new item. If you do want to go for it, do we get it exclusively here, Sandra? You do. You can't get to anywhere else. Nowhere else. So if you're looking elsewhere, if you go to other TV channels, don't go there. Cupboard spare. If you're going onto the high street to find it, you will not get it there either. And you won't even get it on Sandra's fabulous website. Well, you will find lots of fabulous stuff. Um, obviously, follow Sandra online as well for lots of inspiration. But we are going to have a real workshop this hour and on the later hours about how anybody can sand tangle. If you are thinking to yourself, I can't do this beautiful um, art form, you can you can and and i do get a lot of questions what is it what is it what is drawing mm. it drawings are different to everybody it depends whether you want to use it for mindfulness whether you want it to use it just to help you draw whether you want to do botanicals whether you want to draw mm. something else it's all about i think it stems back to when i was at school i was told i couldn't draw i was, was that red rag to yeah, a ball yeah don't draw but this is a, an easy when i say an easy way it's a way of you picking up a pen or a pencil and having a go and from beginning to end, I hold your hand, I take you through with all the instructions. The stencils are like a, a structure for you, and it shows that you can draw. It doesn't matter what it is, you will be able to draw these. And that's where we sort of, uh, we're sort of working from. So if you say, what is it? It's, it's making impossible art mm. possible. And that's the joy, isn't there. it? For everybody, it's a party that everybody yeah. is invited to. Um, I was going to say 30% of the stock is gone, oh. but in the time it took you to finish that sentence. Sorry, oh, No, it's, it's good. Uh, <laughs> Hurry up, 40% uh, yeah. of the stock has gone already now. We are literally less than 10 minutes in, so I'm feeling, oh, what time is it? What I'll time just is check it? out on this, by the way, <laughs> which is back with us today. Uh, we had it last I week, did, very promise. popular, it is back. Obviously yours will not all be coloured and sand tangled, you will need to do that yourself. You get all of the blank bits to sort of uh, build it up yourself, which is brilliant. Um, before we go into the demo, because that is indeed the time that it is, just to say this is how it comes to you, and we'll give you the details of the clock if you want to go for it. So that will pop up on the screen as well. Uh, but Sandra, the clock does say that it's demo o'clock. Right, here you. we go then. So first thing you do when you get your instructions here, on the back, I've numbered everything. So make sure you number your stencil because as you're looking through the instructions, I will actually refer to numbers and shapes. So here it is, look, I've actually numbered mine. 
Ah, nice. See, Don't use my regular pens. You need to use a Sharpie or something that's going to be permanent in that sense. But opening it up, you can see all the pictures on the front. Shows you what you've got in there. And it takes you from the very beginning all the way through. There's my umbrella. There's the little crocus. There's the snowdrop. So this is what I love every time. I never, ever, ever tire of seeing how simple it is because everything breaks it down. Yeah. Sandra breaks it down into shapes, so it's easy to build up to create your crocus or your snowdrop or whatever it Absolutely may be. Absolutely it is. And let's let's have a look. We've got the wellies here. Nice. It's, it's a really nice one. Uh, this is one of Leslie's favourites, actually. So here we go. Let's make a start. What have I got with me? Pen, pencil, rubber, really. Got, got a spare pen there. Well, that's it. That's it. That's all you need for now. Uh, if I was using a different coloured uh, tile or postcard, I would probably use my white chalk pencil. It's great for highlighting, but I don't need that on this one for now. So here we go. Flowers in wellies. That's what I've called it. It's a classic. Flowers in wellies. You shape it's one. It's a nice spring, I feel, doesn't okay, it? Yeah, shape one. Right, to form the main wellie shape. So actually, I think before we do that, I'm going to put myself a little line in there. Uh, nearly half the stock has gone on this. Twenty-one forty-five is your price for the stencil, brand new, um, and of course the book of inspiration as well. It's a full-size book as well. I mean, how many different designs have you got in there? There Sandra? are six. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yeah, oh yes, yeah, shouldn't look, shouldn't I? Uh, so you've got six in <laughs> there. So you have all the flowers. You've got the welly boots in there as well. That beautiful sort of like egg-shaped wreath with the little mouse inside and all of that. So you have everything you need within the book. LT1204 is your item code. Three ways to order. You can either order via the phone lines. It's a free phone telephone number 0800-001-433. The call centre is just upstairs and they are waiting to take your call. We have to get in extra troops when Sandra's in. Uh, you can, of course, order as well if you want to via the app, the Hobby Maker app, or you can do what the team do. Come on, team, tell us. Let's get to the website together, all as one big Hobby Maker massive. All the W's, what? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy speaking for everybody there. I love that. Levi didn't get in first, so he was literally like, Jimmy's done. Doing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hobbymaker.co.uk. Oh, okay, I've, I've split my rectangle up into little sections, okay? okay. So at the moment I'm on sort of step three, uh, or step two actually. It wants a little bit of shape here, okay? So I can put that in so I've got a bit of an idea as where I'm going. So this is going to give me sort of a little bit of a, a, a shape. This one not so curved. Same sort of thing here, see? So this little curve's reminding me where I'm going. So at the moment, I've got a structure. So using the lines the as a guide. Just as a guide, yeah. I'm just going to ask our lovely Laura. Can we get some names up on the board, please, lovely Laura? There we go. Oh, no, we've, we've still got John, we've got John Scott on the board at the moment. Lovely though he yeah. is. Okay, I'm going to draw in just one wally, just so you can see. You would do this in, in both, of course. Okay, and here we've got a little bit of a line going off. So you see you've got a very sort of straight on view. Imagine doing a whole row for the family. That'd oh, that really would be nice. nice. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, Sandra, the board's just come oh, on with names. We're full. This. Everybody, Hi, everybody from Sherry through to Susan, through to Jennifer, through to Sylvia, through to Lynn, to the a crafter that's ordered five. Loving that. Uh, we've got Christine, Carol, Avril. You are all there. Welcome aboard. Oh. If you are new, welcome to the Hobby Maker family. If you are a regular, hi, welcome back. Good hey, afternoon, everybody. See what I'm doing? I'm using my pen now and I'm drawing little curves at the bottom and not quite joining it up. It's got a little bit of a sort of a little top section mm. there. And then let's give it a little bit of a, a sole here. If everybody checks out, nearly 60% of the stock will be gone. Go. Is it when it's gone, it's gone, Sandra? Uh, we, we can add a, a few more. It's, uh, let's see where we go. But if you want to get it for this first batch, 60% of the stock has yeah, gone already. But there we go. So you see you've got your sort of first welly shape. You do the same with both. But let's move on and put a little bit of a flower in there. Lots of different shapes here. Now you might find I don't use every single shape in the instructions, but this gives you scope. Once you've drawn it, you can then sort of do your own thing with it. So it's saying use number 27 at the moment. So there's my 27. So I'm going to put this in, but I'm coming back to pencil for construction. It's such a simple formula, isn't it, to build yeah. it up? That's what I love as well. You've made sure that everything is very self-explanatory. Yeah, build it up as you're going, okay? So I've got a, a few little shapes there. And then I'm going to put the letter Y in. Okay. Okay, so I can do it, I'll do it, you know, you can do it in different directions, you can do it different ones, because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, just put my pen, actually I'll use my pen, you could see it. So I'm going to sort of create a little curve there, look, mm -hmm. and it's come out to create the bottom of a petal. And then another All one here. All of a sudden that crocus appears, doesn't it? And then I've got another one here, look. So it's like little Vs. Yeah. 
and then you can keep it like that but you can do another and come back out and out See, this is what I love about Santangle, the fact that breaking it down to the shapes demystifies it. Yeah. It makes everybody think, oh, actually, it's quite easy to be an artist. Exactly. All I've done is I've repeated those shapes, but I've used that oval to help me. So how many other flower shapes can you use mm. or create with that oval? But if I, was, if I was trying to do that myself, I would have probably tried to do one petal, then the next petal, and then it probably would have been a little bit out of Seriously? kilter. Yeah. But I love the fact that putting that oval in and that Y, which yeah. I think is really genius. And you're like, why? Makes it easier. Why? Because Why? it makes it so much it more simpler. It, yeah. Right, I'll do a leaf and then I'll show you the next bit. So a leaf, let's bring a line up and I'm going to put a little loop on the top and as I come round, I'm going to do a wobbly line. And then on this side, I'm going to do a wobbly line. Leaf. Done. Okay, so if I bring that in, let's have a look at this. I've drawn it all in pencil. I've got my little flowers. I've had some of these little Ys in there, smaller and um, little leaves all around. Once I'm happy with that and I think, yep, yeah, all done, I would then come in with pen okay, and I'd draw it top, in pen. Yeah. Having said that, you don't have to. If you want to leave it like that and perhaps watercolour it, it's going to give you a softer feel. But we do quite like our sort of uh, black views, don't we? So we could watercolour this or we could use colour pencils. Shall I get the watercolour there? Yes, let's do it, Sandra. And um, busy, busy, busy. Vicky in Northamptonshire, you've gone for two. Carol in Kent, uh, Dorothy in the Isle of Wight, hello Dorothy, uh, Veronica in Staffordshire, Christina in East Sussex, Marlene in Minnesota, do we send to America? We do, yes, oh, we oh, do. Cap, I'm clapping that. Uh, cap shipping and handling to America of $12.95 and of course a cap PMP here in the UK of $3.95, so no matter where you are, oh, hi, whether you are in Runcorn or Rill over here or whether you are in Milwaukee or Minnesota over in the States, you have got a cap shipping and handling, Fantastic. capped PMP. Um, very busy, I am loving this. Don't forget the best way to check out is to go by the website, you can put things into your basket, save on your PMP. Um, you're very busy in America, Sandra. This is good. It's lovely. Hi, everybody. Spread. Hi. Hello. Look, who else is there? We have got uh, Marlene in Minnesota. Hi, Marlene. We've also got... Oh. There was another person up there from America just now. Where have we got them? Where have they gone? Maybe they've slipped off the side of the board. There you go. Uh, New York is five hours. It's four hours. Five hours behind us at the minute. I didn't know that because oh, I was speaking so, to yeah, someone so in New York last night and I had to work out the time difference. Oh. Right, I've, I've added a little bit of colour in places. I'm not going to colour all of it because, of course, I've got a finish. But you can see, if you think that colouring's not your thing and you struggle and it takes too long, I've not really coloured. I've applied colour. I've mm. not coloured in. It's almost like a hint of. It's a hint yeah. because then if we bring a little bit of water in and... Let's have a look. Now, I have actually got um, a if really nice set of instructions coming up later for how to use watercolour in, uh, with flowers. If you do want the watercolour pencils, by the way, we'll get the details up on the screen. They are a fabulous collection. Yours do not come in this fabulous roll-up They thing. don't, but Yours you know what? Tin, but you, you can make one. Yeah, it's a free download off Where my do we website. Santangle.co.uk. And it gives you the instructions on how to make that. It's dead easy. It's, it's dead cool easy. Well, it's lovely, this is isn't it? Quite frank, and right. it just makes them look lovely. It really does. I love it when it unravels. I know. It's like ready it's for like, action. Yeah, ready for yes. action. But you can make, a, you know, you can make a, a pocket for your postcards if you want, whatever you want to do. I mean, here, look, I've got my little swatches, so I've tried every colour in there. So I know if I need to, I've got them in there. But you can put your other bits in there as well. You can put your brushes oh, yeah. and your tortillons and your pencils all and all sorts of, of stuff. Yeah, you can make loads. There was one lady who came to class and she'd actually got one that was twice as long. It was wow. amazing. Uh, anyway, anyway. Did you have envy? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> 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 All right, so once you've got your colour out, watercolour, nice and clean water, okay? You see there's dripping, it's too much. That's why what I actually normally do is I test it on my hands. You see, if it runs down, it's too much water okay, on. Okay, so that's all so right, yeah? So you can ease off a little. See, a oh, bit it did run a bit. Yes, it did, So yeah. just take a little bit off. It's fine. So it just needs to be wet, but not not. Yeah, sweet. absolutely, yeah. I mean, it depends what you're doing, but because this is kind of small, you don't want to be putting too much water in, and you want to be doing it in little amounts. Do you see how that's working its way out? But I'm, I'm chasing. I've got like a line forming. So I'm going to come back in with my water, clean my brush, and then go back in with clean water. And what I'll actually do, you'll see that that line disappears as it blends out. So we do the same on the other side. Pamela's in, in Staffordshire for the pencils. Hi well done, Pamela. Pamela. Oh, do you know, they're, they're such a lovely sort of choice of colours and they're all really vibrant. There's a really nice bright pink in there. But you see, don't, don't overdo it. Take your time with it. Okay, it is quicker than actually using regular coloured pencils. It really is. But you always need clean water 
go back in where that line is before it dries and clear it off. So yeah, I'll do a couple of those while at it. But of course, you're going to want to put glitter on these, aren't you? Of course. Glittery wellies is glittery the law. Glittery wellies. I do always think as well, I mean, I find it really tranquil and calming to watch, but to actually do sand angle as well, there is something incredibly um, mindful about it. Wow. And in, yes. in a world gone mad, where quite frankly, a lot of the time we're like, oh, hang on a minute, this world isn't the nicest place. It's nice to sort of block it off sometimes and just go into your own little world of fabulous sand tangle. It, it is. I mean, we do use that word mindful a lot now. And any craft, in a sense, can be mindful as long as you're focusing on that moment. But you can lose hours doing this. I am going to say, I do think sand tangle, though, is one of the first crafts where maybe the mindful word was used. I think so, yeah, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Um, busier and busier. You may have just noticed on the screen as well, we had that Liam's surprise. The surprise is that he ever looked like that photo, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, but yes, Liam's going to be here at three o'clock this afternoon with a with the We Are Printmaker, which is a brilliant bit of kit. And I know I've sold it to you before, and it was about 250 quid that you're supposed to pay for it. There's a bundle this afternoon with lots of extras. I don't know the price. Laura knows the price. Uh, Liam knows the price. I'm not being told it because they're literally like, you won't believe the price, you won't believe the price. Um, so we will see. We shall see what goes on this afternoon at three o'clock. But once it's gone, it's gone. So if you want to get it, shop with us at three o'clock. We're not putting it on the website to three o'clock, though, because otherwise there may be a bit of a Ferrari. And quite <laughs> frankly, we've got other things to look at at the moment, like the lovely sand tangle. OK, you see, I've done a little bit. The thing about watercolour is don't ever fill the whole thing. You want to leave some white of the paper because that's going to give you that highlight and that 3D. So that gives you the authenticity. Yeah. But the lovely thing about watercolour is what you can do, see that's drying off there, is you can come back in with a pen and you can add little bits over the top. Now, obviously the pens are all important as well, which is why Sandra brings us the Santangle Fine Liner pens. You've got a set of three, you get two of the 03 and one of the 05. Are those the two sizes that you would recommend for anybody, whether they, they be are. beginner, intermediate or advanced? Yeah, the three is brilliant because it's going to give you a nice fine line and that means everything that you draw, it's going to be able to get you that detail. The five, brilliant because if you need to fill little bits in, mm. you don't want to be using a small nib, you want something a little bit bigger. So between the three and the five, you're kind of sorted, aren't you? You're sorted, yeah, you don't need anything else. Really. So you've got three of those pens, two of the 03 and one of the 05, 7.99 is your price, TF1256 is the item code on that one. Okay, once you've done it, you want to see the card? Yes, please. I will look at that. Now, um, Sandra, it goes without saying, and I know the answer, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, if people want to make things for charity, craft fairs, things like that, or they want to do like projects to sell, um, what's the lay of the land? Now, because I'm giving you a stencil and I'm giving you instructions, don't copy them, mm -hmm. but once you've created something and you've drawn it and you've coloured it, it's yours. As soon as you put pen to paper, it's yours. So if people want to do craft fairs and sell things like yeah, this, absolutely. Frames, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and other people out there do. It's it's fine, but um, you can see. I and mean, we've got a bit of a background on here, haven't we? You know, that background's a stencil. It is a stunning. Yeah. We are so busy for our yeah. stencil, our fabulous spring stencil. If you would like to go for that, which includes the wellies and more, because we've got six fabulous designs on there. Of course, uh, your designs are. In fact, I'm going to show you the cards again because they're just too good. Uh, you've got that design there, which of course is the lovely um, the wreath. You can see. We're going around the outside, that circular, that sort of egg shape. I mean, it kind of says Easter, but not Easter. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because, I mean, Easter's just one fleeting moment in spring, isn't it? So you can use that. I mean, it's, it, Easter's been very early this year, but it's not just for that. That oval frame is going to be really useful for a lot of things. It, it's a, it's almost a background yes, for any you of the flowers. Yeah, anything yeah. around there, which so is I've wonderful. So I've given you some different sizes so uh, you can use Then that. we have our fabulous flower there, which is our... That's our snowdrop. Snowdrop. Though. I couldn't think of the word then. I was say blue yeah. bell, but it's not blue bell. No, it's just the other one. Snowdrop. Blue summer. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I went silent. What's it called? Yeah. Uh, then we got this. I couldn't think. Literally, it was in my That's brain. That's fine. Thought, We're all here to help. Well, blue bell, I always think are kind of like snowdrops, aren't they? They are, because they've got that bell yes. shape. Yeah, yeah. But they're yeah. blue, and I thought it's not a blue bell. What is it, Nigel? Snowdrop. Uh, then you've got the table there as well, you can see. Then we have the crocus. Yeah, it's beautiful, that. And it's, it's a small flower, but you can actually make it bigger. But sometimes you just want a small card. And sometimes you want a large project. Sometimes you Look want it bigger. That. Yeah, so it's got a little bit of everything in there for you. So whatever you sort of want to go with, it's all there. And the other design, of course, that you have is the wellies that Sandra has just demoed. Um, LT1204 is your item code on that one. How much of the stock has gone, Laura? 60%. Is that including people within, in their baskets? 
Oh, no, that doesn't include people that have it in their basket, our basket dwellers. So 60% of the stock has gone. Um, our basket dwellers, you need to check out your baskets. I'm wagging my finger. Uh, now, Sandra, what time is it? I know. Do you know... It's time to announce that we haven't got much of these left. No. That's what it is because the stock is flying. It's the wooden clock kit. This is the end product. Obviously, this is what you can do with it. You need to sand tangle it yourself. You need to add the color to it because this is how it comes to you. As nude as the day is long. Yep. So you can see you've got the numbers on there and then that is all. Um, also included, you are going to get all your hands that you need, your bits for the back there as well. Do you need to supply a battery? That's the only thing. Yeah, you've got to put a battery in there. And at the moment, I haven't got that glued oh. in only because I'm carrying it back and forth. If you wanted to, then glue it in. But you don't have to if you want to sort of flat pack it in. So there's nothing the right way. There That's you go. it. So you can have it the other like way that. if you like. Do you know, the beauty about this as well, if you wanted to do two versions of it, you could actually use the back because it's cherry veneer on both front and back. Yes. So you could put your own little clock design on the back and then change it according. You've only got to unscrew the, the mechanism, you know, turn it around. At this you price, want. $14.99, I wouldn't just go for one because I think once you start doing one of these, you're going to be asked by friends to do more. You could have a nice little business doing Working these. Working on wood is really nice, actually. It's a really nice way of. of spending some time but it's all pun intended mm -hmm. um i love the fact that you've got the instructions of this as well so literally step-by-step -step instructions from sandra taking you through exactly what you need to do giving you serving suggestions that you don't have to stick to religiously but i love the fact that obviously it's that guiding it's that helping yeah. hand isn't it it is if you want to create what i've done on there then it's there the instructions show you that but then you can take little bits of it if you want to or you can just do your own version. You could put your spring on there if you want. It's nice. entirely up to you, whatever um, you want to put. Now, producer Laura's just done her serious, serious oh. voice. She's like, people are going to have to be quick because two thirds of the stock has gone. Uh, two thirds gone already. It's back with us today. I mean, last time we had it was it was a week ago. It was last week, yeah. It was and last we did, week, we didn't bring it? enough, so I did promise I'd bring some back this. This time. So it's back in stock today, but Sandra, love you dearly, but you didn't bring enough. Uh, two thirds of the stock is, is gone already. Uh, IQ1263 is your item code on that one. Again, three ways to order. Uh, you can order via the phone lines, of course, via the Hobby Maker app. If you haven't downloaded the app, you have, haven't you? You've downloaded the app, haven't you, Sandra? Of course. Yes, too Absolutely. right. That was the first day. Bless your heart. Be like Sandra, download that app from your Google Store, your app store, or you can be like Levi and go to the website. All the W's word. Hobbymaker.co.uk. Thank you, Levi. Good diction today, Levi. Yeah. Loving yeah. that. Uh, right, you were better now you didn't have the interruption from Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I felt you better, like flying solo. Um, Sandra, should we do another demo, lovely lady? We can, yes. I was I was just going to put my postcard in my postcard folder. But oh, oh, whip I them out, like, because well, these are fab. I'm gone. I mean, I know it's not finished, but I will finish it. Oh, we need to see the postcard folders, though, I mean, because yeah, these are... Yeah, because you didn't see... Yeah, there they are. Oh, thank you. I say, I've yes. never seen these before, and literally, yeah, I'm lovely, obsessed. This is the multicolored one. Look, it is all pearlescent and fabulous. It's like the inside of an oyster. Is it like abalone? Is that what they call it? Like, yeah, or aurora borealis. Yes, that kind of it thing. gives me that kind yes. of vibe. Um, this has got 25 pockets, the multicolor one, as does the clear one we've got in a moment. So these are the right size for you to put your postcards in. Obviously, this one's full. You need to put your yeah, stuff in there. This is, yours is going to be empty. Oh, well, well, there you oh, go, Sandra. I can put it there. Look. See, one on each side, 50, 50 postcards. My or word. 50 photographs. I, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to get this as a photo album, again, you, me and Laura, who's getting a lot of name checks this hour, uh, we were talking <laughs> upstairs, weren't we, about the yeah, fact yeah. that people don't print up their photos. No. And you should do. Print them up, put them in an album like this. It's like proper old school, but I love the fact it's all modern and jazzy with the coloration to it. Um, if you would like to give this one, twelve ninety nine is your price. It's the multicolor one, OP1221. Launched last week, so it's a returning favourite, but oh my word, it's not going to be around for long. Elizabeth Barbara, Beverly Vivian, well done, you've checked out to the following people. Crafter Crafter and another crafter. Don't know who you are, but welcome to the family. Uh, Janice in Greater London, Barbara in Nottinghamshire, and Beverly in Renfrewshire. You need to check out your baskets. Look at that. I just like doing that uh, when the light I hits know, But it. you can still draw on it. You can, so you can still stand tangle it. Well, that. okay. Absolutely. Let's prove this with the next yeah. one. So that's the multi. Oh, that's yep. the multicolor one. If you want to go for that, this is the clear one. But obviously, this one has been sand tangled onto. So yours will not come like this, Sandra. No, right? yours will come completely clear. But yeah. you know, the beauty with that is you can draw on the outside or the inside. You can put something underneath and trace it. 
So I'm intending to do all the way around it. So you're going to try and get it right the way around the yep. back as well. Yep. But you do need um, a permanent marker. So I, you can't use one of mine, it'll come off. You need a Sharpie. So not your fine liners, you need your Sharpies for that. Okay. Uh, again, 25 pockets in there and the little postcard ring binder if you'd like to go for that. That's the clear one. Um, I would go for at least one of each. With our cat PMP here at Hobby Maker, it makes sense to go for as many as you can. So, so you've nice, got the multicolour, which I just love the jazz in Well, I like that, but I also like the fact that it's clear I can draw on it. I like to draw on things. So Do you know what I think? Yeah. For me, it's like the jazzy one I would, I would want for myself. Yeah. For this one, I think this is a fail safe. You know, you can give this to anybody and it's mm. going to suit the brief, Oh, absolutely, it? yeah. yeah it's, it really it's is. It's not going to cause any uh, offence at all. Exactly. <laughs> uh, to what you yeah. never do, Sandra. Uh, no. uh, 12 99 is your price on that one. UF1293, your item code, if you would like to go for that. Uh, Busy, busy lines uh, now, Sandra. What have you got there? Butterflies. Well, I've got some butterflies out because you know we talked about the background yes. on the, on this lovely card here with the, the well is you've got this the grass and the butterflies. From. This is where it came from. So, um, yeah, it, it shows you butterflies. I'm just going to show you the stencils because there's, there's quite a few bits and pieces. Yeah, this in is here. busy already. You guys have found this on the website, but if you want to go for the butterflies, uh, we will give you the details popping up now. OF1281. They sold out a month ago. They are back in stock today, but already, how much of that stock has gone already? 20% of that stock has gone already. It's, it's really pretty. And if I show you, you've got this lovely background. So this is going to be useful for everything. Mm. What's well, a fail safe again? It this certainly time. is, yeah. yeah. And you think Riverside Row, Lockett Lane, you've got all your bits and Perfect. your components. Mm. But as well as that, you've also got this stencil. So this one gives you a main silhouette. So you get both of them? You get both of them. You've got your little butterfly in there as well, because if you want to mask things, You've got your detail that will actually fit into this one. So that's so clever. And you've got a little row here. So uh, the way that we've we've sort of used this is uh, actually I'll show you both. I'll show you the butterfly itself. So a couple of things you can do here. Let's uh, let bring a little bit of ink in. Uh, we're busy for the butterfly. Jill in County Durham, Julian Leicestershire, you've come in, and there's a crafter that's going for three of these, Sandra. Oh, G I, I reckon you've got some friends that you're going to be doing a bit of crafting together. Now this is a great way of doing something because it, it's um, giving you a comfort zone. Yes. You know that you can already ink and you're happy with that. So that's not too tricky, if you know what I mean. Um, tangling in it is a different thing, isn't it? And you think, oh, I've got something to start with. There's my butterfly. Okay. So if I bring this one over the top, and you've seen stencils sort of like, like this before. So this is nothing crazily different or new in any way. Third of the stock gone and more in baskets. Yeah, I'm using the same colour. Let's, I just want to use it a little bit. Here we go. I'll do one side so you can see. The so difference. you're getting a darker colour by pressing harder? Uh, yeah, I'm just going back over it. Yeah, absolutely. So you can you mix and match. You can do whatever colours you like. You can draw through it if you want. Let's, let's do a little bit of that. I'll do that on this side. I'll just draw through a little bit and you can see the difference. And of course, there's nothing stopping you having half of it inked and then the other half of it you can tangle around let's do that so there we go i've got a little bit of both going on there all right That's so you gorgeous. could leave it as this or let's put some antennae on so a little curve with a bobble on the end and then here because i've sort of started with these little loops we can continue with loops so let's put another one in there and then another one let's go a little bit smaller as we go up so now i'm creating my own version so this is changing the design as was and making it whatever you want. Whatever you want. So let's put some more of those lines in with bobbles. So you can fill it and do whatever you want with it, or you can use it traditionally to create your own sort of variation. So clever. I mean, butterflies do. as well. I mean, I know we say this in all areas of the crafting world, but butterflies do work for every occasion. They always... You know, they can always hide a faux pas as well if you've made a bit of a mistake on a project. They're great for that. But I just think they're so beautifully universal. You can. I'm just giving you some ideas here so you can see there. I've put some pencil on both sides. I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't do everything on one, but it's nice to sort of give you that little bit of an idea. So let me find... Um, one of my tortillons. Oh, what is a tortillon? A tortillon is a paper stump, but when you say tortillon, it sounds, sounds so much sense, nicer. What do, what do we use it for? Sam? We use it because I've used my 2B pencil. It's nice and soft. I've got a real nice cartridge paper. So if I come on in with this, and I'm going to use it to soften that pencil. 
Now, we do have tortillons on the show today, so we'll pop the details up for those as well. Um, lots of great essential items on the show today, alongside the clock and the stencils and the brand new bits and pieces. Uh, things like the tortillons, the pencils, of course, um, Sandra's, you know, pretty much all of the things that you need to get yourself going or to restock on in the Santangle world. Of course. So you see what I've done here? Look, I've added some just on one side. Look how 3D mm. that looks. And I've not, I've, I've used a bit of paper. Yeah, a paper stump. So let's but do if you say tortillon, tortillon it, it sounds like a... You do need these if, you, if you're going to do this. And you can see if you've never coloured before, it, it's that wow moment when you suddenly bring some in. So look, you've got different looks on one shape, and I've only used that butterfly. So if you wanted to, say, do um, a bit of a background, so you've got various here. You've got your grass. You've got your little fireflies or bubbles, and you've got butterflies. I never thought of them as fireflies. That's lovely. Yeah, absolutely. It's back to uh, Lockett Lane, isn't it? Yes. So if I, I'm going to just sort of do a little bit. Now, what I've done with the grass at the bottom is I've made it repeatable. Here we go. So if you want to, um, you know, do a, a longer sort of uh, border here, you can do that because it will all match. Or you can say, do you know what, I quite like, I've not put that bit on, and I want to use a little bit there. Let's put a little bit here. We are so busy, so, so busy for all of the items on the show. Um, the weekend has started, quite frankly. It's Friday here at Hobby Maker. I dare say it is where you are as well. Uh, yeah, well, is it going to be Is it going to be Thursday or Saturday anywhere? I suppose in Australia it might be Saturday already. Oh, I don't know. Because they're sort of like 11, 12 hours ahead, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, it'd be 1 a.m. in the morning, wouldn't it, I think, over in Australia. Yeah. Anyway, wherever you are, probably you're not in Absolutely. Australia. <laughs> so, yes, happy Friday. We've got lots of great yeah. shows coming your way. And Sandra is here for not just this first show, starting the day. She's also here for a double whammy to finish the day. Mm -hmm. A double whammy with Dave. She's going to be here yeah. at 6 and 7 Some tonight. Demos in. So, I've just added a couple of little bubbles there. They could be fireflies, they could be mm -hmm. bubbles, but I've not used the whole thing. But what I could also do is... If I think, well, I just want one butterfly, you could mask it off and just create the one. So you've got different sizes, so you could put them where you want. But a really nice thing of this as well, you could fussy cut them and you could create their own little That's a nice idea. butterflies. So you could have your three-dimensional if you wanted to. And this is just all working from one stencil. I know, uh, Nigel, you've got some little samples over there. Oh, I have. So you can see how it goes. If I just bring that cut that back, there's always a worry on See how that sort of works. When stuff is behind me that I don't look because I'm too busy looking at I know. you. That's the thing. So there's our little butterflies, look, and it's all just sort of beautifully works, and you can cut bits out. But you, you know, there's there's can other I things ask you a can question? do with it. I don't know whether I've ever asked this before. Are they food safe? Because if I wanted to do like dustings of butterflies on the top of, you know, cakes and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. In the washable. So That'd if you use right, warm soapy water, what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't use ink on one. No, wash no, it no. And get, then if you're going to do it, get two sets. Do yeah, get two sets. Specifically for food, but, but yeah. I'm just thinking of like cupcakes or just, you know, yeah. Yeah, a beautiful wedding flexible. cake with butterflies across it. Yeah, it'd be gorgeous. Lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Um, let's remind you what you're getting and then show you what you can do with it. So these are what you are getting. Uh, for 16.35, your price on this one, OF1281, your item code. So you've got the butterfly shape itself. You've also got the detail. So that obviously will go within this. So yeah. it's the right size, perfectly yeah. sized. So you can get all of that detail layered up on the, out, uh, the outer shape. Then you have this little border of butterflies, which I think is lovely. I mean, obviously you could replicate this for larger projects, scrapbook pages, of brag course. books, things yeah. like that. Yeah. And then you've got your stencil at the top here with that kaleidoscope of butterflies. Then those fireflies. It could also be bubbles. It could they be could absolutely little planets. Yeah. It could uh, be whatever you like. They're lovely for water as well. Yes, bubbles. I yeah. think if, if you've got a piece of artwork you've done and you just need something, putting some bubbles, not all cover it completely, but no. a few bubbles. You could mask a few off and they're sort of random enough that you can mix and match and use a few bits. A little bubble here and there. You, yeah, it that. looks fabulous. Uh, and then you can see down here, you've got your grass as well, which is rather fabulous. But there's nothing stopping you if you had that at the top of the card. It could be something else, couldn't it? Like yeah, fringing it's, it's or Absolutely. Something. There's just so many possibilities with it. You get your guidebook taking samples. you through what you can do with things as well. But also, look, uh, we've got some samples here in the studio, things that you could do. I love that, Sandra. Do you know, it's really pretty, isn't it? It almost looks tiger butterfly kind of thing. It looks a bit moth-like. It me? does. Yeah. Do you know, what I've done with that is I've actually put the, sort of the mask down that I did earlier and then I put a, a pattern stencil over the top of it and inked through it. So you're getting that stencil 
superimposed onto your shape. See, I think that's so dramatic and the complete antithesis of this one because this is so calming. Look at that. I mean, it's just so subtle. It's there, but it's not there. So how has that been done? That's been done with a very, very light ink around the outside of the butterfly, creating that little mask. And then I've used pencil and blended it real gently and gradually in that middle bit there. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. It? And this is the other one that's in the, the instructions. It shows you how to do it in the instructions. And there's my uh, patch of butterfly. I love all of the doodling around the outside as well. That's yeah, just fabulous. It, and again, I've used um, a lighter coloured pen to actually add that in because the focus there is on the butterfly. Of course, a little bit of pencil shading. It looks three-dimensional, doesn't it? Mm, it does, doesn't it? It looks so layered on that yeah, card. Yeah. Um, OF1281 is your item. Go busy for that. Um, Stock-wise, Laura, did you say 60%? 60% of the stock has gone on that already. It's your butterfly silhouette. Back with us. Is this back with us still brand new? Uh, it's back. It's back. It's back it's with back. us today, yeah, isn't it, yeah. this one? It's, it's, uh, it's back with us today. I'm seeing it for the first time, but lots of you are going for that. I don't blame you. You know when you buy something from Sandra, you are getting quality. Now, what are you reaching for now, young oh, lady? Oh, do you know, this one, it, <coughs> this was inspired by a class, actually, and I do have somewhere the, the class piece. Oh, fabulous. So this is one that we, we did, and rather than actually having a stencil and tangling in it, we had a stencil. When I say we had a stencil, it didn't look like that. You never get a stencil that you draw around. They had to draw this. <laughs> so we then tangled around the outside. So I thought, what a really good idea. So I had to play with a few different bits and pieces. And this is what I came up with. Yeah. So you've got your, your dog, your cat, your stag. Then, of course, you've got your whales or your fish, and you've got your bunny. This reminds me of a lovely little chocolate. Bunny. Yes, absolutely. I imagine this with a little bow around the neck. Yes, one of those of little bells. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's just lovely, isn't it? So I created this stencil. Here we go. This is what it looks like. So inside, you do get quite a bit, and I'm going to sort of like hand you over to Nigel. Here you go. Got this a is an easier way to show it, isn't it? It's these fabulous there. boards. I think this is stunning. It's like, it's like the ark is empty. Do you know what I mean? I mean, look, you've got all the animals here. You've got your cats, you've got the dogs, you've got the hare or the bunny rabbit, sorry. Uh, you've got the fish there as well, which could be anything from like a little goldfish or a carp through to like a shark. It can be whatever you like. Uh, the stag is there as well. Um, you could make such fabulous things here. It could be bunting you could do. You could do it for crafting projects in your yeah. paper crafting, home decor, this onto fabric. I mean, literally, I think for any animal lover out there, yeah. this is an essential. It certainly is. Little tags, isn't yeah. it, as well? The, 20 and you get gone. different sized animals as well. So you can do um, mother and baby if you wanted to. You could, you know, it depends what you want to do. I mean, that stag is just beautiful. You could even just ink through them if you wanted. You don't have to draw around Do you know them. what I love is the dog and the cat sitting to attention. It's like, please feed me. Yeah, give that's me a Benji. Bone. <laughs> it's just so lovely, though. There's yeah. something really... I don't know, it's just personal about that. You can imagine that, you can imagine your own pets like that. Oh, absolutely. 30% um, of the stock is gone. Dawn, Julie, Susan, Suzanne, Leslie Crafter, Jill and Lynn, you are among the happy people that are coming in for this fabulous item. Uh, you do get your full instructions, of course. So even though you won't have Sandra with you, you do get the, uh, the knowledge yep. of Rushton in <laughs> the book itself, which is brilliant. Uh, but let's have a demo from Sandra herself. Okay, so as I say, you've actually got the inner and the outer. So if I wanted to, I could have masked off the bits around the edge and inked through my bunny. But what I've actually done here is drawn around the little guy. Okay, so from there, looking at my instructions, it is slightly different to how I sometimes do them because I've given you all the patterns at the top here that I've used. And then I've showed you where I've put each pattern. So that means that if you think, well, I, I like this one, but I don't want to use that one, you could perhaps have a look round and you go, oh, I like that one from the dog instead. So mix and match but it But everything from you is merely a serving suggestion. Of course it? it is, absolutely. So I'm going to come straight in with pen, right, just because I can. You don't have to. And these are your fine liners again. These are my fine liners. And you see, I've used this pattern here, and you see how it's sort of gone behind my bunny? So where do we start with? I'm going to start with the bigger bit. Don't always, don't ever start with a little bit. Start with something that you can get See, your teeth into. That's probably a question that you must hear more times than any other. Where do I start? Yeah. You'll notice a lot, and you watch a lot of my videos when I'm drawing bubbles, things like that, filling spaces. Where do people watch the videos? Uh, they're on Santangle on Facebook, or you can go onto the Santangle YouTube, and they're all there. And I do a lot work in the middle, because you see now I've got, I, I know where I'm going. It's, it's directing me this way, depending yeah. on where you draw them. 
they start to move. There's a logic of flow. Yes. So putting that one in and then putting that one in like so. And then you can decide, you know, how, how fat or thin they're going to be. And you see, as they get smaller, you now you're in that mode. So you can work your way around. If you just started small, going bigger is a bit tricky. So anything for an easy life, if we can get. <laughs> uh, nearly 40% gone on this one already. So just working my way around. You see, I'm sort of moving it side to side. And as I do that, it's starting to gain a bit of a life of its own. So let's put that one in there. And then I can come on to this side. Now, in the book here, it shows you that there's one partly behind the bunny. And you're like, well, I don't know, do I do that? Pencil is your friend. Ah, sort of like, so you can like, almost draw. like blot it out before you plot and commit yeah. to doing it. Draw the whole thing. And then I think, right, I only need that bit. Because you're either going to completely fill that with ink or you're going to leave it blank. You know, I love it because you teach me things that I think, well, yeah, of course I'd have thought of that, but I know I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah. It's I just tried to do it without... Without doing the it. ...the bit and behind it, the bunny, it's yeah. It's perfectly doable. See, this time, look, I'm doing that that wider top curve first, but doing it that way is... Sometimes people find that easier, sometimes we find that easier, but it's all about having a bit of a play with it. So I can... I, I don't want to make life hard, you see. Uh, nearly half the stock gone now. More people coming through. Dawn, Leanne and Veronica, Yvonne, Susan, Beverly. You are amongst the lucky people going for this fabulous item. Oh, do you know, it, it's so nice to do. And I say, you know, imagine a little bow there across the, the, the top there. And it's just, it'd be a lovely card for anybody. It certainly goes in with the spring version. If you have sand tangled before, we'd love to see what you've made as well. I know I should have asked females about for this about half an hour ago, really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's our Basandra. It's back later, of course, for a two hour special between six and eight tonight. If you do want to get your emails in, studio at hobbymaker.co.uk, we would love to see what you have made. And don't forget, if you do send a picture of something that you've made, you automatically get entered into our free prize draw to win £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account. And the next winner will be announced, I think, on the 27th of April uh, at seven o'clock on the Saturday evening. Okay, see, I'm just I'm following it along. I've got the patterns that shows me how it's broken down, and then I'm coming in and I'm adding little bits. But you can put them where you like, absolutely. So, see but this is the thing lines. with Santangle as well. Like I said, everything's a serving suggestion. You can yep. do what you like. Yeah, there are no rules in that sense. I'm giving you the, the sort of the structure so you can create something, but then what you do with it, it's up to you. Look how this I is. I imagine you're not great. a rules kind of girl, Sandra, are you? <laughs> No. <laughs> and this is the thing, this is why no. I think this is so perfect. This is why you are, you know, the maestro of Sandtangle. You created it because literally it's something where there are no rules to follow. This is something that can be so personal and bespoke and unique and satisfying to you. Yeah, do you know, I've seen so many people struggle with being able to draw and they, I can't draw. And you, you get that so much, I can't draw. And it's not that you can't. Somewhere somebody said, oh, that's not very good. Yeah. Or, oh, what are you doing there? Why has that happened? It's what they they think about your yeah. work. You Their know? interpretation crushed your confidence. Yeah, and yeah. and then you suddenly say, well, I can't draw, because it's easier than saying, well, I've had a go, but I was told I, I couldn't do it. And I just want to make life a bit easier for people. Yeah, I'm a business. I've got to make money out of it. Mm -hmm. Of course, everybody has. But it's not just that for me. It's about giving people the, the confidence and their self-esteem back. But in the meantime, you've also got that mindfulness aspect that it helps you to engage with yourself just for a little while. I'm just going to bring that bunny back in because you see how it's working there. So it's coming up. You see, so you can see I've got that shape coming in here. These little sort of like lines coming in, They're like little seed pods. And then I've got my little swirls. Look, I've changed it a little bit, but it's never going to be exactly the same. So down here, these little leaves, lovely to do. I'll just draw one of these and then... Just to say nearly 60% of the stock is now gone. And then a loop on both sides. And then each time I draw these loops, they're going to get a little bit bigger. I think that the fact that you can create something from very, very simple lines, and it's not an abstract piece of art. It is a piece of art that you can say, oh, that's a bunny, but look what you've done with that. How nice mm. is that? Or like with the spring, oh, I love those daffodils. How did you do that? And you could say, I drew it. And people will say, no, you never did. You never did. And you go, actually, yeah, I did. And you can show them and they suddenly, you know, that 
the respect and they're like, oh my goodness me, I couldn't believe you could draw. It, and how that makes you feel is just beyond words, it really. But that's is. the thing, isn't it? It's like proving people wrong and actually, you know, giving yourself that confidence base. Absolutely, yeah. And you know, who, who cares in a sense what other people think about what you yeah. draw as it's long so as true. you're enjoying it. If we spent a lifetime listening to other people's opinions, we'd never do anything. We wouldn't, no. You've got to get out there and do it. And, and honestly, if you've got a stencil that you've not picked up at the minute, Get it out the packet, even if it's a pencil and a little bit of paper, then pick it up and have a go and you'll you'll be amazed at the results. I love this little Greek key design that you're doing now. It's little squares yeah, look, you know, lovely. it's 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 in there. Yeah, this one's a little bit wobbly compared to my straighter one, but you might think, do you know what? I want to do that. I don't want to do wobbly. Different strokes for different folks. Exactly. That's the great yeah, thing, thank isn't you. It? it does show a little bit wobbly look. But I, I chose not to today. I felt straight today. Not wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> what can you my, do? Lip, my lips are sealed. <laughs> uh, FA1295 is your item code on that one if you would like to go for it. You're creating silhouettes. Uh, busy, busy, busy. We really, really are. Now, Sandra, what do you fancy doing for the end of the I last think we'll go minutes? back to spring. Shall we do a yes. daffodil? Good answer, because we are flying for the spring. Let's have a quick um, Laura, how much of the stock have we got left? What's the stock update on this one, darling? Uh, you are getting the book full of inspiration and the actual stencil as well. Uh, you get this fabulous stencil with all of these wonderful shapes there. And those shapes will allow you to create the six projects that you see on the front there or an adaptation thereof. Because obviously it's entirely up to you what you do with it. But you've got the crocus on there. You've got the snowdro uh, snowdrops. You've got that lovely upturned um, umbrella. I was say parasol to give it more of a spring vibe, but it's an umbrella. It could be a bit of lace. It's a parasol. Oh, yes. Uh, and you can see you've got your daffodils down there as well and your wellies that we've all been wearing recently. Uh, and, of course, you've got your oval up there as well with the florals. All of that for one price of £21.45. 60% of our stock is gone. This is brand new today and, of course, exclusive to us here at Hobby Maker. So if you are looking elsewhere, you're not going to find it. It's like, you know... Don't waste your shoe leather and don't go changing the channel because you won't find it anywhere else. Um, Sandra, over to you. Okay, daffodils. When you look at a daffodil, you think, oh my word, how am I ever going to create a Again, daffodil? Again, I wouldn't know where to begin. So we begin with that oval that we used earlier with a Y in it. Got, okay, yes. I've got two of them. Okay. Number 27. Okay. Doesn't look like a daffodil, that's okay. Okay, so I'm what I'm going to do with yeah. this one here, I'm going to come in and I'm going to put a little wobble on the top like that and come back out. And then this one here, I'm going to put a wobble on the inside, like so. Okay. So then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a little curve from there to there. Suddenly I see daffodil. And then let's put a couple of little lines in. So we just want to break that oval shape up a little bit. Okay. So that's not too bad. That looks all right, doesn't it? So let's just add that wobble down there. Now, usually at this point, you'd come in and you'd rub bits out because you don't always need them. But let's do a little, because I ain't got much time. You see how that sort of, let's get those little bits out there. Honestly, you're like... You've got that shape, see? Don't take this the wrong way, but you are like Dr. Frankenstein. You create <laughs> the most wonderful <laughs> things. It's like suddenly you bring it to life. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to come in with one of these circles, number 25. I say circles that are loosely. Some are quite ovals. So what I'm going to do here is put one, one here. This is, these are guidelines, okay? And one here. Let's have a look. Sort of crossing over. I mean, you used to draw them and you used to colour them different colours. Yes. You do a massive piece of paper with those on. Yeah, I was that girl. Okay. Do you remember, was it was it ATV that used to have the TV symbol? was like three circles like oh, that. Something like that, I think. Does that oh, ring a bell? Yeah. Ish. For people Vaguely. of a certain age like you and I, Sandra. <laughs> okay, so I've got these shapes. So I'm going to put myself one, two, three, four, five lines in. You see, I've stayed within those shapes. And then I can come in and I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to put a line in. So I've got like a petal. And then I'm going to do one here. Okay, now I'll do this in pen in a minute so you can sort of see where it's going. Because we don't want sort of one, we don't want you to go round the shape and do a petal. We want you to sort of follow the, the process and look at those lines. Okay? So if I come in with pen, let's put this bit in. Now bear in mind I've done this quite quickly on air, so I I would take my time a little bit with this. Yep. And then inside each of these shapes, now I'm gonna come in with a bit of a wavy line. A wavy line. Line up the middle. Let's put some. See where they've got the dips, ins and outs. 
Let's put some little lines in like that. Same here, look, wavy lines. So I'm working within the shapes I've got. Same again. Waves. Yeah, let's put a few more lines in there. And then let's put some little. I love the way it comes to life. It's just and then you give it such authenticity. So you're going to bring your stem in from that bottom section there. Okay, and on the uh, stencil, you've, you've got a, a leaf if you want to use it. But let's bring that one in. Line. Do the same that side. There's your daffodil. That's just fabulous. Yeah. It really two is. Two shapes. But also, yeah, two shapes to make, quite frankly, one yeah. of the most unusual and difficult to replicate flowers it, it in is, Mother Nature. Yeah. As and you've much made as, it so simple and straightforward. Yeah. As much as I, I don't like to say things are difficult or tricky, uh, a daffodil can be a little bit tricky, but actually I following the shapes, daunting, yeah, yeah, the shapes that I've put in place there, following the instructions, and then of course bringing it in. So if I just bring a little bit of pencil in, I say it's it's very it's a very quick sort of version of it, and uh, I did spend a little bit more time on the other one, but you know, take your time with it. It's like when the flowers in bloom, we did the iris, and you're like, no, that's a tricky flower. But you break it down and you work in little bits and pieces. See a little bit of pencil in there. And before you know it, you've got, have we got the sample again of the daffodils? Oh, we, we have indeed. The big one, yeah? Yeah, so I can sort of show you where that's come from. So thank you very much. So here we go. You've got, I'd say, very similar. Mm. There it is. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's been done with the same oval and the same three sort of bigger oval shapes, circle oval, and then of course you've got your extra for those as well, but that is how it works. See, this is a classic example of what Sun Tangled does so incredibly yeah. well, is like taking a design that you look at and you think, I can't do that, but when you break it down of into course. shapes, and yeah. if somebody said like ovals and circles were responsible for making <laughs> that, I'd be I like, know. how? I know. It makes no sense. This is it. But your and instructions it is. make sense. Exactly what I've just done. There's my two ovals and there's my shapes. It tells you what numbers to work with. It shows you how to split it up. I've done exactly the same as I've just done on here. Put in those little wavy lines, added some inside the petals, and then there's your stem. And then, of course, it goes on to the next one, so showing you how to do that. So you've got one facing one way, one facing a different, and one that, of course, is a part daffodil as well. So everything you need's in there, and, of course, you can then use them with the wreath you can use it with the umbrella if you mm. want. You can mix and match do it wherever you want to do it. So let's remind people what they're getting here, because obviously oh. the daffodil is just one of the designs. We look at the ones on the front. You get in all here. of these, Sandra. Don't you we? do, yeah. So you've got your wellies, which we did earlier with the little flowers in there. You've got your daffodils, of course. You've got your umbrella. These are quite a fantasy flower, very unusual, mm. but really fun. Snowdrop, crocus, and then you've got a mixture of everything with a wreath. Of course, you've got your bonnet, your your mouse. But let's look. You've got ears for bunny as well. And if you wanted to, I've given you two sizes. So a bit of everything in there. And of course, we talked about the wreath. You've got different sizes in with your oval. You have maximised the potential with that entire yes. A4 Tried stencil. to give you everything, if I can. Yeah. I just think it is brilliant. I mean, it goes without saying we've been so busy this hour, but please do everybody. carry on ordering. Sandra is back with more inspiration, aspiration, education, and all of the Asians at 6 o'clock tonight. Sandra, as ever, thank you. Thank it's you. Been it's been an a absolute pleasure. joy. Yeah. Um, do go to the website and check everything out. Don't forget, 3 o'clock this afternoon, Liam's special surprise is coming your way. What could it be? What you know with Liam, it's going to be very affordable. Uh, so that's coming up at three o'clock this afternoon. But after the break, from one legend to another, the legend that only needs one name, like Cher, Sting and Lulu, it's Sheena. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value.
So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Hi, I'm Beth Kingston from Kingston Crafts, and I'm so excited to be joining the Hobby Maker family. Kingston Crafts is a company made for crafters by crafters, and we've gone back to basics with paper, tools, and embellishments that are affordable, colorful, and fun, so you can make what inspires you. So join me, Beth Kingston, on April 8th and 9th when I will be in person in studio at Hobby Maker to launch Kingston Crafts in the UK. I can't wait to share this with you. Not only is Hobbymaker available live from 1 until 8 p.m. on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube, and the Hobbymaker app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Hobbymaker. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website, or on YouTube. So you can watch at home, or on the go. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Good afternoon, welcome back to Hobbymaker. My name is Nigel May. Did I promise you a really good day at Hobbymaker or what? Look at this. We started off with the fabulous Sandra Rushton and now we move on to another inspirational, fabulous lady. Uh, it's Sheena Douglas. Hello, gorgeous lady. Hello. How are you? Oh, the better for seeing you and the lovely Sandra. We had a meeting last Friday as well. What it's a great. day. Like what a, a day gathering. to be in Hobbymaker. It is yeah. today, let it be said. And don't forget Liam's special surprise with, quite frankly, a photo that has been gathering dust for the last... 10 years, I'm going to say. Uh, Liam Spry special is coming is he 12 up. 12 there. He looks, he's 20, apparently he's 20 though, he's 29 now. But look, oh, Sheena, honestly. Oh, bless him. But I wouldn't melt, would it? Uh, it's just like, it looks like a, a like Liam is a fetus, doesn't it, quite frankly? It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Liam's going to be here at three o'clock with a special surprise. I did kind of let the cat out of the bag earlier, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. But I am going to say it's a great bit of kit. It's coming up at three o'clock with a price that is to be 
jaw dropped for. It's incredible. So good, they won't tell me the price. They won't let me know. Uh, but let's talk about this, quite frankly. Uh, this is making, what well, its third appearance, I think, here on Hobby Maker now. And it's been very popular on both the first and second appearances that we had. Uh, this is from Sheena herself. It's the In The Frame Bold Florals Collection. Sheena, let's yes. talk about... I know I always say, like, Sheena, one word. I've got one <laughs> word for this. Gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Well, absolutely you know gorgeous. I love that era. I love that look. And as uh, drawing's one thing, designing's another. Yeah. Yeah, you draw just because you like to draw something. You see something, you go, I want to draw that. But when you're designing, you have to kind of, especially if you're designing um, with an era in mind. And the era and the look was Art Nouveau. Well, this is the thing. I mean, so, those frames and the, the uh, writing as well, the font, yes. very Art Nouveau. Um, yeah. This, for me, is a real selection box of creativity because you have got dyes, you have got embossing folders, yeah. and you've also got stamp sets Absolutely. in there. Absolutely. Ticking the three biggest everything. areas of probably the crafting world when it comes to your supplies, isn't it? Triple threat, isn't it? It is a triple threat. Yeah. Uh, now, the way that it breaks down is as follows. You are going to get eight sets of the you've got eight sets in all uh, you've got two that have got frames for the dies and the words in there uh, you've got how many embossing folders have we got in you've here, got two embossing, well? folders. two embossing folders yeah. and then the rest are your oh, yeah are oh, your stamps. polymer stamps thank so you very much top quality material so everything's top quality the embossing folders are so if you like the pictures just know that you're going to get the deepest impression from mm. the folders if you like the stamps you're like going to get the best quality stamping material to get the best um transfer image the dies cut out perfectly every time so you can get that very fine intricate line work that I've given you there because that's what you need with the Art Nouveau look they are very those sinuous swirls oh, think nice. of the, par, um, the Paris the sinuous that's swirls. a great one isn't that nice a bit of yeah. symbolism 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 you have me at sinuous yeah, I love yeah. that uh, now let's talk value for money £72.92 for eight sets of creativity is not bad going, but not on our patch. Let's get that price down, 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 deeper and down. 69 99 Now, that is good, but come on, let's have a little bit of... Give me some split pay. Give me some split pay. Thanking you. I say give me. It's for you. Everybody can use split pay, whether you are via the phone lines, 0800 001 I mean, there's a free phone telephone number, and if you're thinking, oh, I'll be speaking to somebody on the other side of the world, you won't. Sheena, where's the call centre? It's upstairs. They're there. You they're literally see them. up seen them. there. They're a, they're a jolly bunch. They really they're are. They're lovely. They're all lovely they're here. They're a jolly bunch. I frequently get lost, you know. That's how they know they're lovely. They always have to point me back to where I need to be. <laughs> they're good at that as they're well, it must that, be said. Yeah. Uh, so you can either use your split pay via the phone lines, you can do it via the Hobby Maker app, of course, or you can do it by the website. Michael on the cameras. Hello, Michael. What is the website address? All the W's. What? Hobby Maker. Oh, I like so that. Good. I like the lilt on that. Good at you. Good There you go. He's musical and magical. We I love like him. Uh, so, yes, you can go to that website and check everything out there. The split pays will be interest free. And let me ask you a question. Lovely Lauren on the floor. Lovely Do we Lauren. charge people here at Hobby Maker to use split pay? No, we don't. No, that's it. You've got your own shot now. Tell us. Do we? No, we don't. And why do we not charge them? Because that would be what? Just say stupid or silly or wrong. Me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that even better. Right. That's good. Serving sass. Uh, yes, yeah, so we don't charge interest and we don't charge you for using split pay either. That would be daft. Uh, so literally all you need to pay today is that split pay of 23.33 plus your PMP, which of course here at Hobby Maker is a cap PMP of 3.95. I mean, Sheena, I'm going to send you over oh, there because okay. you've got your boards to have a look at and you've also okay. got some samples over I there have. as well, I'm haven't you? I'm going to sashay over there. Away you go, young lady. Away you go. Off you go. Off you go. Go. Sashay <laughs> away. Uh, if you want to go for this one, RX2090 is your item code. Let's have a look at what you're getting and the value for money that you are going to get all right then nigel so what we have we're going to start with the um with the dies so the dies you see, the thing is here um these dies are worker dies so think of what they're going to do with all your stamps you've got in your collections could be landscape stamps could be other florals could be anything because they're generic you're going to use them portrait and you're going to use them landscape and the font is very of that era oh it's certainly and is. you're going to mix and match, match them so you're going to go um uh, thinking of you and thankful and so thankful and all those things. You're going to mix yes. and match them. And then they're going to match with those words as well. 
And that one is going to be just for you exactly and um, best wishes and all those things. And it's going to be portrait and landscape as well. So there your worker um, dies. And then you have your embossing folders like that. And these are good five by seven size. But look at what you can make with just the folders. So this is using the letterpress technique, which I've shown you a couple of times. You're going to make gorgeous cards like that and like this and like that with just that folder there. But there's so many more. And if you want to see so many more, join Sheena's in Kets and have a look at what the team have created. And if you so want to So where do we get for that, Sheena? That's Facebook. That's Facebook. All over on Facebook. it's called the... Sheena's in Kets. So, so I-N-K-E-T-T-S. Hyphen, hyphenated E-T-T-E-S. Nearly 9,000 on that close group now. I'm not now. surprised you are a legend. Of what? Course. But you know what? It's such a lovely place to be. It's all supportive. There's no meanness and nastiness and all lovely. It's a community. It's a community a nice and it's sharing and caring. So if you want to, if you see anything and you want to know, for example, how was this done? Then whoever made that, that was made by Pamela. Pamela will tell you. Pamela, that's part of being on my team. She'll tell you what she's used and how she did it. And that's what they love to do. So that's the folders and the dies. Then we come on to the floral element. I'm starting with the lilies. And these are the photopolymer um, uh, stamping um, part of the whole mix and then you're going to make cards five by seven cards like that you've, you've got your tiger lilies you can make square cards you can make so any kind of um, kind of um, orientation <gasps> gorgeous big wedding cards congratulation cards engagement cards change the colors out thing is with lilies they come in all colors don't they yes they do Plus, in the craft world, you can make them any colour you like Any anywhere. colour you, you want. You can play Mother Nature. And if you grew up with Star Trek like I did, you know what I mean? <laughs> any planet, any planet you want is like, you know. Um, so then you've got the wild rose. And you can see how I've stylised. I've, I've, I've kind of really gone to town with the stylised, um, kind of really made that look very um, of the era. And, what, and it actually looks like a poppy. Well, what I think is lovely, I mean, that sample that we just showed then as yeah. well, there was, there was no wording on that at all. No congratulations, no best wishes or anything but you can see the florals mean that they're so strong an image that they can work for any occasion any occasion that can be hatches occasion. matches dispatches whatever you like absolutely nigel absolutely all artwork on the wall you know it's a full angel policy so if you want to just color these in and use a pigment coloring medium like your watercolors that aren't going to fade and you put them on a wall and you're going to sell your artwork this is just the foundation. This is not the finished artwork. My stamps, anything I'm giving you, this is not finished artwork. This is, these are tools for you to create the artwork. Um, so I am more than happy for you to sell artwork on top of that. You create the colour, the texture, the medium, the multimedia that you're going to create on top of it. And that becomes your artwork. And then we have the petunia, which is the last one which is then, and look at how gorgeous, so a lot of different. Chop the frames up, elongate them here. And then if you, um, again, look at that with the uh, shimmer watercolors on the black card, how dramatic that looks. And then how delicate it looks on the white card with a little bit of gold embossing. They look elaborate. They look like they've taken a long time to create, but you know what? They haven't. It's just the way that the collection has been designed to look elaborate, to look jewel-like. I love this. You know what? If we get a chance, I have one stamped out. There was a lady asked me how, just before the shows today, how this was created. And I'm going to put this to one side. You know, if we've got a chance, we won't get a chance to colour it all in because I have a plan already on... Uh, I'll have a plan. But you know me and plans, Night. Everybody knows me and plans. Plans can go out the window. Yeah, exactly. But we'll try and show you how to colour that, the colour combination to do that one. Sheena, it's a gorgeous collection. I love it with that mixture. I mean, you've got obviously like the lilies in there. You have the fabulous uh, ginkgo in there as well. There's so many different flowers, which I think is fabulous. It makes it a really eclectic, beautiful, um, wide-reaching kind of usability with this collection. Uh, Margaret and Devon, you are in. Doreen in Nottinghamshire, you've checked out. Well done to you. Barbara in Berkshire, Berkshire, you've checked out as well. Congratulations. I love the fact that you've got a little bit of something, a little bit of everything in there, whether it be the embossing folders, the dies, the stamps, uh, to build your confidence in all areas with this collection. And florals will work for every occasion. We bring you a lot of florals in the craft world here at Hobby Maker. Uh, you know, florals for every occasion, but I love the fact that these florals are done in a different way. There is something almost a little bit stained glass 
sparse and ethereal about the end results with these. I mean, it's entirely up to you how you use them with the colour and things like that. But I love the fact, I mean, they're very stylized, and that's what I think is wonderful about these as well. They have a richness about them. Um, we're getting busier and busier. Lisa in Devon, you're in. Oh, you're big in Devon, Sheena. Uh, Margaret in Devon is in as well. Uh, yes, Margaret in Devon, you just checked out. Well done. RX 2090 is your item code. 69.99 is the price, but don't forget about that all important split pay. Love of this split pay. 23.33 is your price on that one. One payment today. As soon as the first payment comes through, we will send the item out to you. Uh, in just a few short days to arrive at your door. Uh, by the time the second payment, and in this case, the third payment will come out of your account, you will have crafted like a good one and you would have made a lot of stuff. Uh, so RX 2090 is your item code on that one. Um, Sheena. Yes, Nigel. Are you ready to show I us am. something inspirational? I am. Well, you know what? I'm not going to cut out the frame because okay. I think you know how that works. Yes. You just put a die in it and you cut it out. And indeed, you probably know how an embossing photo works, but I wanted to show you how, even with a piece of memory card, how cool these are going to look because I think we need to just do something as simple as that. Lovely. And so what I've got is this ginkgo here. And what I've done to prepare it just for TV, I would normally just trim a piece of memory card, put it in there and then trim it down. Does that make sense? But what I've done is I've actually um, cut down a piece of memory card. Now, you know that Crafters Companion do a, some phenomenal um, luxury card packs with all the different coloured mirrors, the, the sparkle card, the satin card and everything like that. And so all of those cards are going to go through your folders, including vellums, including your pattern cards, including, um, you know, just... just Cereal boxes, put cereal boxes through your, through your folders, turn them inside out, don't throw them out because inside has got craft card. Yeah, you can use everything. Everything. Uh, now, you may have noticed that Sheena is using the, one of the heroes of the crafting world, the Gemini. If you do want to go for your Gemini too, uh, we've still got it on a special deal under £200 at the moment for the Gemini. You get all of the plates that you need as well. One Gemini is sold, sold around the world every 10 minutes. Somebody buys a Gemini every 10 minutes somewhere in the world. That shows the quality and the dedication and the brilliance of those machines. If you are looking for a machine that will work for you as opposed to you working for it, the Gemini is definitely the one to go for. 19999 is a great price, but it's also a considered purchase. So let's split it down into a four-way interest-free, no-charge split pay. That's what we love. Uh, so one payment today, so that'll be April, then one in May, one in June, and one in July. Literally wishing away the year there. Uh, so if you want to go for that one, QW20. 2058, don't forget that we will send this out to you straight away. It's faster, it's quieter, and it's more powerful than ever before. I can't say you're quieter than ever before, Sheena, because I like you loud. Well, yeah, you loud know what? I bet if people could quite make me quieter and just <laughs> as powerful, they would. No. But it's exactly what they did with the machine. Because I, I did launch the first generation one, you know, and, and I thought it couldn't get any better. But they have they've, they've made the footprint smaller and, it's, um, and, and it does... Uh, but, you know, the fact that you can stand your tablet in there, the fact that the place is going different ways, yeah. it's just phenomenal. And, and my, my, my thought is if you're going to get one machine, you might as well get the most powerful one you can get. You might as get one that's built to last exactly and, it really is. And, and look at what it does just with a bit of mirror card it is phenomenal i mean check that out guys look at that that's how you transform Stunning. just a piece of mirror card with a great folder and what i've done again is just this has just become one of my hero products oh your little corner punch now do we still have that in a deal it might not oh, be on this show but we've been doing what? a deal it where you get seven get corner punches including that three in one and I think you're not paying for three of the corner punches with the deal. Uh, we'll try and find it for you. If not, it is on the website. We'll have a rummage around. If you can find it, just pop it in your basket. Because I've used lots of corner punches in my day. And you've had to buy different, like, angles of corners to get your different angle. You know, different ones. Carry them around. One does it all. And we all might have that on its own, Sheena. We'll I try and find that it. as well. You know what? And I've just popped that there. And look at how cool that looks. Let me show you. So that's what the ginkgo looks like with a bit of Marie Card. You know, come on. But let me show you how that transforms that look. You pop that against that. And on a blank piece of card, on a white piece of card, let me just see if I can just... Look. You've got... Look at how amazing that's going to look. And your card's almost done. Seriously, that looks incredible we haven't got to that bit yet but wait to see how easy that is so that's the first thing i want to show you let me show you another um embossing folder just oh if quickly. you do want that three in one corner punch ignore the question marks uh, if you do want the three in one corner punch just that one on its own um it's your round the corner punch just 8.99 that is money well spent it's like it's like you're getting three corner punches in one so it's like three pounds each per rounded corner so you've got a small a medium and like a large zo 2019 
Just, yeah, it's fabulous. Definitely, guys, pop it in the basket. Uh, I Like I say, I bought a few in my day, but that's the best one I've used yet. And it cuts out so well. Right, so the next thing, you know, you're going to make backing papers, aren't you? I've got loads in this box I carry around with me. And I thought, I've got to transform this one. This was the one I think I did... I, I've done on a show somewhere. Somewhere on my travels, I've made this um, on, before a live studio audience. So I'm going to pop that in there with the other leaf design. This one is the um, swirling leaves, but it can be pe peacock feathers, depending on how you colour it in as well. So the next easy thing you can do is the next technique. So you're going to take your um, gilding wax. And again, if you're shopping and you're going to pop stuff in the basket, I love that. You can shop all day, can't you, here? 3.95 all day, Sheena, you so, can indeed. That's, you know, I mean, Sheena, you know I've been doing this a long old time, but it's like that's the best continual postage and packaging message that I've ever been able to say. You know, three, I don't even know how we do it. I'm not going to question it because it's just so good. I never want it to change. Uh, 3 95 PMP, no matter where you are in the UK, you could be in Prestatin, you could be in Preston, you could be in... Preston pans. You could be anywhere, quite frankly, uh, and it would just be three ninety-five delivered to your door for all of your orders within a twenty-four hour period, midnight to midnight, regardless of size, quantity, weight, whatever. It's three ninety-five all in. Back to Sheena. Let's not miss this glorious demo. You know what the new thing is? I use a thing now, an online thing, all the time, right? And now the thing is, you know, you get it by that same day if you spend a certain amount. Yes. And I've through. put stuff through that day, and I've I'm Watch gonna and head, I've made Sheena. stuff to a certain amount. Watch your head; it's going into. Oh, sorry, sorry, right. sorry, sorry. Right. Don't you say your hair. Look. And then I've gone to buy something else, and it says you need to, and you can't do it. You've got to start all over again. So true. Oh, See, that annoys me. Maker, I love it because you can check out. Because sometimes, you know, if items are going quickly and you think we've only got a few left and it's like you want to make sure you check your basket out, but you still want to browse around at the same yes. time. It's nice to be yes. able to like, check out your basket and know that when you go back in, you're not going to be paying any more PMP because it's oh. 3 95 for the 24 hour. Pay. I like that. That is so That is so good. I like that. That's good on you. Well, thank you, Hobby. Good on I you. don't know who came up with good that, but you, I salute mate. you for it. Yeah. I would like to take personal, you know, personal mm. responsibility for that. I can't, sadly. Yeah, well done, Nigel, for doing that. Well done. Oh, that would be my legacy to <laughs> if I could create that. So what I've done... 3 95 for all. <laughs> so what I've done is I've, um, I've popped a little bit of gilding wax on there, on that background. Now, you're probably not seeing till the light's on it. And you know what? It needs a little bit longer than what it's going to get because I want to move on because there's so much to show you. But um, you let that dry and then you polish it a little bit. But I'm going to show you. Now, this looks so cool. This gives it a bit of a um, that verdigris kind of yes, edge aged. to it. It looks a bit like... It looks aged and weathered. Oh, doesn't it? Mm. It's got that um, grunge, steampunk kind of metal. Yeah, a little bit of boho chic, yeah. kind of like steampunk. Yeah, I like that it? look. Um, we are so busy for the In The Frame Bold Flores collection. Tara in Kent, Marie in South Yorkshire, and the crafter in the basket she needs to check out. So Oops, let me sorry. show That's you how now that changes burn, that. Uh, more people have checked out, though. Eileen, oh, I'm share amongst <laughs> friends. Uh, Eileen, Janet, Judith, Lisa, Margaret. I was just a bit worried it was going to pop up then, Sheila. Do you know that? I've just been playing. I didn't. I forgot to look up. Wow. You've been busy, guys. Been yeah, cheers for that. Well, you know what? I love this collection. And all you all you can do as the designer, as the oh, as, as the crafter, artist, whatever I am, talk your person and colouring is. Uh, you're a legend. Is, um, is hope that you guys like it as well. So I, I would you. go so far as to say you're an icon to me, Sheila. <laughs> you are. Bless. So what I'm going to... Well, let me show you now how this should change that vibe on that. So by changing the background, let me show you what that looks like, just like that. So you can make a really cool card. Look at that. Just with some wording on it, that is going to look super cool. Mm. And you could send that to a, a man. That well, it's very form. generic as far as gender very is Very generic. Yeah. Male, female. Both folders are male, female. But look, when you put that on there, look at that. Oh, I've got it upside down. It doesn't really matter. Have I? It doesn't matter. But that does look... You see that one there? Yeah, that little better. lily there is pointing that way. You know what? It's, it's been one of those days, Nigel. E, if anything could have gone wrong, it went wrong today. <laughs> e, Nigel, what a day I've had. So can you see how that, that, that background there? <laughs> it's only half past two, so you've still got a lot... Well, 20 past two, so you've still got a lot of the day left. Honestly, you know. give me a wide berth to run between shows and after, you know, because I'm like, uh, yes. What, have you had a real day of it then? Well, you yeah, have. I um, I forgot to put my trolley in the car. What, I with all your crafts? Yeah, I had to go back so for the it. The one important thing that you need the, to do. The bring. main thing, yes. I had to go pick something up and then Luckily, I had that moment. Luckily, you're not far away from the Hobbymaker Studios. If you were like living on the other side bad. of the country, oh. that could have been... Oh, that would have been, that would have, that would have been a problem. That would have yeah. been. So they're the folder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this up and then we're going to let, I'm going to show you, we're going to make this card. 
this Bobby Dazzler here made by Lisa oh, on the design team. Oh, that's gorgeous. Is that gorgeous? So we're going to do some colouring. And then I'm going to try, and I'm going to, because I promised that, where have I put that card? That from that, that lady? You know, that one there. And I'm going to, I promise, we're going to do a bit of colouring to show you how that one does. So I've got a lot to get through. Yeah, well, let's crack on with my new favourite word, gorgeoise. I love that. Gorgeoise. <laughs> yes, it's not so... just gorgeous, it's gorgeoise. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to clear that up, uh, Nigel, and then... I'm well, while you're clearing up, then, I'm going to remind people of the collection, because if you do want to go for the collection, lots of you are going for it today. Maybe you missed it when it was on a couple of times before. Uh, we've got a big stock, but 10% of that big stock has already gone. You are getting all of the fabulous embossing folders, you've got your stamp sets, and you've also got those dies and the frames. I'm just coming around the front so I can point at things, Ollie, if that's all right, Director Ollie. Uh, you can see that you've got your ginkgo leaves there, that's your embossing folder, your swirling leaves as well, that's the one that Sheena's just been... Um, buffing up then you've also got your stamp sections over here so you can see this beautiful section of the stamps of the florals here that you have uh, that's your pretty petunias over here we have the luscious lilies in the stamps we have the wild roses and also the delightful daisies but also what you have and perfectly sized to go with everything are these gorgeous frames as well you've got your uh, entwined floral frame there you've also got your art nouveau frame there with the words in that very art nouveau style with the calligraphy you've got hello so you thankful thinking of congratulations best for which is just and you so you can mix and match accordingly um laura lovely producer laura are they available individually everything they're not so if you fancy anything you do need to go for the bundle and you might be thinking well hang on i haven't got that much money to spend fear not my friends because look we've got the price down to 69.99 but one of the things that i love about working here at hobby maker is the ability to offer you split pay on things normally over 50 pounds sometimes we bend the rules because everybody likes rules to be bent do they not uh, we've got a three-way split on this one i would have thought it was going to be a two-way we've got a cheeky three-way uh, so 23 pounds and 30 is that what it is? Yeah, 23.33 um, is your price on this one if you would like to go for it. One payment today. As soon as the first payment comes through to us, we will send it out to you. So it should be with you, you know, pretty shortly. Second payment will be in April. No, that's April now, isn't it? Second payment will be in May. And the third payment will be in June. So there you go. RX2090 is your item code. If you have any questions or any messages, do send them in. Studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. Or you can do it by the website as well. We've got a message from Caroline. She's in Hampshire. She says, afternoon. I think Sheena is an icon too. I love her demos. I do. Sheena, you are an icon. Literally an icon. An absolute icon. And is, is the icon ready for another demo? I am. Well, then let's go back to the share <laughs> of, the, of the crafting world. Oh. It's true. You are. Believe. Believe. I was just saying that. Me. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, and I've got you, babe. So oh, I'm... Sheena. Now we're talking. You know that Cher is my goddess. I love Cher. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm there with you. Do you want to know a very strange thing? What's that? I'm currently in a bidding war. Are you? On, on a on certain it? auction website for a book of a, a Cher doll doing things with her celebrity doll friends. Just like pictures that, well, no, you know, that picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I know it's bizarre and I don't need it, but I want it. Okay. Honestly, if you know, it's no, it's not a Kama Sutra of share. Thank you, Ollie Director. <laughs> yes, I will repeat That'd everything you say. I'll be wrong. Honestly, yeah. a, go and have a look on. Go and have a look on eBay, Laura. Go and have a look if you want. It's like because Sheen's going to do a lovely demo, and it's dolls. It's a doll of share, yeah. and it's share at home with her celebrity friends. Yeah, yeah. So it's like just her and her doll friends oh. having a lovely time. It's from like the 1970s, okay. and I does want Sonny it. Does Sonny Bono feature in it? Is it what one? Sonny Bono feature? No, I don't think he does. I think oh. it might have been when it was just all about Cher and not about Sonny and. I'm okay, sure. that's a shame. But I'm in a bidding war for it at the minute. I know. Sorry? I'm in a, in a bidding war for it at the moment. Well, that's fine. You know, know. that's okay. Do I need it? No. No, Do I but want you it? Need, yeah, yes. in a way, yeah. Let's have a demo. Let's have a demo. <laughs> All right then. So here's the thing, and here's here's I'm going to do the same thing that I was going. I would say when you, if you look online and you um, are inspired by any of the team's cards, the, my team are happy for you to take inspiration from what they've done. That's what they. That's why they make these samples. It's not like, oh well, I can't do what they've done because the, you know, the. Yes, they're the fine for you to do that. Just you know, say thank you, Lisa, for the inspiration. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Debbie. Whoever you, they're, they're fine. And if they want to know what colours, they'll even tell you what colours they're going to. They've the used. So um, sometimes you know you look and you think, oh, I don't know how am I going to match that. Well, what I'm going to do now. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking the closest colours. I'm thinking, mm, what what am I going to use? So the, the sets I've got out to. to and what I would advise, if you can, for the um, aqua pens, 
the essential set's a good one to go for because essentials is the one that's going to give you your blacks, your um, neutrals, your browns, your skin tones. If you like the draw the line technique, brilliant for that, right? And then a sensible one to go for, the next one would be primaries because primaries technically mix any colour in that. All the colours are covered. Your yellows, your reds, your blues, your primary colours and all of the variants within that. So you can mix everything. So they're the two I would go for. We, if we've you got a great deal on them as well today. Really? I know, as luck would have it. Wow. Uh, if you want to go for the essentials, we've got a small amount of stock of the essentials. Do we have a picture of the essentials, Laura, just to show what they look like? Bless you, my lovely. Uh, XW2076 is your item code. There's your price and there's your colours. $18.99 for a full set. A full set of Spectrum Mars, 12 of them for 18 99 So if you want to go for that one, that's the essentials. Um, did we have another set as well? Yes, I am using primaries. Primaries as well. We will see if we can find that one as well. Florals would also work, but um, I would say sensibly start with essentials and primaries would be the, the two to get if you can. So what are you doing there, Sheena, at the moment? What I'm doing, I'm using what with your um, with your aquas, you get the, the brush nib on one side, and that's the part I use 95% of the time. On the other side, you get the bullet nib, and on the bullet nib, so basically the brush nib looks like looks like this, and that, and, and it looks like an alcohol pen when you're colouring in with it because they're so advanced these nibs now. They're nothing like a felt tip was back in the day. You literally, they're seamless. Can you see? There's no join. You no. cannot see a join. But what makes them go even further is if you scribble them like this, and we're going to brush them on with a regular brush, and use them like watercolours. Um, the, the bullet nib is for finer detail, or if you want to just add little um, detail later on, or just write with them. Um, so that's what the bullet nib, and that's consistently um the same thickness it doesn't vary so that's a good thing to have later on as well so they're the they're how the all the pens work the same way but like i say i use the the um the brush nib more often than not so i'm picking out colors that i know that i'm going to use in the mix here now i could use orange i may use orange but likely i'm not what i'm going to use is i'm going to use a probably scarlet because where that mixes, where scarlet mixes in with the gold, I'm going to get orange, aren't I? You are indeed. Yeah. And then I'm probably going to use a little bit of um, Ron Burgundy in the middle. Right there. <laughs> right there. So that's going to give me the colour for my poppies. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. I love it. Everybody on the crew was like, literally like, it's called Ron Burgundy. And they were like, no, it's not. It's just <laughs> Burgundy. That's she a Sheenerism. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, so here's what you're going to do. And this is the same. If you're going to do any colouring and petals and you want to get fancy with them, this is, and if it's a red, to be honest, more often than not, I would eliminate the yellow. But if I was going to colour something red, I would still probably start with these three colours because red looks better if you um, start with an orange kind of undercoat with it. Okay, so well, to make it pop. To make it pop. So I'm starting with that yellow there. Then I'm going to go a pop, make the poppy pop. So it looks like a um, this wild rose is going to look more like a poppy by the time it's coloured. So can you see I'm using what they call a wet into wet technique. So by putting the colour down while the other colour is still wet and I'm not taking too much time or being too precious with it, I'm literally just splodging it on by starting with the yellow, the pale yellow all over the um, the, the uh, petal. Yeah, it may be a pale yellow, but I've got to say, I think that colour is vibrant and fierce, isn't it? It's v so it was what? Well, sorry, what did you say there, there Nigel? We're just talking about losing cheer and what was that? What was that now? Who now? What now? No, I said the colours. Like, I mean, you said it's like a, a pale yellow. I actually think it's really quite vibrant, isn't it? It's a really it quite is. fierce colour. It is fierce colour. It is absolutely. And then you see how we're just getting darker towards the centre of the flower. And it's up to you how yellow or how red you want them to be. It depends if you put more yellow, it's going to look more like a yellow flower. If you have more of the red, it's going to more like a red flower. But that's. That's the process right there. That's what, how you're going to go colouring this baby in. And, but do a petal at a time. Don't think you're going to do like um, efficient production line colouring. And I'll do all of the yellow on um, all the whole flower, the pale yellow. Then I'll go and do the darker. Then I'll do the next one. There. Because what will happen is it'll, 
it'll be drying and the colours won't smoosh into the next ones. So there'll be no it. like bleeding and no kind yes. of like muddying of the colours. Like they, they won't diffuse, it'll look like nice. that, you know, they'll have a harsh line. Um, busier and busier for the collection, £69.99 each price. Alison and a brand new crafter, you are in, you have it in your basket. You're getting all eight sets, remember, you're getting the fabulous embossing folders, you are getting four sets of stamps and the two sets of the frame dies and of course the sentiments as well. A fabulous price here at Hobby Maker. Let's go back to Sheena for more. If you like florals and you like florals with a little bit of a twist, a little bit different looking, a bit of a styled out florals, I think that's what these are. Aren't yes, they? they are very stylized. And I, I love that. I said they're almost a bit with the samples that we've got today, quite stained glassy. Yes, exactly. They have almost yes. like a, an ethereal feel about them. Yes, definitely, Nigel. Yeah. And that that is that, that kind of like over the top opulent kind of look, isn't it? Yes. More is more look of that era, I think. Well, they're all striking, aren't they? That's Very. what I love about these. I mean, I think it's due to do with the coloration as well. But the fact these are all ones that stand out from the crowd. But let's be honest. I mean, even in its black and white stamped form, these images are still really, they, they still pack a punch. Yes. And that's what I always say about stamps and any crafting product should look good out of the box. They yes. should look. It should look good nude. They should. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and, and you shouldn't have to work at making them look cool but you should be able to play with them um to make them look even better yes. you know and and you still get inspired with them in a year's time hopefully you know still be th mixing it up with them thinking oh i wonder if and oh what happens if i do that with them or shall you know if you try this technique would that work with them because you don't want to get bored with them and be done and i've, I've, oh, I've done it all now <laughs> moving on yeah and then it's not value for money that way is it so can you see how that's working and then if you want you can always you know intensify some of the gold or some of that you can go back and and pull out some of that um you know the other color a little bit more if you want to make that mid-tone pop mine's much more red than lisa's but that's fine that don't think if yours looks different to the one you were using for inspiration it's wrong. It's you not. You do it your it's way. It's just your way. Like Frank would say, you did it your way. You did it your way indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> At the end of many a wedding reception. Uh, right, we've got Linda in Nottinghamshire. We've got Christine in Dorset, Alison in Essex. Uh, you've all got it in your basket. You need to check out. Don't forget, it's, uh, it's the same as in any supermarket. When you're in the checkout queue, until you get through and you've paid your money, whatever you've got in your basket, your, your potatoes and your your Prosecco or whatever it is, it's like, it's not yours. What would you have in your basket, Sheena, if you were in the supermarket today? Um, I know basket. my shopping list of potatoes and Prosecco was shopping. a little bit I've been tragic, taken to liking a little, bit of, um, a little bit of balsamic and olive oil nice. and a little bit of crusty bread and some olives. Um, what's the olives I've been liking? Non, non cello or something. I can't remember. They begin with an N, oh, nice. but there's a certain olive... And um, yeah, one shop that like double the price to another shop, and the, oh. and, and the taste is exactly the same. Well, my word, Sheena, shop. your your shopping basket is a lot classier than mine. Let it be said. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to. I don't know. My taste changed lately. I was like absolute sugar fiend, but lately I'm, I've gone more a bit savoury. I don't know. Yeah. See, I'd be Frey Bentos steak kidney pie and a bottle of. And a, oh, a Frey <laughs> Bentos in a and tin. And a, and a four pack of recordling. That'd be <laughs> like, really quite like frankly. a Christmas hamper. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, what I'm saying is, you need to check out your baskets to secure your purchase, or else somebody might get it from you. <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah. But you know what? Camping in a camper van, I have no idea what we're going to be having in the camper van. Now, when are you going? We're that's going soon, tomorrow. Isn't it? Is it Tom tomorrow? Literally tomorrow. Is Sheena, morning. am I right in thinking it's the big birthday? It is the big birthday tomorrow, yeah. The oh, big no, six Does everybody zero? know this? Yeah. Okay. We, should, we should have done something for this, yeah, shall we? The big six zero tomorrow. That Sheena is 60 tomorrow, which oh, again man. defies belief. Hello. That like is like she is Cher, isn't she? Literally getting better with age, quite frankly. Oh. Um, Ooh. That is just like... Who creates things to go on the screen? Would that be, would that be lovely director Ollie? Can we, can we do a little something for Sheena before the end of the show? Like a 60th hey, birthday, 60. 
Yeah. I, I love that Laura's like, Cher is 77. Have you seen she yeah, is. Have you seen Cher's mum? She's like 100 and something or she's something. She's dead now, love. She's she oh, just died. Oh, did yeah, she? Yeah, Cher's mum died this year. But she was George's. But she was but amazing. She was, I think she was like 96 or something. She was, but she couldn't she tell which was, was the mother and which incredible. was the... Yeah, she was just unbelievable, wasn't she? But Cher is just, I mean, gosh. I saw her live for my 50th and it was just... I mean, and we know Cher's had work, but, but it's good work. Had it good works work. well. Sorry? She's had good work. She's had good That's work, exactly. If she you... doesn't look no. plastic to me. No, she looks amazing I still. I love Cher, yeah. honestly. Yeah. You know Michael on the camera is a musician. If he ever works with Cher, literally, I'm never going to leave you alone. It's like, Very you never know. Dream big. You never know. <laughs> Unless you don't want to work with Cher and then don't dream big. But it's like, yeah, you never know. Absolutely. My yeah, well, it's legends, you know, you, you just, but, but Nigel, just be, be warned though, you know, just be aware that you may not want to, you may not want to meet your heroes, okay, because I did meet one of my heroes and it shouldn't have happened. Oh no, it's, now I want to know who it is and you're not going to Julie tell Andrews. You met Julie Andrews? Yeah, she wasn't Julie really nice Andrews, I shook her hand. And I she did. wasn't very really nice to you? No, it was me, I professed me undying love to her. <laughs> <laughs> I was not cool. Nigel, you know, I'm never, I don't ever want to meet. I mean, the other did one was like Dusty, so thank God, security. you know, like, I mean, I was sad for Dusty that I couldn't meet her because she's not on the planet anymore, but I'm pleased I couldn't. Have I ever told you the story about my husband, Al? Yeah, no. Like, yeah, oh my gosh, it's like years ago. Oh, I think you did, so you yeah. went to dinner with her. No, I had coffee with Dusty Springfield, didn't know it was Dusty what? Springfield. It was like literally, it was round at a friend's house. This is a long time ago, obviously. Uh, and he was round at a friend's house. I can't remember where he was living. I think Burnley, maybe at the time. And, um, Basically, this, his friend was like, oh, my friend's coming round for coffee or whatever. Didn't say it was Dusty Springfield. And obviously, you, you know, unless she's got a microphone in her hand and a beehive on, it's kind of like, yeah, you know, that's maybe right, not yeah. realise it's Dusty Springfield. And um, so they had coffee and stuff and all of that. And I, Alan was like, after she left, I was like, oh, she was nice. And he was like, well, you know who that was. And he was like, no, Dusty Springfield. <gasps> it's like, and we love Dusty Springfield. Oh, it's wow. like, you are so not... like having to come to our house. For, you, you've got no choice now. You're coming well, over no. for coffee, whether you like it or not. There you go. Be, I need to. Heartbeat. Yeah, but, you know, if Cher knocked at my door and said, could I come in for coffee, I think I would recognise her. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I just, oh, love it. Love it, love it. Love a diva. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Oh, everybody else was congratulating her. Wonderful body of work, Dame Julie. You were just like, I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she liked that. Well, I th I'm hoping she had a sense of humour. You know, I'm sure she did. <laughs> I love it. Cool security, like move along. Exactly. Uh, Shina, just whilst you're doing that, my lovely, I've got a few bits over here that I want to show because there's some really good stuff. Uh, we have got what I'm going to say, Shina, we've got an item that I kind of associate with you. Yes, Nigel. The Rocker Blocks. Should we have a bit stamp with them? It's, yes, please. Uh, right. The Rocker Blocks are on a half price deal at the moment. They should be 19.98. You get all six of these for just 9.99, which is brilliant. Now, are they open? Let me hope they are because I I've just got nine oh nine is it 9.98? There you go. It's even better. Oh, it should have been 9.99. You get a penny off. Hurrah! Uh, loving that. Let me see if can I go in here. Have you got one over there, Sheila? Yeah, I've got mine here, so okay. we can stamp these, these images. Are curved, so, so literally you can like do your you. imprint with these. Um, Sheila, can you show these in action because they are so good? I can, because if they'll stamp these images in that size, then I think it'd be pretty safe to say that they can handle pretty much anything. I mean, look at that. That is a big image with loads of detail. And let's do it on some watercolour card. That is challenge on challenge, is it not? And I don't even know if this has been stamped. This stamp. Let's so let's just um so extra large rocker block. Um and the thing is with the extra large rocker block is with you can even stamp the tiny little teeny mini stamp like that because it doesn't rock on all axes, it just rocks on the one it's supposed to rock on. So you don't get double images or anything like you do with an acrylic block. And they're light, okay? So what I'm gonna do, let me um Sheena, I've gotta say Julie in Lancashire is in. Do you think it's Julie Andrews? It could be Julie Andrews. I bet Julie, she's a crafter. Can you imagine? You Did you know, know Helena Bonham Cart? I used to go to the craft shows back in the day. No. Yes. I yeah, Ali Pali. She's, she's been to school, Ali Pali a couple of times, yeah. There's a crafter in everybody. My favourite is that Claire Richards from Steps really? bought something on a channel where I used to work and she made lots of things for Ryland's wedding. Really? Yeah. Oh, good. We're going back that. a bit because he's divorced now, isn't he? But, you know, we're back in the day. But I love that. There's a crafter in everybody. 
But you know, she used to be Hel Helena Bonham Carter used to be married to Tim Burton, didn't she? Yes, she did. Well, I like to think she probably just all bought black cord, black glitter. Yeah, because she was all like yeah. There'd be lots of steampunky things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or... They'd be fabulous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I've used this um, ink here just so that it's going to ink up quickly and stamped it like that. And thank you very much. There you go. Perfect. That's the joy of the rocker blocks. Now, you aren't just getting that extra large one. You are getting That's all it. six. There not be any fault there. No, nope. perfect. And I think for people that are doubting themselves of stamping, because stamping, especially with a large stamp, it can be a little bit daunting. Uh, you've got all the sizes in there. They all have that curved nature to them. Just rock a block your way to complete stamping success. Uh, you're kind of getting one set for free here, to be honest, out of this, because it is like you get the two sets for the price of one. Uh, VS2003 is your item code. 9.98 is your price. Um, also, another top tip. We had this the other day, and this flew out the door. Your stamp cleaning collusion stamp the cleaning solution and then also to go with that your stamp cleaning station now sheena do you have one of these over there as well um i haven't i've left it in my trolley in the green room but do you want to come and explain this my lovely I because will, literally absolutely. you've got your so clean side well. and your dry side so like literally you use this because these are like pads that you have in here i'll be honest i can't touch these it sets my feet it, off is yeah. it right so you've uh, but got you one have side these pads here. in here don't absolutely you? so what you do what you can either spray a stamp with this spray here or you can spray this bit here yeah and you take your stamp and you go like that and scrub the, the the stampy bit the, the, on there and then you take it to that bit and you go like that and that dries it now eventually this bit here gets all messy and inky should and we get michael to do one of his extreme close-ups to show yeah. what this is because it's the funniest stuff but it's just yeah. perfect look at that yeah. there you go it is perfect but it's not harsh it's like it's just the right amount of texture on there so it gets into all the nooks and crannies on your stamp it would be sheer folly that sets my teeth off i don't know why it was it? Yeah. It was sheer folly for crafters companion sheer folly. to create a, yeah. a product that was going to be detrimental to the health of your stamp because they make the stamp so you wouldn't want to don't want to ruin them. No. So, but they want them to be clean for you and to look after them. So, what you do is you take that into to the sink. I put a bit of um, you know soapy water, mm -hmm. to, you know, clean it, let it dry, and then pop it back in, and then it's good to go again. And this side is your dry, isn't that's it? That's your dry side. So that doesn't come out, but that's just the bit that shouldn't get too dirty. That gets dry, and this is the bit you want to buy to refill when you uh, when it runs out. Uh, Sheena, can I flabber your gast? Yes, go okay, on. Okay, twenty ninety eight. Do you want to give it a tickle? Come on, let's do it. Mm. Let's get that price down. We did it for fourteen ninety nine before nine ninety eight. If you're a stamper. It's the thing that you need. You need, you know, so you, you I can't, you wipe. Can I just say, you know what? Some wipes, lots of wipes, I know you use baby wipes and things, they've got um, like a silicone stuff in, like a protection stuff in, yes. which can leave a film on your stamps and that can repel water based ink. So you need something like this to make sure you get the best usability from your stamps. Yes. And longevity as well. Yes. Also, can I just say, the rocker blocks are on half price. This is on half price and better. So you could get both your rocker blocks today and this for the price that normally you would just get your rocker blocks for. Yeah. And if you're looking for gifting for people who's yes. a stamp and you don't know what they like, if they're a stamp app, you can't go wrong. I've got this thing at the minute that I keep thinking about throughout the year and I should do it. Because like basically I was saying, um, if you have like something that you want to buy a big Christmas gift for at the end of the year that's a cross after yeah. get a little bit throughout the year hamper. and make a crafty hamper, hamper perfect because things like yeah. this are so yeah. useful that's not a taste thing they might like flowers they might not they might like scenes they might not it's essential like, but that is a, a if a you've got a stamp you need one of these yeah, exactly honestly it's so good yeah. and I, I just love that idea of like a big old basket of like yeah. stuff like, oh i've got one of those one of those it's yeah. like yeah. literally like a yeah. selection box absolutely um 9.98 by ne2024 there you go uh if you want to go for that one pop it in your basket best way to order is via the website oh my Michael, what's the website? All the W's what? I like that flourish at the end. The Dukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukudukud
and how they work, if you would like me to. Is this more rare then? Because I like, mean, I've seen the essentials. I think it's a, lot. A, I don't I think see this it's one a very collection often. of colours that they've put together. You know what, Nigel? Um, I don't want to tell you anything that I don't know for no. sure. No, but we know the quality of the pencils are always good. The colour blend pencils, what I can tell you about the colour blend pencils okay. is the quality. Are you ready? Look, all of the ranges are 24 99 that's silly, right? Half so then, price. right. So just get that collection because what I can tell you, what I know, what I what I know about the, a I can tell you straight away the colour range is fantastic because what you definitely want in a collection of pencils, you want a white, hundred percent, and you want a blank black, hundred percent. You've got that. You also want your primary colours. You've got your reds, you've got your blues, and you've got your yellows. So and you've got a range within that. Okay, so you definitely want that. You want your neutrals. You've got that, and you've got your greys. And you've got your secondary colour. So that's a great collection of colours. If you only want one set of, of pencils, you're covered. Now, colour blend pencils have got a thick core to them. You don't Thin core means less colouring product. They've got a good quality wood, which doesn't break when you, um, this is so true. When you sharpen them. Should they, I get Michael to do tip cam? Yes. Like literally, come on, Michael, let's do tip cam. Because That'll like be literally, great. no, but tip cam. Because literally you can see how good these are. Get as close as you like, Michael, honestly. You do what you like. Because you can see they're not crumbly. No, they're not. You know what I was saying earlier about the, you know, right, this is important because, you know, when I said about doing some artwork for the wall yeah. and with the florals. So if you stamp those florals and you want to sell your artwork and, and put it in a frame, if you use these, that's the product to use because these are pigment. So the light won't fade your dye-based colouring product. If you use something like the Aqua Pens, they're fabulous, but they're not for a wall art. And no, neither are your, um, your dye-based inks. These are for wall art, as are your watercolour paints. They're pigment-based, so they're the things to put on, on walls. Your words and Michael's tip cam working in beautiful yeah. harmony there. Our board is filled with names. Well done to Mari and Ayrshire, to Jane in Gloucestershire. Get that on your CV, Michael. Gives good tip cam. Uh, we've got Crafter in Chester. Je Jennifer in Worcestershire, our coffee addict. Hello, lovely. How are you? Um, Helen in Hertfordshire, a crafter in New York. Uh, Karen in Greater Manchester. Christine in Aberdeenshire. Judith in Cambridge. Karen and Tyne and we are regulars coming in today for this so don't blame you um, it's well worth going for and um, Denise in Greater Manchester has gone for two that, why you know not absolutely because you're getting two for the price of one yeah you know what and they, you're going to wear you're going to use them eventually so either pop you, it in your hamper yeah exactly pop absolutely. it in your hamper a uh, third of the stock has gone on that one it is a special collection indeed loving that and again you can see those colours are just fabulous and um, at this price I mean I think even if you are feeling oh they're professional so it's not I'm not good enough try them because I think you will feel a boost in your own confidence when it comes to your colouring your blending your outlining whatever it may be because you've got quality pencils that again are built to last don't don't compare these to inferior quality no. pencils you might have tried that the kids have got because they're a soft core if you try to use a, 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 a harder core pencil they don't blend you can end up with that etched line and they look horrible you it's so true. Them. But having said that, you know, at this price, I would think if it was the set that I gave to the grandkids to play with, I w it wouldn't break the bank. Do your, do your kids, your grandkids a, a massive, massive gift and buy these for them. I've said that and I've championed this for many, many, many years doing this. Um, the reason I knew I could do this was because my parents bought me this kind of product when I was yeah. a kid. Give them a fair, fair chance. Give them a, give, give them a chance to know if they can do art. Now, Sheena, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea why this is on this particular no. deal. Half yeah. this stock has already gone. Yeah. It should be $24.99, not $12.49, but it is. Yeah. It's a strange old day today. It's a brilliantly strange day. Yeah. There. Uh, we've got fabulous guests in. We've got Liam coming up with his special surprise. Have you seen? Look at that. Honestly, look at that. Oh, it makes me laugh. He hasn't looked like that. Well, I didn't even know Liam when he looked like that, but it's like that was when he was 20 and Liam's now nearly 30. So that's 10 years ago. It's kind of like before the before the boy became an older boy. Looks like he's had a word no. with Cher, doesn't he, there? I can't he's say that. Cher's no. tip there. It looks like he's had a word with Cher there. It does, doesn't he? Bless his heart. Uh, if you would like to go for your pencils, busy, busy, E02036 is item code on that one. Oh, is Liam in the gallery? Show him the picture. Liam, have you seen the picture oh, of you? No. When was that taken? Which decade? Not this one. Twenty fourteen, honestly. 
I was a little boy. Oh. Uh, right, Sheena, we've got another half price okay. deal. Let's add another thing into our little hamper for yeah. people. Um, our acrylic stamp set. Where, okay. Oh, here we are. Thank that you. One. This is such a good deal. Yep. LT2030 yep. is your item code on this. You've got four sets here. Mm. And again, when you see the price, should we get the price on this down straight away so we can show you like 1996, but I'll give it a tick or get that price down. Uh, and you are going to get all four of these fabulous clear acrylic stamp sets. It's half price, right. 9.98. So what you saved on the last yeah. one, again, you can get these for free. So, and again, you've got some evergreens in here. You've got best wishes. You've got this one, which is your yeah. seize the day. See what they did there, yeah, Sheena? Seize, yeah, yeah. You've got this one, which is with love. Yep. Yeah. And this one that is called Just For You. Now, these are called watercolour clear acrylic stamps. You don't have to use watercolours no. with them. It's just right. that kind of look that you're getting so from I'll the stamp. Shall I tell you what about these? What Please. What you know about them is they're very open, right? There's open areas. Can you see how open the leaves are? Look, if I put some white card behind them. Right, so right, yeah. you can teach yourself how to colour with those pencils using this stamp set. Look at how open the leaves are. You can learn how to blend. And shall I tell you what else to get with those pencils? Get some craft card. Pop that in your bag. Some craft card. Craft card. We have that on the show. Craft card looks amazing. Watercolour card, craft card is your friend with those pencils. And it looks phenomenal. And I've tried those pencils. Not all pe water, what? Not watercolour. Not all pencils look great on craft card because they haven't got the high enough pigment in them. Those pencils, these stamps... Craft card and watercolour card, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Like it, fantastic. Sheena. Uh, you are getting kit, all yeah. four sets. Now, this is probably not the easiest way to hold them, but I'm going to try and see if we can get them all in shot at one time. Uh, so you can see you get all of those stamps there. There you go, you get all four of those. I love the shell ones. The shell. Have you seen how open those ones are? Reminds me Have of how should we get them out? They're really, they really are. Not all stamps are as... Look. Look at how big that 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 shell is. Not being funny, you could pay nine ninety eight for that of, set on its own. Of space to colour in there. See? There's, sometimes they're too small and it's this, they're a little bit too um, detailed, but you've got loads of space to colour in. See, I think these are like scrapbooks. You have, you're having a weekend, you know, mm -hmm. Great Pop Yarmouth, them. or you're off somewhere, yeah. or my, my home your city of Brighton. For a little little holiday and yes. You want to do yeah. Oh, this would be nice. Like, after you've had your little yeah. 60th, you yeah. and Maria, all your pictures, you yeah. can have like pictures of shell, yeah. shelves around it. Your pencils aren't messy. You're not going to spill them and mess your van up. Are you going to be doing crafting when you're away? I've taken, we've got a whole cupboard full of. Um, Pens, uh, pencils, and sketchbooks, and watercolours. Oh, it's very so I might do a little few, Liam, um, Sheena's videos. 60 tomorrow. What? I yeah. know, hello. It's her 60th birthday tomorrow. Ollie, oh. did we get something to put on the screen? <laughs> oh, apparently it's Laura that needs to die. <laughs> Ollie's like, I'm only here for a break. He just wandered in, thought, I'll have a go at this. Love <laughs> <laughs> uh, but happy birthday from Machina, nevertheless. Uh, if you want to go for your fabulous stamps, busy for those, I'm not surprised. Helen in Hertfordshire, you're in. Jane in Derbyshire, you're in. Linda in Warwickshire, you're in as well. 9.98 is the price on that one. Let's go back to the beginning, though, with our fabulous bundle. Um, Sheena, this is from you, the fabulous, beautiful, yes. bold frames collection that we've got for us. For people that are just joining us, tell us what we have in the collection. You've got a huge collection here, and you're going to be playing. Um, you've, got, you've got three elements. Three big, um, the triple threat, as we said. You've got embossing folders. You've got two A5 by 7 embossing folders. You've got two frame and word collections. And you've got, um, you've got how many floral stamps? Four floral four. stamps. Four, yep, four. Um, which are photopolymer. And you, they're all Art Nouveau style. And everything works with everything else. So they are completely designed to mix and match. You can make cards with just the folders. You can use the dies along with the collections you, that you have in your um, in your craft room already. And everything works brilliantly with everything else. Now, it should have been around about the £80 mark. It's down to 69 99 And we have a three-way split on this one as well. RX2090 is your item code on this one. Your three-way split means that all you pay today is 23.33. You can do that via the phone lines, the website, or via the app. It's entirely up to you. Uh, right, just to mention as well, she needed to mention that craft card. We do have craft card on the show, again, on a rather fabulous offer. Uh, 50 sheets. Well, actually, there's 50 sheets in one pack. We're going to give you three packs for the price of two because it's going to be not 35 97 We're going to get it down one free so that you get them all for 23 98 150 sheets of craft card stock. What's the weight on that one as well? 280 So I'm in a good base weight, but also still a good weight for like die cutting and embossing and things like that. Um, again, it's a hamper price. I feel that one. 23 98 MR2086. Mr. 2086. 
like some male beauty contest of the future, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Mr. 2086. Um, Sheila, you're back later, darling girl, I aren't am. you? I am, yeah, in an hour's time. In an hour's time. Yeah. We will look After, forward to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. You, Surprise, you, I'm going to be watching from the green room. Liam is the meat in your Sheena sandwich today, isn't he, quite it frankly? Is. There's, Bless a, him. there's a birthday gift for you right there. Uh, hoo -hoo. And I'll be up after the break. I've no idea <laughs> what we're doing. This man has got something. <laughs> Look, I, I love that. Look, we can see the two Liams together now. You can see how nature has been so cruel with age. And if you would like to know what Liam's got coming up, I, I know what it is, but I don't know what the price is, but I know it's going to be. It is ridiculous, yeah? Ridiculous. Ridic is it one of the most ridiculous things you've ever done? Um, I'm just saying so, yeah. OK, he says it's the most ridiculous thing that he's ever done, and he's done some ridiculous oh, things. Yeah. Ridiculous. ridiculous. Uh, find out after the break, and Sheena's back in an hour. Ta-da. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm, and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Hi, I'm Beth Kingston from Kingston Crafts, and I'm so excited to be joining the Hobby Maker family. Kingston Crafts is a company made for crafters by crafters, and we've gone back to basics with paper, tools, and embellishments that are affordable, colorful, and fun, so you can make what inspires you. So join me, Beth Kingston, on April 8th and 9th when I will be in person in studio at Hobby Maker to launch Kingston Crafts in the UK. I can't wait to share this with you. Not only is Hobbymaker available live from 1 until 8 p.m. on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube, and the Hobbymaker app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Hobbymaker.
Good afternoon and welcome to Hobby Maker. My name is Nigel May. Who are you? My name is Liam Dickens. Mr. Liam Dickens. Yep. And that's kind of all I know about this hour, really, is that Liam is here. We know that he's got a special deal, that it's Liam's special surprise. Yeah. I know that it's a fabulous item that we've had on before. I know what yep. the item is and I know how much the item would normally cost. That's where it ends. So, Liam, it's over to you. What have you got and what have you done with it? So, I mean, first of all, I should say, um, you, what is that? Oh, yeah, can we show you this? Liam's <laughs> special surprise. What is that? That was Liam oh, when he was 20. He's now 29. Yeah, when did, where, where did you even find that image? Well, I'm, I'm surprised it's not black and white. It looks that old. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? I mean, come on. Um, so I should say, first things first, is you might be expecting Carla to be here. She is unwell, she is fine. Um, she's got a little bit of a cold, so she's not been able to come here. So We if didn't you want were... those germs in here. Yeah, no, yeah. exactly. We don't want to get the germs. We've so again, this, you do this thing when Carla is ill or something comes as yeah. a surprise, Liam is like, OK, I'm going to do something chaotic just to fill in the hour. Yeah. So you've bought... I mean, you have done some ridiculous things in your time and you have done some really good deals in your time. This deal, you have said to me, and you told Laura, our producer, and she has said the same, is one of the best, if not the best I, deal that you have ever done. I, I agree. Yeah, I, I think, I, I think, well, I say I agree. Okay. I said it. So um, this is what it is. So this is the printmaker. Yeah. So cool if you don't know what the printmaker is, the printmaker allows you to print amazing things that are really cool. Oh, hello. Oh, OK. Uh, it gets better. Producer Dan, uh, director Dan, yeah. sorry, that is just genius. You're... Picture spoils it. Do you know what would have been better, Dan, is if when you revealed it, I kind of smiled. <laughs> that would have been nice. Or maybe a dinner yeah. or something yeah. would have been good yeah, as well. Yeah, something a bit more. So yeah. we know that it's so, a printmaker. Yeah. What is the printmaker? The printmaker allows you to print things um, very quickly and easily. You've got a whole app, which we'll show you this in a minute, um, which allows you to kind of design whatever you want for your crafting needs. You Do can... I have to pay for the app and stuff? Um, so the app actually comes with, so the, the bundle comes with, this is a get started uh, little booklet. Okay. It comes with a code. And that gives you a year's free subscription to the app. Ah. So in the app, I'll quickly show you the app. You get loads of free things. Uh, let me just save that so I don't lose it. Uh, oh, Liam will do that. Uh, right. Oh. We'll do that one. Right, okay. So. Um, on the app, on the home, this is the app here, the store. Yeah. Um, you've got loads of free things already. So every month they will put free items on there. So you've got free collections that. And gives these you are your designs that you can print up with the maker. Yeah, so you can right. print with these. You can you can play around with them. You can adapt to them and all that sort of stuff. So this is just one collection. So this gives you loads of different ones. So you can download that. That's free of charge. Um, so I'll download that one, actually. So you get a year's free subscription to yeah. that, which is brilliant. So they're all free, but however, the year's free subscription gives you access to all of these collections over here, where they would normally be two ninety nine dollars a, a like a collection. So once you've brought it, it's yours. So if you, in the whole of your year, with your free subscription, yeah. which is worth twenty nine ninety nine, yeah. download all of these collections, then they're yours to keep forever. Okay, fabulous. So, so that gives you access to all of that, and there is literally thousands upon thousands. Am I not right in thinking? I'm sure I did a show with the lovely Julie with this fabulous item. Is there not like a special hobby maker one as well? So there is a hobby maker one, which is this one called Botanical Garden. This is exclusive to us. Now, this is maker. exclusive. Yeah. You can't get this on the app, so you can't buy it. You can't. Um, it's not there for anybody else apart from hobby maker customers. So what will happen is. Um, after the show, let me just uh, mute my watch because I'm getting emails, which nobody wants to see that, do they? No, we don't. Um, so after, so on, from Monday, um, you will receive an email from Olivia at Hobby Maker, yeah, um, and that will give you another code that allows you to get access to this exclusive collection, which is all. So that is included in the yeah, bundle today. So that's included in the bundle. So that's worth two ninety nine on its own. Okay, so let's explain this. So we've got the print maker. You've yeah. got the access to the app. But obviously, yeah. when I say bundle, there's a big old pack shot over here. Yeah, because I haven't just done the printer on its own. So this so, is included as well. So yeah? all of this is included. So you in, so included is a twelve inch ruler guide which is magnetic and it it clips onto your magnetic mat which we'll show you in a minute then you get your magnetic mat which allows you to hold down your paper and things like that then you get 150 labels which allows you to then get all organized and create 
as many labels as you want. So all of these items are printmaker, we are makers items as yeah. well. So everything goes together. Everything so works. this is not a bundle where it's kind of like, oh, we'll give you a couple of free bits and pieces. Yeah. This is stuff that all works together. Yeah. Okay, this bundle now, is getting more and more shall attractive. Shall we show you how amazing yes. it is? So if we go back to my pre-design, so let me bring that in here. Uh, we'll go, in fact, I've just got to hide this because there's something on okay, here. We have got people putting this in their baskets. There we go. Right, well so done. I created this earlier. So this was a, a little house from one of the collections. Nice. And then I put Welcome to the HM House. I probably should have exactly put Welcome like to the, the front of the hobby maker HM building. Madhouse, shouldn't I, really? Yeah. So I've designed that. Now, down here is a little logo. You press print. So send to printer. And then... Oh, it beeped. You hear that little chirp. Then once that's sent, sent to the printer, you press this button. This will now go green, and it's ready. See this little guide here? So this is yeah. a light, so I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can, yeah. Um, wherever that line is, that's where it starts. Okay, so that so, little lasery bit at the top there, yeah. Yeah, so I think I might have to send it again because I uh, was messing around. Okay. And then all you do, oh. Oh my gosh. And you can, you can, can you so do it more than one time as well? Yeah, you so you to. can make it repeating. So I'll tell you what, so this guide is perfect. So what I was saying was this is magnetic, um, which allows you to keep things. And is this part of the bundle as so well? So this is all part of the so bundle. So this comes with it. So you get this whole mat oh, and you get oh, the magnetic yeah. um, ru uh, ruler as well. So let's do a repeating one. So if I just press done and then send to printer again, but this time, see this button here where it says repeatable printing? Yes. Click that on. And you can go to, well, you can go up to 10 times or you can go in, infinite. So you press infinite, press send printer, which this is perfect if you're doing ribbon, which we have got ribbon on the show. Yes, you, or we'll washi tape you and things like that would be great yeah. for as well. So again, send to printer, press your button. And then now you can just. Oh, nice. See, that's so cool, See, isn't it? It's pretty cool, isn't it, right? Yeah, and it's so like easy. I mean, if I can do it, oh, and Laura's saying, I've loved, she loves that I've just done it onto the mat. Well, the best thing is... Just rub it off. It rubs off. Not so a problem. So you can print onto anything that is porous. So card, you can print onto fabric, probably will wash off if you put it into, into the washer. You can't print onto something like this, mat, because this is... Yeah, you couldn't print onto like, things like glass, as Laura's saying, because that's not a porous... Substance, surface, right? no, it yeah, wouldn't happen. Surface. So the, basically, that is as easy as it is. Oh my, okay, so now there's one important piece of information missing. Should we get the graphics in? Well, yes, I would like to know how much this is because am I not right in thinking? I mean, I've seen that online for like 250 quid. Yeah. So, okay, so 318 for everything that we have got in the bundle. But that is 318, which is just the machine, which is 250 pounds on its own. Yeah. Then uh, on our website, we sell it on its own at two hundred and forty nine ninety nine. There's proof. We right? do indeed. If you look elsewhere, that's what the price is elsewhere all the time normally, right? So two hundred forty nine ninety nine is the printer. Okay. Then you've got your magnetic mat, uh, magnetic mat, which is this. Um, obviously, that then adds on to it, which I think, off the top of my head, I want to say thirty nine ninety nine. Okay. Like yeah. That. Sounds right. Then you've got your twelve inch ruler. Yeah. Which is an essential, really. I would say that's invaluable. Yeah. So that and this really works together perfectly, and yeah. you kind of need them. Then you've got all your labels. 150, so 150 of those. Of them. So that's your bundle, which makes 318.96. However, okay. if you think about it, you're also getting a year subscription for free, which is worth 29.99. Yes, that's an And you're getting a top. free Hobby Maker exclusive collection, which is worth 2.99. Yeah. So actually, there's an extra. Thirty-three pounds yep. value on there. Okay, I am literally in the dark now, just because my talkback stopped oh. working, so I can't hear them either. Um, so, three hundred. Are we going to reveal the price, very, now very good price? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a minute clock. Okay. Because this is genuinely ridiculous. So I'm genuinely because I don't know where this is going. I'm genuinely intrigued to as see you know, how low is, you can go. This is the home of American crafts. It right? is. So Hobby, Hobby Maker is where um, American crafts is for the UK. If you want American crafts, you know, go to Hobby Maker. Because it's true. we have the best prices. We have all the world launches. We have the UK exclusives. Um, people might be thinking, we're going to match 250 pounds. I promise you we're not. Well, I'll be Very honest, near. because this has been so built up for me today. Yeah. Thank you, lovely lady. Because this has been so built up for me today, I am literally thinking, 
There is a chance I could be disappointed with this drop if it is not sensational. Laura was literally like, you won't believe it. Laura's face was, that's why I said I'm we're not I'm scared to say you. what I want it to be, because I don't know whether you could go that low. So I'm not even going to yeah, say <laughs> it. But uh, th this is, it is honestly ludicrous. And I the want reason more people in basket, though. Look, we've got a few. Well, that's the thing. We have got a few. So Deborah, Helen, Helen. Amina, uh, that's Amina, a great yeah, name. That's a nice name. It is. In Lancashire, Jane in Derbyshire. Okay. We need another minute clock because that's not enough people. Show me it? your price. Show me your price. Are you going to, well, what do you want to do? Are you dropping the price? No, we're going to do another minute clock. Oh, you cheese. Okay. Because that's that not enough. Again. Trust me. It so is more ludicrous. people in basket. Okay. And then we'll show you all. If I can do it. Anyone so everybody it. that gets this in their basket and checks out, because at the minute, I'll be honest, nobody's checked out, and I don't blame you, because you're thinking, well, hang on, I yeah. don't know how much I'm paying. Uh, look at that face. Would it would that face deliver you a dud deal? No, it wouldn't. Look at you. <laughs> Little angel there before that so halo slipped. So you can slipped. even do things like, I'm just hiding this, because I, I'm, I'm going to send, I'm going to print out the price. OK. Um, um, this is exciting. And you can even do photos oh, and all I'm sorts. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not You looking. can even do photos and all sorts of okay, things. Get, right, okay, more people coming through. Alana in Lancashire, Janet in Worcestershire. Remember, £250. You are going to get a brilliant deal. That is guaranteed, because quite frankly, if it's not, I'm going to just, I don't know, storm upstairs to the boss and say, what's going on? I'm Come just going to mute this, because it, it keeps going off, and um, Scott's already going, what are you doing? Well, he knows you're on air, doesn't he? So, yeah. Or does he? Does he know you're doing this deal? Uh, he's gone home. Okay. He doesn't know. What, in, in tears? Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Okay, let's just, go overhead. Just, are you ready? Just, ready? Okay. Oh, no, no hang on. Hang Wait, on. I've got to press the button. Yeah, press the button. It's got beep in it. Yep, it's done it. Ready? Okay, one, two, three. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you can't see it. No. <laughs> Should have done repeating. Okay. I'm I thought gonna be, it was repeated as well. I'm going to be honest with you. The price that I had in my <laughs> mind, I thought was 199.99. Okay. That's what I thought you were going to go to because I thought, okay, yeah. makes sense. 129.99, but even more exciting. Split pay. A zero percent interest. Do we charge people for split pay? No, we don't. Why do we not? Because that, would, that be, would be silly. Thank you. Uh, yes. So 32.49. Now I've got to be honest. Before we came to air, Levi on our cameras was like, "Yeah, that's a bit cool, bit kit. Liking that. How much yeah. is it?" And I said, "It's 250 quid. Normally, I'm not paying that." Uh, yeah. So it's like Levi. Oh, I put the wrong. Would you pay that? Oh, right. You would pay that. Okay, this is where we need David and Angus, well done, you yeah. checked out. Karen and Devon, Alana in Lancashire, more people coming in. We don't have a never ending supply of this. Is it when it's gone, it's gone as well? So once it's gone, once it's gone, that's what I should have done. So I've only just noticed it says drop it like it's hot. Yeah, drop it like it's hot, one, two, nine, nine. That's so bad. And look, Liam, how unlike you to put more pictures of yourself on yeah. TV. Uh, I love I that. I did take that picture today, Laura was asking. Drop it like it's hot. That is brilliant. Um, OK, now we've looked around at other prices. There is nowhere out there that can compare with this, right? Not with, no. For this bundle. Yeah, not for this bundle. Well, you can't even really get a bundle elsewhere. But I you're saving... Sorry, you're flapping my gas now. You're, you're saving, saving. Oh, uh, nearly £200, about £190, £189, something like that. And basically, wow. I mean, the machine is too is full. on its own. Yeah. So you're getting everything in a bundle for free, plus then a saving of £130, yeah. £120. Sorry. What I think is brilliant about this as well is it's one of those items that I think maybe you might have seen it before and you're like, well, I love it. I would love it, but I can't yeah. really justify that price point at the moment. This suddenly, with all of the extras over there that you're getting as well, and those extras are all items that are going to work with this fabulous yeah. printmaker, suddenly it's all achievable. All of this at that fabulous price alongside the printmaker basically means that your choice has been made. You think, yeah, I wanted it, I liked it, wasn't sure because I couldn't afford it. Now where it's, ta it's taken a considered purchase and it's made it a brilliant purchase. Loads yes. of you checking now, out your baskets on this. Like Nigel was saying, it is while stock lasts. Yeah. And we can't repeat this deal all the time. This so was a one-time one -time offer only. where okay. we was offered it from American Crafts. Chastity over in American Crafts, who's who we it's deal a great with, um, offered us this, and we were like, uh, yes, please, heck yes, yes, heck yeah. yes, because that price is silly. But it does mean that if it was to sell out, or when it does sell out, I should say, 
it will go back up. But we have brought a massive quantity because it's not just going on us, it's going on jewelry makers birthday show. So when they turn 14, it's going on their show. When do they turn 14? Uh, so that is the 4th of May. So, so if everybody buys it today and sells it out, the stock that we've got, yeah, is there stock left a, for jewelry makers? There's a little bit of an issue there, but we won't talk about that because they're in the office. Come on, right. let's, out, um, let's sell it out so the jewelry maker can't have it. That's what also, I'm saying. You can also uh, go on to ribbons. So what ribbons, washi tape? I mean, you can do yeah, pretty much ribbon. On you anything. can make your own washi tape. Um, people are asking if any tablet will work. It works on any tablet okay. as long as you can download. You just download the app, which is the Print Maker app. That little logo there. Nice. Um, I can't actually zoom in on that, can I? But the little <laughs> Print Maker app from your App Store or your Google Store. Um, it also works on your phone. But also download this now. You can start creating stuff. You don't have to have a print maker to design stuff. So you could start designing things now, have loads of things saved, because you can save them all like this, like how I've done here. Yeah. Um, so you can have your own little library on yeah, there. Yeah, you can have your own little library. And then when it actually comes, then you've got all your stuff ready to just print print away. This is fab. We've got a message in. If you've got any questions about this, because obviously, you know, it's still a considered purchase in the fact yeah. that it's in the hundreds, but with your split pay, 32 something, which is phenomenal. Uh, good afternoon, Nigel and Liam. I just wanted this print. I've wanted this printer for ages. Thank you for making it so affordable. Uh, Liam, yeah. you have made a lady You're very welcome. happy. This is what happens when um, somebody falls <laughs> ill, like Carla falls. I love Excuse that. me, Dan. Dan, our director, just went, that's not likely. I was going to say that, and I thought, no. I say that enough, so I'm not going to say it. Oh, but at least once in my life. Well, today was the day. <laughs> but uh, let's be honest, though. You're not just making that lady happy. You are making lots of people happy. Yeah. From David and Angus through to Amanda in Lincolnshire. Crafter in New York, can we send this to America? Uh, it does. Anything Because it ships from our warehouse, we can send it back to America. So you could get it for a better price than you can currently can in, the, in, yeah. in America. And we'll ship it back to you and I just go somewhere in America. I, I, I just think it's phenomenal. Glenis Megan in Oxfordshire. Helen in Midlothian. OK, lots of you have got this in your baskets. Eight Obviously, that stock... Well is dwindling. Yeah, lots of new people coming in as well. If you have any questions, email in studio yeah. at hobbymaker.co.uk. Let's see it in action. Let's Sh print, print, print. Shall Which, we do some do a little message? Ribbon? Yeah. Do you want the best message ever? Yeah. Go on, get it on. Oh, yeah, let's have that one, because that's fabulous, Laura, that you just said. Hi, Liam and Nigel. Oh, yeah, there you go. From Janie in Somerset. Hello, Janie. Hi, Janie. Um, shall, we, sh shall we make something? What, what, what should we do? Whatever you fancy. Um, should we go into the special hobby yeah, maker one? Yeah, let's do the special hobby maker one, which is Was it called the creating botanical something? gardens, this oh, yeah. one. So what do we fancy? Do we fancy a, a little pattern? Well, I'd say I quite like the bloom. All oh, right, let's do something with the bloom. Oops, sorry, my head. Um, I want to create. So you so, don't need to be really like technical. No, no, so, so all you do bloom. is, so bloom's in there now. So you just click, then you, it gives you a box. Size it accordingly. You can size it. You can even turn it around if Ooh, you want. You nice. can have an upside down bloom if you want. So, so is this the biggest size it can go? Yeah, the so white this area? is your printing area. Okay. But if you want to make things bigger, so let's say, as an example here, let's say if I wanted to do um, something there, so that was welcome to, and then I put underneath HM House. You can do that. Okay. You just do two different prints, but that's when your ruler comes the perfect place. See, I think people that batch card make or do cards for charity, craft fairs, things oh, like yeah. that, if you had something like this where you put your little www dot on the back or something, it would be perfect. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It's like, that personal little touch. Yeah, that personal little touch. Uh, Julie, for um, uh, my Easter egg hunt, um, did every, did all of that with the printmaker. When you say my Easter egg hunt, do you mean the hobby maker Easter egg hunt? Well, it was the hobby maker Easter egg hunt, but I did it. Well, uh, did you do it? Yeah, yeah. Well, you created it. No, 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 I didn't create it. Julie I saw you do it, it. yeah, I saw no, it online, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was it? Over um, by the it'd be a bit weird if over I... Over by the coffee machine. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, okay, so... Uh, I want to say that. Can I say that? Yeah, you can. But yeah. Nice. Lots of people nice. are using their pin, ba pin badge that. account discount code. He forgot about that. That's brilliant. So Use actually, your pin badge code as that's well. That's 20% off, so you're going to get an extra... Uh, you're going to get an extra 25 quid, 26 quid. Yeah. Oh. So that's going to take so it down to 103 99 ish That is phenomenal. ludicrous. Phenomenal. <laughs> that is that is even lower <laughs> than you wanted it to be? Yeah. There you go. Use it! There um, you go. What, what, what should we write? You make my heart bloom. Oh, oh God, if, if you're going to write that old chestnut again. The number of cards I've had from you with that on. Go on. Right, so then, so there's your little text, so you can change whatever colour you want. So let's you make that. You, you make my bloom. You make my heart bloom. Oh, oh yeah. You make my bloom. You make yeah. my bloom. So, so now, if my you want to, if, if you want to change that text, you can go down here and you just go to change. So okay. you click the little change button. You make my 
heart. Oh, there you go. Oh, I should probably put a capital H. Yes, please, because you know I'm a stickler for right. that. So you can size that again by just using the box. Can you change colour? Then you can change the colour. So let's do the colour. So let's go. Do you want a? Do you want a red? That's nice. Oh, hang on, you're being whispered at you, mean? Yeah. What, my, what, or do you what, want what? a pink? It was my head. Oh, is it your head? Sorry. Or do you want a blue? Oh, like a turquoisey blue. I think it's red, because that like yeah, heart okay. red, love. Red, right, romance. so there's a red. Then you can change your font, so you've got loads of different Ooh, fonts. let's have a look. So let's go for something like that. What's that? Nice. Oh. Not brilliant, but nice. Mm. I like how everybody's using the discount code now. But why wouldn't they be? Well, no, I think fair play. I mean, what's that? Oh, no. Do you know what? Right, let's just leave it as that. Go on, then. So... So that's obviously, this is very quickly made, isn't it? No, but it's good. So press print. Uh, shall we do infinity this yes, time? Yes, Because we're going to go on to ribbon, um, which we have got ribbon on the show. So again, send a printer. Uh, we'll put the details of the ribbon up on the screen, but obviously do check everything out. Uh, check it out on the website. Oh, yeah, that's true. I also it? like oh, the yeah. little chirp. Ooh. Sorry. Uh, You've got both our heads then. You ready? Uh, nice. So that, that's, uh, there you go. And that's not true, and it's instantly dry. It is, isn't it? Because I was worried you were going to smudge it then. But no, not at all. I think this is such a good bit of care. I mean, obviously, there we go. When I, um, I had it on with Julie before, because how many times has this been on air? Uh, I think we've, a couple of times, but we've, we've sold it out every single time. The last time this came to air, I think, was about, I want to say, a good six to eight months ago. Because well, the last time it was on. There. Yeah, no, it, it wasn't because I've done a show with Julie and I've only been here once. So the last, August. so the last time you were here, so that was the last little bit of stock that we had, and we did a special, didn't we? And that and was, was two fifty. And that was kind of like one of my arrival shows, wasn't yes. it? If I remember rightly. Yeah, August. Oh, August that was that's when go. I arrived. So, so it'd be August, so about end of four August, months, maybe. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Eight months. Eight Whoa. months. <laughs> so it's, it's taken us eight months to get it back. That's gone quick. We are, right, OK, the board is full of names. You need to check out your basket. So many of you have. Well done. Uh, Bernadette, Annette, Crafter, Glynis, Meg and Gloria, Crafter in Northumberland. Um, if everybody checks out, a quarter of our huge stock has already gone. Uh, <clears throat> talking of quarters, don't forget you can split that price into quarters as well. A four-way split pay. EJXC90. Um, is this still steel? Hello. Is this steel of a deal still going to be there after the end of the hour? Um, it will be when because will we've got another hour at five o'clock. But come tomorrow. I, have you got like a cut-off point where you literally go to yeah, the website? Yeah, I think, and go, boom, to, that's yeah, not I think it's going to be tomorrow. From, from tomorrow, so twenty-four hours basically. Okay. By the time we 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 launch at one o'clock tomorrow, it okay. will be gone. So you've got until then, but that's if you want to play the danger game and think they might yeah. start left grey. I'll go later. Remember, I would say get pounds. this now. Yeah, 250 quid on its own, but obviously let's just look at the stuff that we're getting again. Just go through what these are then, Liam. So we've got the labels, so 150 of those. Yeah, that's so labels, which are these, which um, we'll, we'll print one of those in a moment. So that's labels. Then you've got your magnetic map, which is this. So, so that's this the, is big, a, the big boy at the top there. So this is it? a yeah. massive Fab. 12, it, it's 12 inch by 16 inches. And you've got centimetres and inches on uh, there. Centimetres in, uh, and inches, yeah. And then you've got some little rulers, which again are centimetres and inches. And then the magnetic ones to and keep your card or paper or whatever yeah. in place. So if I show you very quickly on here, so you could use those to kind of hold your paper down. Yeah. Um, but then on top of that, you're also getting a 12 inch magnetic ruler. Uh, which is your kind of guide. So if you want to do designs where, which we'll have a go at one in a minute, where you write something un underneath and you write something else. Yeah, so that's you can do, your, then your that straight will, lines, keeping yeah. it straight. Can you do it sort of like, I mean, can you do it freehand? Yeah, you can do it freehand. So if I show you under here, um, these are your wheels. Yeah. So that just allows you to kind of go in a straight line wherever so you the want. the wheels there and that, yeah. Yeah. So... This is craft card. It just proves it doesn't just go onto white card. It's no. gone to craft card. It's gone to coloured card. Um, questions um, about ink as well. I mean, ink. Is that we'll show you that in stuff? a moment. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there you go. There's a little diagonal. So again, that's nice. just repeated. Um, yeah, you can go rogue. You don't have to do it with the ruler. Um, I don't know if that should. Oh yeah, it'll still keep going. There you go. Look at that. And um, what I should probably show you as well. Let me. Um, so you could go. However, yeah, we'll have a go. With, we'll have a go with a, a wavy line in a second. But on here, I should show you this. So if you go to home, um, I don't want to save. So you see up here, 
there's a little there's a little print logo and it's got a tick, which means that that's that's your printmaker connected. Okay. It tells you everything that you need. So it says that it's connected. It's ninety nine percent charged. Um, it comes obviously in a little docking station. So I'm putting it back in there and it'll keep it charged. And then it's got your ink level. So this your ink lasts is, lasts such a long time. So that's that's so good to know that um, as well. But it will it will tell you when your ink's getting low. Now if your ink does get low. Shall we um, very quickly bring it on, Laura? So we have got your replacement inks. Okay, okay. So um, that's all you need. It's just one cartridge. So it's not one black, one colour. You've got the, that one does it no, all. No, no, so yeah? that does it all. So that okay. does all of your colours. Um, now, it's not just your um, ink in there. You get a little, you get some whites, but you also get them in the box, what which are thing? these. So I'll show you these. So this is your wipes. And now, now what you want to do is you want to kind of, every time you put it away, let's say you're not going to use it for a couple of months, I would probably, or a couple of weeks, ah, okay. I would give this a little wipe. So you're going, yeah. they're little wipes that you just hook onto the, like the holder. And then um, all you do is just give clean that a little, off. little clean. So it just means that it's not going to sit there so leaking good. or anything like well, it's that. It's not going to dry. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you need to change the ink, do you want to see how easy it yes, is? Yes, please, yeah. So you literally... I want to see everything. You grab this side and you just pop it off. Okay. And there it is. Um, I love the fact so that it's telling head. you as well, And then obviously. you just pop that out like that. Okay. So it's, it's just an in, in, in and out, basically, a clip in. And it'll tell you, yeah, the ink cover has been removed. Make sure it's securely on the printer before you print. Is it just a regular ink cartridge? Or is it one, obviously, with print, uh, for, that we are makers have come up with specifically for this? It's um, specially designed for the printmaker. Okay, fair I think you could probably get them that size because it is a, it, it's, it's been designed smaller than like say your traditional yes. HP printer yeah. or, or something like that. But um, you could probably find that size somewhere else. But those ones specifically, you know that you've got the right one. I, I always like printer. to get the right thing for the right job. Yeah. Also, can I just mention this as well then? Because I know we don't have a big supply of this. Yes. But I think anybody that's ordering today will probably want to get one of these as well because it's a touch of posh, quite frankly. Uh, if you want the ink and wipes, by the way, $39.99 price, we've reduced it. Hurrah, I like yeah. that because it should be $45.99. Um, have we got a reduction on this one as well? What's the price on this? Let's have a look. Because this is our little carry case. Let's be honest, Liam. This is rather yeah. cool. Now this would just... We haven't got many up. left, there though. You go. you've, been, you've been buying us out of house and home on this one. So if you do want to go for this, grab it now. It should be $25.99, but your price is... $19.99. Oh, no. Down to the final few. That's it. Literally, is that when it's gone, it's gone? That is, yeah, once it's gone, it's gone. I haven't actually brought any more of that, I forgot. Okay, well, 19.99, it's going to go. So, like, literally, Pam, Crafter, Helen, Sharon, Elaine, half the stock gone already. Um, what I should say as well, it comes in this little case. So, th this is your kind of holder. So, when you're not using it, put your printer back in this holder. Um, and what it has, and it'll lock and unlock. So, currently, it's locked. It won't come out. Mm -hmm. Then you just twist it, unlock it, and it comes out. So, when, so when you put it away... It's been thought about, hasn't it? It's but been I've thought said about this to you before. To... I think we are makers make the most ingenious tools in craft yeah. land. Yeah. They make them. They made by crafters for crafters, and that makes such a difference. It really does. Um, so busy. Or oh, the grey case is going to sell out. That's for sure. Because loads of you on the. Uh, uh, in fact, it's over allocating. So you need to check out your baskets oh, on yeah. that one, uh, because otherwise it will be tears before bedtime. So loads of people are asking about ribbon. Yeah. Now this ribbon is specifically designed for your printmaker, mm -hmm. um, in the sense of this is washable, because I'm, I'm sure it's washable. Let me double check. So this one is your thicker ribbon. Um, yeah, so this is your 25, 25 mil, so it's mil, quite yeah. thick ribbon. I'm fairly sure, let me just do 100 double check. Um, I would 100% double check, but either way, even if it's not washable, it's lovely ribbon, isn't but that's it? The, I it's mean, if you were doing it decorations on cards, or, you know, if you were tying up flowers or something like that, and you want, or around a cake, and you wanted yeah. to have a certain message. Like how they've done there, look, they've done yeah. it from, um, over, a, over a, a present. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So can you create your own designs or is it you just have to take ones that are on the app? No, you can create your own designs. You can do... Because you did like the Hobby Maker House yeah. one, didn't you? So you can literally like, if we wanted to do one for Levi or Laura in the gallery or whatever, yeah. you could do something personalised. So you can just go create... Um, and can you pick what images you put with that? Yeah, so, so as I did with, I mean, I know it was, I did it about three minutes before I came to air, but on here, look, um, how I created that. Of course, you could make that, oh no, where's it gone? You've disappeared. Oh, I've disappeared. Well, I'll just do it that way. I'll show you that way. So 
you can put your own photos on there. So if you created like your own little, if, if you were very good at creating your own little pictures and stuff and you wanted to mm. scan them in and you wanted to put them on here, you can do that. But I love this idea. I mean, say if you were doing ribbon for around the cake, say, I know, say if it was Levi's birthday or whatever and you wanted to picture of Levi around the cake, you could do it. You can do that. Can you can do it. Are you going to take a photo of Levi? Yeah, we need a Step picture Step into the light then, Levi. Come on. Do you want him? Come around here. They can't just stand there. Come into the light. Come this <laughs> side. Come this side. Come this side. This is fun. Here you go. We'll just have Levi's face all so over. So imagine yourself around a cake. Nice. Yeah. Is it a good photo? Of course it's. Yeah. yeah. You can't take a bad photo, can you, Levi, really? I tell you what, whilst everyone checks out, shall we show you? I think we've got a lovely VT of about um, all the, uh, about what more what you can do with the printmaker. Okay. Do we um, talk over that or has it got No, no, I think it's got some lovely music so we can have a nice break. That'd be nice. I'll get my water bottle out. <laughs> we can have a drink and everything and we can Ooh, get what's Levi. What's in your water bottle? Huh? What's in your water bottle? The normal vodka, lime and soda. What else Ooh, would it be? Yes, please. <laughs> it's not, by the way. I love th That's my tip of the choice. I love that Laura says that I used to drink vodka, lime and soda. Like it's an old school drink. Is it an old school drink? What, vodka, lime and... Vodka, lime and soda. I love a vodka, lime and soda. Nah, that's slimming, isn't it? Vodka, lime and soda. I don't really like if you have like slimline tonic, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I love slimline soda, I suppose you would. Um, anyway, here's your printmaker. Best price ever. Get yours now. Do not miss out. Liam, good news. Lots of people checking out their baskets, which they is are. what we want, especially because you're using that four-way split pay and you are taking advantage of the pin badge code that you may have had from earlier this year here on Hobby Maker as well uh, with that extra discount. That. What you forget, people don't. Yeah. Which I, I love. mean, fair play to you, but... Yep. So actually, Laura, we need to do some math. So if it's what, it takes down to 100 and what did you 103. say? 103 99, 99, I think it was. What's that divided by four split pays? Uh, that's 20, 21 quid-ish. Just a bit lower than that. Whoa. Yeah. That's 
I mean, yeah, very good. Just over. Uh, just it, a, it, it, oh, you can't use the yes, can. split pay, can you? Discount code you can, monetary Ooh. value you can't. You've explained this before. Yeah. Um, so, in theory, then, you can get this price down to 129.99 minus 20% off that if you're using your pin badge code. That is what, 103.99? Is that right? Because it'd be. That feels about right. Yeah, because it? it'd be 12.99 times two. Which so makes quid times your two. split pay, if you use split pay, 25.99. <sighs> wow. Pretty good. I spent more than that. I spent more than go. that on a coffee run the other day. Exactly. Right. Meanwhile, we so, took yeah. the photo of Levi, and we're going to do a personalised ribbon for Levi's yeah. birthday so, cake. So I've already made it. Uh, basically, you import the picture. So maybe I should show you that. If I delete that, um, so you go down here. You go to you go to tools. Yeah. Then you go to image, and then you go to uh, photo library. So on here, you can see all the pictures. Luckily, this is a work. Um, iPad, so there shouldn't be anything strange on here. But you see how, in fact, this is a perfect thing. You see how all these, so this is what we use for um, assets for, say, yeah. um, social media and stuff yeah. for um, Sewing Street, hobby making, things like that. So if you've got things like this, you can print them. You can import that and print that. But instead, cool. we took a picture of Levi. Uh, there we Way, go. Uh, look at him. Uh, so you put, just press done. And then it'll size it into your canvas already. And then you can adjust that and put it wherever you want. So we're going to put Levi there. And we're going to put this on ribbon. And basically then Levi's going to take it home for his girlfriend and, and like, present the Levi Rocks ribbon to his girlfriend. Yeah. To tell her how lucky she is. All was. I'm going to say is, um, during the break, I had a very unsightly image when Nigel and Levi decided how he was going to present it. I think it was Liam's idea. I, mean, Liam it was, I think it was Levi's idea. I was going to say, it was not, not my idea. idea. But uh, I say go for it. That's what I say, <laughs> yeah. Levi. So, again, all you do is press print. It's a tried um, and tested method. We will go to infinite again because yes. we're going to make it across room. Why have one Levi when you can have a load of Several e Levi's, yes. yeah. Come on. Um, that will send. And then wait for the chirp. Now press it again. Wait for the other chirp. It's yeah. a, I love it. It's a little trill, isn't it? Just... <laughs> oh, come on. Look at that. He's smiling. So Let's do more, because he may need more. Yeah, we could do it. So actually, what you can get, actually, I don't know whether there is any in stock, Laura, but double check if there's any of the, the ribbon um, guide, because there is a guide that you can get where you basically, you leave the ruler like, you leave the print like that, and you just oh, leave the ribbon, yes, and that it would just be continue good. into, if it does, what I would do, I would try and find a sample, and I'll show you in the five o'clock hour how okay, to do fab. that. Um, but for now, we'll just do it like this. We'll just do it this way, right? Um, Got a bit too carried away then. I was going to start. No, you've got to let it beep first. There we go. Oh, look. This is the best thing ever. And of course, how we've, how we've done it, we've, we've, we've cut off... We've cut off his Levi's rocks, but we've got his Levi. There, yeah. Look at that. That is the best thing and ever. And the quality, considering that is an image that we have taken in the yeah. studio, and that still prints, the, the, the quality is perfect. Levi, it? go along your full length. Go on, love. Go along the full length so we can just see how, how repeated you are. Literally, are you ready? Look, Levi rocks, Levi rocks. Levi and of course, rocks. if you're using this with the ribbon guide, you, th this would be perfectly straight across the ribbon. So we will try and find that. I will, I, in fact, if uh, Lauren's around. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yes, Lauren is around. If you run upstairs, Lauren, where I keep all the American craft stock, there should be a little ruler that's this colour. Um, it's got like loads of different sizes with it. It's, it might be on the top shelf. Julie you, will know what it looks like. Yeah, if Julie's there, yeah. she'll know what it looks like. I think this is brilliant. Do you know, I, I love the fact that I know you, that guide is going to make it straight, 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 but I kind of like the fact that it's a yeah, little bit random. Yeah, should we try something wavy? Levi being a little bit wavy and not straight is pleasing us. I kind of, I kind of want to just keep printing Levi now. So Why not? Well, should we try Should we try? Should we do a wavy, wavy Levi? I don't know if this is going to work. Well, but give it a try. Know. Yes, come oh, on. Oh, so no, hang on. It starts to get I a little bit... I kind of quite like it, though. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit funky. Yeah. So... I, th I think more of a sort of a gentle yeah, curve is good. A, a tighter thing. corner, not so, so good. I'll tell you what. Let's... Shall we try on a... Shall we try on an A... A, a, a 12 by 12 sheet because then there's a bit more. I'm going to keep all these space. bits for Levi because he's going yeah. to want it. He's going to want to take them all home to his. His family. girlfriend's in for a treat. <laughs> okay. What did you get up to work today? Well, I made this. Look, I printed myself all over the ribbon. Not that he talks like that. Oh, nice. See, that's, that's more of a subtle want. curve. See, if you were Sorry. doing like a 12 inch scrapbook Should page, um, Ooh, you could even Levi's go. birthday, or whatever. 
Nice. Yeah. And so imagine you print up a photo of Levi then, you have it in there, you know, a bit of a, you know, birthday boy, whatever. I mean, I'm saying, when is your birthday, Levi? So I keep saying this. July, July. we've got time. Uh, so the thing is, it's like, that would be a great thing to have. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fine. That is, and it's, it's touch dry straight away, so that's not going to smudge or anything. Can we do it for somebody else? Yeah, shall we? Shall we make something else? What, 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 what do uh, we want this time? Um, Laura, do you want to come in here and have your photo taken? Uh, do you want to Dan? send Dan? Come on, Dan. He needs a treat because he's, he's broken his arm, hasn't he? So he needs a treat. Dan's broken his arm? Oh, he, he has not seen his arm. Have you not noticed he's in a cast? Uh... Oh, my God. Dan, get in here. I actually haven't. Care in the workplace. <laughs> How are you? Doesn't even notice his arms in a great big cast. It's like, hello. So, Dan, come on, in you come. So this is the great thing. So it's like, we'll do, should we do ribbon again? Uh, yeah, we'll do ribbon again. Right, Dan. How can you not have noticed his arm is in a cast? It's because, well, to be fair, so it's covered up. It's been like that for three months. No, no it it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, been like, it's been like it for two days. Right. Oh, he's going for... We'll have to do nice. this as sexy, Dan. There we go. You're so boho. You need to come and live in Brighton. You'd fit oh, in a treat. I'm in Brighton this weekend. Are you? Yeah. Well, this weekend? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing down in Brighton? I'm um, filming at Brighton. Why are you? Yeah. Oh, with well, the football pitch. Yeah, That's yeah. literally five minutes I from my front that. door. It's like, yeah. yeah, very close That's to That's literally door. five minutes from my front door. Yeah. Ring me, I may be about, ah. or I may not answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so? I got, it's a big weekend in Brighton this weekend. Yeah, it's a very big weekend. No, not oh. football. I mean, oh. it is for that as well, mate. Yeah. Who are they playing? Um, uh, Arsenal. I'm glad you finished yeah. that word. Um, OK. Um, also, this weekend in Brighton, it is the 50th anniversary of ABBA winning Eurovision in Brighton. Oh, so no it's like way. a big weekend so massive, in Brighton this yeah. weekend. There's concerts cool. and all sorts of stuff. You'll be able to park because you're up by the, um, up by the football Up by the football yeah. pitch. It's lovely, though. Um, people are you going there are tonight or tomorrow? No, tomorrow. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm driving down today. So people are, 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 are asking if we can print onto Dan's cast. It is technically porous, so you probably could. OK, Dan, we'll do this and then you can come back in and we'll give it a go, we're, we're, if you don't mind. Because you could do, like, Get Well Soon or something, couldn't you? Yeah, or... yeah. Yeah, you could do Get Well Soon. <laughs> we print something really oh God, We could do it really <laughs> Do you know what, as well? What you can do with this, which obviously we can't do it on air, but you can do cards and little... Uh, presents or ribbon, yeah, like absolutely. naughty ribbon. I, I oh, love the right fact that you can personalise this. Let's can you do imagine? That for Levi. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Is that enough ribbon, Levi, or did you need more? So, Laura, is that enough I ribbon don't know if we've got any of this in stock. Uh, so, we've got a little bit of this in stock. Not many. Now, what it is is um, should we side panel that over? Yeah, here or this is perfect for. Um, Ribbon, basically. Yeah. Ribbon or washi tape. And you can literally and pull the ribbon got, through. Yeah, so you can pull it through. So we'll do it with Dan's. Um, and you've got different sizes. So what you've actually got, if I spin this around, you've got uh, three different sizes, which is your 15 mil, your 25 mil, and your 10 mil. Yeah. So, of course... And these just, like, clip on. And, yeah, they just clip yeah. on. So 25 mil, um, we've got that for you. We've also got, then, um, your 15 mil ribbon, okay. which... Again, we've got your 15. And then we did so have size 10. Again, it's what we are do so well. Yeah. We've thought of everything together. Can so, I just chop Levi's ribbon for him? Yeah, so you chop Levi's ribbon, and okay, I'll start thank you. doing Dan. So um, there's your, uh, your washing and your ribbon guy. It's 21.99. So, which is, it's, thank you. you'll see how much easier it is to do um, your ribbon in a moment. So again, we're going to import Dan's image. There he is. <laughs> If, 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 if anybody wanted to see... That makes my that. day. That makes my day, that picture. Um, I think we should sandwich him. So we'll put a little text in the middle and okay. we'll put Dan either side. So let's have Dan there. Should we, I know, does he have like a nickname? And have you got a nickname, copy. Dan? Ah, oh, look at that. So all you do to copy, you just press the button down there and it okay. copies and then it would make another one. But oh my God, so could you literally have continuous photos of yeah, Dan? Yes, so should we do that? Yes. Yeah, so let's do copy. Uh, Oh there we God. go. Does it need to fill the entire area, though, to be like continuous, continuous, continuous? Do you know what I mean? Like this end bit over here. Or no, can no, you so that is that the in? end. So you see that? That is your end. So both of them is your end. OK. So that, that will print. In theory, it should... Continuously, continuous, continuous dance. Let's, let's give it a go, because I've never actually tried Yeah, this. come on. Uh, let me just... But I do think at this price, and watch your head, Liam. Sorry. Uh, at this price, I do think that you can literally... Hang on, have we got... Did you say we've got a single figure... Okay, oh, of the, so of the, of the, the ribbon guys, oh. right, lovely. I thought you meant the other one then. I was like, what? 
So the ribbon guide, here we go. So we're going to do it back on to the 25 mil. So we, you get your 25 mil bits, you clip them on either side. Dan's day is going to be made here, honestly. Um, you feed this through. He's going to give this to his girlfriend as well. Then you feed this up into that bit. There's going to be a lot of happy hobby maker partners tonight, isn't there? I know, yeah. Yeah. There we go. So you feed your ribbon like this. And then all you do is you could almost, you hold that and I'll, I'll pull That's it through. That's I'm just trying to get it the right way. So, so it's then, all... Hang on, there's something, there's, I think we've twisted something. Ah, oh, I've twisted yeah. it, sorry. Hang on, let's have a look, there you go, there you go, there you go, you go. You got it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, oh, it oh no, I've twisted yeah. it again. <laughs> yeah, Bab. There we go, so you pop this through here, you pop that through there. You know that cat, our producer, not in today, but it's like she's getting married. Can you imagine like photos? Yeah, wedding like, ribbon or yeah. photos like that. It perfect. In fact, my sister's getting married. Maybe I should do something like that. So with this guide, you put the guide inside. So that is kind of, that stays there. Yeah. That's not going to do anything. Then again, you do the exact same center print, which that I think is awesome. um, I've done it as infinite times. There we go. Sent or sending. Um, yeah, maybe I will. Dan's saying um, I could give this to my sister as a present. Uh, That's a lovely brother. Yeah, just what she really wants. Yeah, exactly. Picture of Dan. Now, I'm assuming because there's a lot for the computer to think about here, so it's taking a little yeah, bit longer, Yeah, I also right? think um, it's switched off. Ah, uh, OK. But um, let me, i tell you what. Ah, oh, let me try again. So Yeah, because it's does infinite in speed, doesn't it? Yeah. OK, so that's preparing. Dan's face right? has broken the bro broken. Do you think that's what it is? Do you think he's just too, too just tall for the machine? Too handsome. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Hang on. Right, let's close that. Let's save this it. This has got to work, honestly. Let, let, let's, let's save Dan. This is like when Kim Kardashian broke the internet. This is when Dan Truman broke the I just the want to make maker. sure that I'm still connected. Uh, we are really busy, by the way. Obviously, for the ribbon guide, people need to check out the basket. So, Angela, Audrey and the Scottish Borders, Zoe, Christine, Janet, Helen, uh, some of you are going to miss out if you don't check out on the ribbon maker. Uh, there's one left, so, like, literally, uh, sorry to everybody else that's not got it. Uh, let's go back to the actual um, hero of the hour, though, the fabulous printmaker. Uh, the lowest price ever. Should be £250 for the machine on its own. You are getting the printmaker with all of these goodies over here, thrown yes. in as well for 129.99 if you are using your 20 percent code off your pin badge as well that you had uh, that takes it down to about 103.99 i think it is which means you can actually then split it down in a four-way interest-free no charge split pay to 25.99 phenomenal value for money right here we go fingers right. crossed come on let's do it right print infinite send come on it's worth saying this has never been go. tried before so let's yeah. just see I think what it is it sometimes if the app There's does play up, just close about. the app and, and, and put it back I'm on. I'm done printing. Here it we go, says. right? Click. Sent. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Wait, what? You can oh, press button again, yeah. It didn't trill. Oh, hang on. Oh, what's it doing? What's it doing? What's it doing? What's it doing? I'm done printing. So, yeah, it, it trilled. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No. Is it not? Something's oh. going on. Hang on. Right, let's try again. It doesn't like Dan's face. Well, that's, that's just wrong. How can anybody not like that face? It's the face of an angel. Okay. Yeah, right, it, come so on. It makes this is, noise. So this, is, this has got to be the one. Okay. No. Ah, that's okay. really right. weird. So it's done, it's, it's done it on there. It might be... We've got to figure out, have I done something wrong with this? Have I? Oh, hang on, <gasps> hang on. Yes, you put it in the wrong place, love, that's why. For God's sake. No, <laughs> but I didn't realise either. You have to go yeah, that yeah. way. Yeah. And then, yes, that makes more sense yeah. now. It wasn't in, it yeah. wasn't in contact with the so, ribbon. Yeah. Do you know, that's good though. The ribbon that's goes good to know, in that way. You won't but be the only person who does that. It also shows that you can yeah. just give it a go, isn't it? Yeah. You haven't got to, I think I, now we've twisted it again. Oh, we twisted it again. <laughs> Look what you've done, Dan, just for your face, eh? Oh, but it'll be so worth it when he goes home. What's your girlfriend called, Dan? When you go home tonight and give this to Zoe, honestly, you and Levi are making people right. happy tonight. That's, that's, that was the problem. So now, are we ready? This should work. Are you ready? Yeah. Mind your head, Liam. No. D did you beep it again? 
Yeah. I will come back with a ribbon because we need to, I need to figure out how to do that. But if you were to just do it this way, it definitely works. Do you want me to hold the ribbon so it's straight? Uh, yeah. Look uh, at that. There we go. Okay. I will come back with this. I need, to put, I need to practice it properly. Do you know what, though? It still makes me very happy because if that was on a birthday cake or whatever yeah. and you had your face on there, that would be pretty cool. Look at that. But, of course, with your ribbon guide, that would be straight. I just need to read the instructions. Yes. Yeah, but do you know what? We didn't plan to do that. No, no, well, we I didn't plan. So didn't yeah. plan. I had no idea about the show yeah. at all. But it's like you did not plan to do that. I think that's not a bad result considering. Got to say, uh, the ribbon make the ribbon guide sold out and gone. Yeah. Uh, lots of people coming in for our fabulous printmaker deal. It's a mega deal. It really, really is. Um, loads of you have gone for this. So literally, um, do we know how many have uh, checked out, Laura? Okay. So we are looking at about like literally about a quarter of our stock had gone already so and that's not when it's gone it is gone look at that. i do like how you can because we've made it edge to edge on the gut on yeah. the um so there, there's the no canvas. gaps there's no gap so it's literally just dan's face i think this is it so he's gonna give that sheet of card in a frame tonight yeah just so there you yeah. go love from a distance it just looks like a, a like a pattern doesn't it and yeah. then, it, then it gets closer and everyone's just like oh but that's what i think I mean, it, it's like the ribbon with a birthday cake or whatever i keep saying birthday cake i mean any old cake or whatever you want to put it really wherever you want to tie your yeah. ribbon it's like that literally you think from a distance you know what is it when you go because oh my gosh it's a picture of you that is just so cool i know it's not particularly straight but yeah you know <laughs> I'll end that sentence there. Uh, but I just love the fact that it's personal. That, for me, makes yeah. it so much more smile-spreading. Oh, somebody, somebody's messaging and said the, uh, the ribbon needs to be on the other side of the guide. You, hang on, where's the, is the, where's the... Oh, yeah, where's the packaging? Let's have a look. I haven't got my specs on, so you have a look. You no, so how I did it a first time is right. It might be because we do, was doing it on the mat. So I'll tell you what, let's take it off the mat. Let's give it one more go, shall we? Okay. So the way the way I had it originally was the right way. So that is. Under Have you got? There. Did you take your guide out of the one that you opened, or is it? Uh, uh, no, we. I got it from a different. Okay. Bit. So that's how I had it originally, and it might work because we're not on the mat. Should we try it with a simple design and see? Because it might be Dan's face did tip it, it over the edge. Been. But well, I tell you what. Let's try it just one more time with just, his face. Okay. Send. Place oh. ribbon or wash your tape through the guide and slide your print mode. Yeah, see, it should work. Yeah. Okay. Da, 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 da. But again, don't forget this price is it's phenomenal. It is 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 only for today it's only. Market beating. When we yeah. come back in air tomorrow, the price will have gone. Okay. No. But then see if that does that on paper <gasps> now. Oh. Going the wrong way. Is that what it was? I think so. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Am I going the wrong way? <laughs> this is intriguing. I love it. They've cut to a VT now. There you go. We'll come back to the ribbon thing. That's I'll, I'll so have bizarre. a go in the five o'clock. But you can go on to ribbon. That's your homework proved. between now and five yeah. o'clock to well, get that sorted. To, 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 to. But I am going to say... OK, well, lots of people are yeah, saying you need to pull the ribbon towards Nigel. I'll practice that. Oh! So I need to pull the ribbon. Maybe, I think, you don't pull the ribbon. You move the machine. <laughs> so you go that Oh, my way. gosh. Yes, that makes more sense, I think. OK, hang on then, let's... Yeah, so... <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang Ready? on, hang on, hang on. Let's make it not twisted. Hang on, it's still twisted. Go. And my yeah, face the arrow needs way. to be yeah, towards me, that way. It? Oh, yeah. so there we go. But I, again, I didn't. We've got a lot of Dan ribbon for after the show. We've honestly. got. We've basically. Yeah, we'll go back there. Free Dan ribbon with every purchase. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, I just got it. There then. are people literally screaming at us now. That's upside down, though. So I kind of feel that's not right. So it is. Yeah. Do you but know what? No, but how said that, though? It was the right way, wasn't it? So there you go. That, that works. The, the, the audience knows how to use it, which, is, which the is the main Lord. thing. And that's in a straight line. And then I did something wrong that way because... Uh, 
<laughs> he that. just goes over. <laughs> Either way. It's, no it's idea. Do you know, I'm sure there's lots of guides yeah. online as well, because we are, do have a lot of stuff yeah. online, don't they, which is true. Um, Tune in at five o'clock and we'll give that you're, another You're go. determined to make that happen. But that is so cool. I mean, I love that we didn't plan to do that. It was just kind yeah. of, imagine what we can do. And we, you did yeah. do it kind yeah. of. It was yeah. just that last little bit kind but of like made it a little bit strange. We tried it curved. Yeah. Realised that you can't go fully curved, but you can go so, um, a but, little bit curved. Also, card, paper, ribbon, washi tape, Anything that's not like a glossy, yeah. shiny surface that you can do this on, really. Yeah, can't you? basically. Um, Dan's uh, cast, you could probably do it oh, on. We that. were going to try, weren't we? Yeah. So, Dan, get in here before the end of the show. Come on. Come on, come on. We, we won't put your photo on there because that would what, be a little what, bit What do you want on it, Dan? Um, let's, uh, is there like a Paulie icon or something? Like a, you know, oh, sad face or something? I don't know. Oh, I, if, I, I might have to find one of or those. Or if not, have we got to just write Get Well Soon? Yeah, let's do Get Well Soon. Love Liam and Nigel. Uh, you crazy cool cat. Get, oh, no. Get Well Soon. soon. So we'll do that up there. Say hello, Dan. Hello. Get Well Soon. Oh, thank you. And then should we say... Well, I would love you to put Love, Liam and Nigel, but, you know, Dan might not want that on there. Uh, he's getting it. Oh, I love that Laura's like in our ear again. He doesn't, why your head, Liam? Uh, in the, he doesn't get the option. Tell you what, it's very hard to not forget about your head, isn't it? Yep, tell me about it. OK, there you go. Uh, this is going to make your what colour would you so like? much better. What, what's your favourite colour? Maybe uh, that, that colour. Like that. Yellow. No, no, you no can't, not yellow. You can't have yellow because it won't show up, yeah. yeah. Because your cast is a bit yellow. Yeah. Let's do because pink. It's not washed. Um, <laughs> do, you want, do you want a text? That is a text. Uh, do you want a different font, sorry? No, that's fine. No, you just want that? Okay. Yeah. Print. Well, where's the printer going? Oh, it's there. there. Yeah. Okay, now yes. don't press too hard because no, we're just going to do broken. one. <laughs> send. You know, what would happen if a dude pressed really hard? No, he'd be break. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ah, oh, wait. Yeah. We have to go there, I think. Yeah. Is it on there? Are you sure you know how to do it? Yeah, I, you have to get, because obviously it's not a straight line, you've got to get the... Yes! Ah, hey. oh, it's you smudged. smudged. Oh, hang on, though, hang on, though. Can we wipe it off and do it yeah, again? Yeah, can you wipe it off quickly? Quick, quick, quick. We've got one minute, 15 right, you seconds to this. You just have to uh, pretend that. Pretend that, that. that right, we're going to go there. Oh no, I need to You've got to beep again, yeah. The concentration. <laughs> oh, can we, it kind of works though, okay. So, it would work if it was a straight, see how it's curved? It will work with a better demonstrator. Less, yeah, it would probably work with a better demonstrator. Yeah. There you go, it is on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a basic demo, but it's pros. Pro, you've got 45 seconds to get in there and end the show. Thanks, Dan. Don't run. No more accidents. Um, it is a brilliant deal. Well done to everybody that's checked out the basket. Please check out as soon as you possibly can to secure your purchase. It's a one-time only, never-to-be-repeated deal. $129.99 on a four-way split pay for a machine that should cost 250 quid on its own. And you are getting extras that take yeah. the total of the bundle up to about 318. It's Stop phenomenal. It's um, Levi, don't forget your ribbon and your bits and pieces. Dan, get your bits and pieces. Liam, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you for the offer and thank you for the, uh, the fun. Uh, Liam's going to be back at five. I will be back after the break with Sheena. Sheena of the Douglas. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm, and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Hi, I'm Beth Kingston from Kingston Crafts, and I'm so excited to be joining the Hobbymaker family. Kingston Crafts is a company made for crafters by crafters, 
and we've gone back to basics with paper, tools, and embellishments that are affordable, colorful, and fun so you can make what inspires you. So join me, Beth Kingston, on April 8th and 9th when I will be in person in studio at Hobby Maker to launch Kingston Crafts in the UK. I can't wait to share this with you. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobby Maker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobby Maker gift card? Not only is Hobby Maker available live from 1 until 8 p.m. on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube, and the Hobby Maker app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Hobby Maker. Shopping with Hobby Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobby Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobby Maker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Good afternoon and welcome back to Hobby Maker on this Friday afternoon. My name is Nigel May. Oh, look, happy birthday for tomorrow. Aww, Sheena you. is 60 yeah. tomorrow. It's our Sheena Aww. Douglas, which is very exciting. I can't believe you're 60. Hello, tell, you, tell you your face because it looks about 45. Oh, well, thank you. I, I'm, I'm hoping that I, I feel about six. No, well, and yet mental age, you well, know, that's the I'm thing. grown up. Yeah, it's you like can't deny you mentally you're your shoe you? size, aren't you? That's yeah. what it is. I was just talking to Dave in the green room. I said, you know, 30 was really was a bad one yeah. for, for me and him, actually. Because 30, you're like an adult, aren't you? You're 20, you can still be a bit daft, but That's when you're true. 30. And then after that, it all just like, oh, oh. But I have to say, this one's hitting hard. Do you think so? See, Dave had no problem with his 60th or his 70th. He was fine. Yeah, he's doing canny, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll rush the studio in it. Like, no, but you know, I know he's 80th, which next year he is, you know, a bit worried about that. Uh, anyway, Sheena's 60 tomorrow, which is very exciting. But normally we should be giving you a gift, but Sheena's gift is to show you a rather fabulous collection that she's designed and brought to us here at Hobby Maker. Uh, we've got a massive bundle for you coming up. We'll, we'll brew, brew up to that because it's got a great deal with it. But to start with, let's have a look at the fabulous dies that we have got in this collection to begin with. Let's get the deal on for this one. This is your garden visitor. So, Sheena, we are talking about things that have visited Sheena Douglas's lovely garden. Yeah, things that, you know, or might be visiting your garden. You don't even know it because they're little, they're little um, stealth things, aren't they? You don't know. 
You know, it's that little squirrel there. We we have a squirrel that we see frequently, and I love squirrels. So do I. Squirrels, you've got foxes there. You they make foxes. the garden, I feel. Do you know what I love about this? You've got a snail. A snail, Brian. It's that is a real snail, Brian. We, we, we met Brian. You know where we met Brian? Up in Beamish, up in, um, up in Northumberland. Okay. Yeah, we, it was right there. He was a brilliant snail. He was like, he was sizable, and he, he was right. He paused. He like stand there going, hey, check me out. And we did. We, we got some great pictures. Brian, of Brian the Beamish snail. Brian the Beamish snail. Yeah, That's and he had a Geordie cool. accent and everything. So and you've then, actually got six. I'm going to come around the front if I may. I'm going to leave you, Shinny, but I'm going to be back. All right, that's fine. Yep. So you've got the six fabulous sets here. So you have got your fabulous uh, Have a Mice Day. You've got your a hoot, which is your owl. Take it easy, which is our lovely snail. Hi, Brian. Uh, you've got Wild Thing, which is our fox. You also have Nuts About You, which is the squirrel. You've also got Bee Hoppy, which is the rabbit. But also, on top of that, Sheena, what's this here? That is the frame. Now, that's like a scribble circle frame. Now, again, you know when I put a frame in a die collection, I like it to be really as generic as possible because I want you to be able to use that frame with anything, not specifically with this collection, because dies are... You work at eyes in my book. So it's kind of like the spirit and the energy of the animal, you know, like the like the, 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 the nature bit of it. So that's there to to kind of like um, to, to just to accent the animal that's in that frame and the, the little energy of, of that little. So creature. that's included as well. Also in this smaller bundle, which is still rather rather huge. Uh, you've got your stencil set as well. So your foliage swirls. Now, Sheena, this seems perfect because this will go with any other item in this collection. Absolutely, because and they are, and also any of your other collections, again, the, the stencils are to be used within or without that collection. And they're very uh, nature inspired. You've got the, um, the leafy and swirly elements there, but they're to be layered as well, Nigel. You know, if you think of the great, the really cool backing papers that we like when you buy them already done, if you want to create your own look like that and think, well, ha, I did that, that didn't exist before I created that one. It's all about the layering of them. So you're going to be putting colour down, then you're going to be taking colour out with the orbs there that you with the circles and things, and layering mixed media with them and the thick, good quality mylon, the eight by eight. So not just for your card projects, but for your mixed media projects too. Okay, so let's round up on this one then. So you've got your stencils, you've got your six die sets, and uh, six yeah, six die sets, and then you've also got your uh, sentiment die set over there as well, your floral frame. So all of that at a price of 114.99 and a three-way split pay. Do not buy this bundle. It's brilliant, but do not buy it. But remember that price of 114.99. How about we make that bundle even bigger? And what we will throw in is this to begin with, your portrait collection aqua blends from Spectra Noir. Um, Sheena, these are normally, what, 24 99 These sets, aren't they? So that's, that's included. And then yep. also included, we have got a collection of multicolour cards, no, multi-purpose multi -purpose cards, yep. so, sorry. Why is that multi-purpose? That's your bread and butter card. That's like the stuff that does all, one card does all card. So if you're going to just stock your craft room, if you need a card for anything, that's the go-to card. Okay, so that bundle there, you are going to get for what price? So remember, the other one was what, 140.99. So this bundle should be 164.90. Let's tickle. Oh, we've got a clock. Sorry, I didn't realise that was there. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, so we've got a clock. That was tickling prematurely. Oh, I nice was. Like. Honestly, I've been there before. Uh, it's like, literally, let's get that price down now. So the clock is spent. Hurrah. Let's get the price down. Let's remember 114 before 119.99. So for an extra fiver, you are getting those that are worth 24.99, and the multi-purpose card stock, which is worth what 9.99, 12.99. Uh, 12.99, yeah. So that's 25 plus 13. That's 38. It's so the 38.98 worth of. No, 37.98 worth of extras Extra for a fiver. But quality product, not stuff you're not Oh, yeah, none use. of your rubbish. Not stuff like none that. It's just like kind of a, um, a novelty thing that, you know, that you might or might not use. So if you can go for that extra, well, if you can go for that extra fiver for the bundle, it makes sense. Also, it's on split pay as well. So you've got three split pays of 39.99. One today, one in a month's time, and one in two months' time. It's like literally spreading them over the months of April, May, and June, which is brilliant. Diane in East Riding, you are in already. You are a savvy shopper and a canny crafter. I think something like this as well. I mean, the water pencils having uh, the the pencils having those put in as well. Yeah, it's perfect because I mean, imagery like the bunny rabbit, the snail, yeah. the fox. Yeah. You're going to want to colour. You are, and that's a great. You know what? If you've um like the look of watercolour, but you've been a little bit intimidated by it in the past and thinking, oh, mm. don't know how to start with that. This is a great way of doing it because you you can 
control where that colour's going a lot easier. Um, it's not going to run away from you. You'll, you'll see when we start playing with it because I really want to take time to tell you the um, the basics of how to how to make it work for you when well, we start playing. That's the thing. I mean, when you look at each and every one of the stamp and die sets, I mean, something like this. I mean, yes, you've got the perfect size die to go around the actual stamp itself. So you can see the squirrel's going to be die cut and stamped to perfection, but doesn't it look so much better in colour? I don't say it will look fabulous in black and white, but I love the fact that you've got your pencils to put your colour on there as well. It's a perfect combination. Now, we do have everything individually as well. So if you want to check those out, you can do. Some of them have sold out previously, but we've got a few back in stocks today for you as well. Well, so everything at the moment as we speak is individually available but if you want to go for everything together XO 2026 is your item oh I'm going to destroy things 2026 is your item code three ways to order well I do the ways to order do you want to get yourself ready for a demo sure will off you pop Sheena Douglas I'll pop off, off you pop you lovely lady uh, she shimmied off uh, let's give you the details of how to order you can either order via the free phone telephone number 0800 001 433 it's a free phone telephone number here in the UK it doesn't matter where you are uh, it's free phone for you to use in the UK. Also, the call centre, if you're thinking, where are they? Just upstairs. Just upstairs, that's where they are. Uh, if you want to speak to, if you want to speak to, I don't mean to speak, if you don't want to speak to somebody, you can order via the app, of course, the Hobby Maker app. Download that for free from your Google Store, your App Store, or wherever you get your app fix. Or, of course, you can go to the website, Levi, are you in good voice? Yeah, of course he is. The website of choice for Levi and many other people. Get the camera, do it, Levi, come on. This is your moment. All the W's what? Copymaker.co.uk. Beautiful. Look at that. The project projection from his lungs. Fine voice, fine voice. Fine voice. Fine voice. A baritone of brilliance. That's what we're going to call him there. Um, Sheena, a demo. A demo. A demo. You know what? Let's go on a journey together. Yeah. And let's make it uh, start, start simple. Simple as you can get. But the monochrome, even though we said a rise of colour, but we'll add a bit of colour to it, shall we not? All right, so let's now this could be the the uh, multi-purpose card you're going to get in the collection i just so happen to have watercolor card with me but both are going to work great okay don't think it's one of the you've got to have this one they're both going to work great now um we've got the little um the little rabbit here the um well let's say that just we're going to be sensational now and don't worry, is it be, be sensational hobby. be sensational lovely yeah and hey Flower power, man. Hey. Yeah. Peace, love, and Take crafting. Take a weight off, man. <laughs> and love. There's an, there's an ad out there, and I love it. It's just like, take a weight off, man. And love. And it's like, I love that. that. I want to And love. Hey, sorry? What's that for? It's, um, I think it's, it's, it's that Swedish big chain that red ah, sofa. Yeah, yeah, okay. I love it. Yeah. It's like right up my street. I think that may be my, the era that I should have been born into. Yeah. Mm. So what I'm using, I've got some... Um, I, it's an, actually an opaque pigment. I did want the water reactive pigment. That's the one I'm using, the water reactive. So this could be any colour. Now, we will say um, black is the trickiest one to use of this technique. But before you get into colour, if you think I'm a bit intimidated with colour and you get a new stamp set, you see all these wonderful images and you think, and cards and samples, you think, and look, I want to get into all that colour and all that gorgeous you know, mixing and blending and everything like that. But I'm a rookie and I, and I don't know where to start. First of all, join Sheena's Inkets and the team's samples are all there. And they're That's on orders. Facebook. On Facebook. And it doesn't matter if you look this there next year or the year after, they'll still be there for you the year, the year later, two years later, because they're in an album. So, and by the way, Rocker Blocks. Yeah, Rocker Blocks rocker are on blocks. half price at the moment. Yeah. So if you can pop those into your basket, do check out the brand shop for Crafters Companion um, on the website. But also they are on the screen right now. There you go, the Rocker Blocks. If you want to go for those, you get all six size or, or two packs of the Rocker Blocks. They're different sizes. They're about six different sizes from your itty bitty ditty up to the large one that Sheena is using. Uh, VS2003, your item code. Back to Sheena and her inkets, which sounds like some lovely 60s band. Maybe somebody that would be playing at the Flower Power Festivals. Absolutely. Absolutely, it would be, yes, but I still see it all stop. high kicking in a, like a row, you know, like a chorus line. Yeah. Um, so what, what I'm doing, Nigel, is I'm just taking um, around um, a number six, um, one of the Royal and Langnickel brushes, or Royal and Langnickel, I think they need to be so walking as like that. Well, in a posh regal voice. Uh, well, you know what I have to say? Have you seen the series Julia with... Um, with, um, oh, with Sarah Street? Lancashire. No, oh no, I think you one need with Meryl to Street. watch that. You need to look at Julia Childs, and then you'll appreciate that whole thing. Until you've seen the Julia, is Julia Ch Childs, a 
the American chef. chef, yes, and she she talked like this and let's make a car was there a film like this. about her with Meryl Streep and yes, Amy Yes, Julie and Juliet and Julia, yes. yes, exactly. But Sarah Lancashire, seriously, I mean, Streep is like... It. What's that on? It's, um, at the, it's on one of the Sky channels. If you put in uh, Julia, just Julia, oh, Sarah Lancashire, I mean, I'll, she's amazing. Oh, she's just she just respect, but she is, honestly, she gives Streep a run for her money with that oh. character. So what do I'm you doing... remember her back in the Corrie days? Oh, yeah, with Raquel. Yeah, yeah. je m'appelle Raquel. Je m'appelle Raquel. Je m'appelle Raquel. Yeah, she was nothing, nothing like Happy Valley or anything, was she? No. She's amazing. She Great is actress. like, she's, she is phenomenal. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a bit of water. And the thing is, don't blend everything. Leave a bit of white. If these daisies, you want them to look white, all I'm doing, look at the stamp. Look at where I've shaded at the base of the flowers where I've got like more... Um, hatching. So when I'm drawing the stamps, I'm using the line work to suggest the veins in the petals, but also to suggest where it's darker in that plant. So towards the base of those flowers, it's going to be less light where the, um, you know, where the light isn't getting to where it's, um, you know, tucked in towards the center. And that's all I want to do. What you can do is take a little bit of ink and just splodge a little bit on your mat and pick up a little bit. And if you want to just darken the eye slightly where it's maybe a little bit um, patchy, but leave that little white highlight on there. And then you've got that a little bit more defined there. And if you want to just go that, make the whiskers a little bit more defined, if you've lost that in his little nose a little bit, and then you've got that little thing there. But what you can do, you can add a little bit of color with your pencil. So let me show you the first way we're gonna use your pencils in your set. So you can take a bit of scrap card. I have, yeah, I've always got little bits. When you trim your cards down, always keep these little bits of card um, because you're gonna use them for not just testing colors, but little palettes. So I'm gonna use the set that you're gonna get with this. So let's pick out some pinks and things. So if you wanna make a little pink daisy, so just a touch a hint of pink um, and colour here. We are going to scribble onto here like this. And this is where if you want the kids to play with a little bit of colouring in and they all want to play with the same colour, you can give them all individual palettes like this and um, make them beforehand. And it's like they have their own little watercolour set because ultimately what you've got here, if you think of a watercolour set, what you've got is the stuff that's in a watercolour pan set in a pencil form. So um, I, I like this one, I like this purple here. So what you can do is now just take a little bit of this and just pop it at the base of these flowers, just like that, just the tiniest amount. But see how much pigment and colour there is there? Not even using it as a pencil. Now that shows how much colour is in that pencil. If I can put it on a piece of card, pick it up on a brush, then add it to the card after that. That has to be pretty powerful to be able to have be third placement there. Paper to brush to paper. That's not bad at all in my book, uh, Nigel. And these are effects that everybody can get, Sheena, as well, aren't they? I mean, oh, you, yeah. you are, you know, you are somebody that's been crafting for a long, long time. But if you have the right quality pencils, and we've got a great deal on the pencils coming up for you, uh, I will tell you all about that after the demo. Um, you are able to get good results, even if you are literally picking up these pencils for the first time. You are. And you know what? All pencils aren't equal. So don't no. think you're going to look at the deal that we've got coming. And don't think that because we've put this in this bundle that they are inferior quality pencils. They are not. And there's no way on earth I would be endorsing a poor quality colouring product for you. Because I couldn't... that that. My whole you know, reputation all this time has been built on colouring and teaching people how to colour and colour well. Um, and you can't do that if you've got a poor quality colouring product. You just cannot achieve good results with poor quality colouring products. But that's the thing, isn't it? It's about having the right tool for the right job. Yep. Um, just to mention, I mean, obviously busy for the collection, but part of that collection is the stencils that we have. Now, these sold out on their own before. So we've actually got them back today for the first time. We do have them on their own for 7 dollars for all three of them. 
That's just incredible, isn't it? They're eight by eight in size. Uh, HX2046 is your item code on there. You can see that you've got all of the beautiful foliage there. Um, I love it because they work for this collection perfectly, but then they work beyond this collection as well. They work independently. Uh, so if you want to go for that one, HX2046, we were saying about lovely sort of like crafty hampers for friends that you can buy bits and pieces throughout the year. Those are your stencils sorted right there. Absolutely. So if you want to pop that in your basket, please do. But meanwhile, back to this one. Absolutely. Those stencils are phenomenal. Stencils are such a great crafting product because they're affordable because they're just made of a, an affordable substance and, be, and we can give you them huge, sizable. So you can do big things with them. So wall art and obviously as well, you can just use elements of them so they can go any size and go from eight by eight plus because they're repeatable to tiny, you know, teeniest of uh, cards as well. So they're so flexible, so usable versatile um yeah they're a, a fabulous fabulous thing to use so can you see how we're just spot coloring now so this little guy's done there and it's up to you how much color you want to add and where you want to add it and how intense you want the color to be so if you just want a little wash of color you add more water so add more water to this green and it's more dilute and again just a wash do you want to bring those down just a bit um sheena just the two bits of paper Sorry, what was the that? Bring the palette down. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. It's always a it's always a challenge to get everything coming in close, but getting everything so you can see it at the same time. But what I'm doing, notice what I am doing though, Nigel, is I'm not being careful. That's the thing. Not much skill involved here. Yeah, there's nothing like inside nothing. the lines and no. being like really precise. Uh -uh. And you know, watercolour looks better sometimes when you're not that careful. It looks, I mean, when you think you are painting with water. And what does water do? It runs. And that's the nature of it. So don't try and control it too much. Let it be what it is. Just let it be. Let it be. In the words of the, the I'm great words, words of, the of wisdom here. Yes. Oh, right. here you go, Sheena. Yeah. Let's just let it be. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> So can you see how that's just, and I wouldn't do too much more to that. What you could do, if you wanted to do a little bit more, you could take maybe a darker little tone like that, still out of this set. Yeah, the only one I've added is that yellow, which is a stronger yellow from the set I've got. The other set I've got out is the um, Essentials, yeah? Which we have on the show. I've got a great deal coming up for that one in a moment. So if you are thinking, I know you obviously get the pencils in the bundle, you are going to get your fabulous uh, portrait collection in the bundle, but we do have a deal for you with the portrait, the essentials, and also the landscape. And don't forget on the earlier show, we have the special selection on half price as well. Uh, very popular. So check out the two o'clock show for that one. Back to Sheena. Now, bearing in mind, we haven't even shown you samples from this collection yet. And I've just shown you a little bit of colouring from, um, from the collection, just the stamps. How quickly did that come together and how how careful was I not being, but how cool does that look? Mm. And so you could just, without even cutting that little guy out, you could just put your little hoop. Um, in fact, I've got one cut out, just let me show you. Just it's without all that it's achievable, that's what's Cutting brilliant. that out, you could just put that little frame around that little guy there. And you've got, you know, if I cut it the other way around, it, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be um, a, a time consuming oh. card or a project. Put those little flowers on there. Put your little word, your little greeting on there. I've probably got some cut out. We can have a look later and have a bit of play. But that's the first little demonstration there for you. Um, would you like to look at some samples? After yes, I just please. Talk to you? I love it. Who needs a toad in the hole when you've got a rabbit in the hole? Um, should we, yeah, let's look at some samples and then I'll go through that deal with the pencils for you because um, a very, very, we're going to get very busy for that. I can feel Alrighty. it. Let me show you on the overhead then, yeah? Because these are just absolutely gorgeous. So this this is how you see everything come together. Isn't it cute? Very. So this is this is with the pencils as well. So look at how you can do a DL card, but look, expand it outside of the constraints. That's where that frame really comes into its own. Mm. Oh, and I should mention all these little floral elements come in with that die and the stamps are included with that die set as well. So you just put them where you want to put them. And different, um, the stencil, see how the stencils use? So a little bit of ink in monochrome just one color ink but a little bit stronger uh, through the stencil use your acrylics it looks the mixed media in the background julie's used there how cool is that so if I you love, what's like what's the animal there sorry oh, well, do you know when you go, go back yeah. to the previous one it doesn't necessarily look like um 
What animal is it? We say it's mouse. A mouse, it? yeah. It doesn't necessarily no. look like a mouse there. It's giving me like stoaty, yeah. ferrety vibes. Stoaty, ferrety. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. of the coloration. Exactly. Mm. You, can, you can tweak them with a little bit of clever um, colour changes. I was thinking the... there was an animal we had looked at, but I don't remember. That's the right. And that's... Weasel. But that's what I've always said. These are blueprints. You know, you extend yes. them. You just tweak them to whichever way you want to go with them. And make them. But look how cool that. Look at those stencils in the background creating mm. that background paper. Not a board paper, all created with those stencils, the way they've layered to create those backgrounds there. And again, more layering. Oh, and the stencils, you can also dry emboss with them as well. So pop them through your um, machine with your embossing um, mat. And they're thick enough to emboss with. Uh, we've got the L there. Look, there you go. You're, you're awesome. <laughs> totally awesome. This is the thing as well. I mean, when you put kits together, Sheena, it's like you always like to have a little bit of humour in there as well. Oh, well, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't live without having a laugh. It's just... I it wouldn't laugh. be Sheena without a little couldn't, bit of humour in there. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it, Nigel. Look at how gorgeous Look that is. Look at that. Is. You could send that to somebody, you total fox. Isn't it good, foxy, foxy in there? And then again, look, different, different dimensions, larger cards, smaller cards. See, nothing pleases me more than a fox in the garden. Oh, they just love it when so the foxes pretty, come in. They? Yeah, they're lovely. They really are. Oh, so cool. Brian, look, look at now, that. Now, can we talk about the snail? Because here you are giving it all kinds of like, almost slug vibes. But there's something, yeah. I, I, you know, if somebody said to me, I'm going to send you a card with a snail on it, I'd be like, please don't. But it's like when you actually see the cards, you're like, actually, it's really cool. Yeah. You've made a snail funky. I have. I've made a snail yeah. cool, haven't I? It's, it's like Brian or Brianna. I don't know about, but it might be Brianna. That Brianna. One. Yeah, it, but it's like a, a disco, isn't it? Disco vibe. That, oh, look at that one. Look at the glitter here. And that, that's like drag queen snail, cool, like drag it? snail. Happy slimes, good, good slimes ahead for that one. This little bit more low key there. <laughs> and then we got, yo, my kind of nuts, that one. That's a uh, nice. Yeah. And then uh, this guy here with a little glitter in the tail. And then finally that one there. So hopefully that's given you some inspiration on how these little guys are looking here. I, th I think it's genius. I mean, I love the fact that with all the creatures, I mean, A, you kind of automatically personalise them to your own life, like fox comes into the garden or, you know, squirrel, whatever it may be. But I love the fact that they are all animals. Even the snail makes you smile. It's like you just get captivated by the look. Um, if you want to go for the collection, the garden collection, the um, garden visitors getting busier and busier for that one. Uh, Karen in Hampshire, Moira in South Yorkshire, you need to check out your baskets. But I've been teasing you with this pencil deal. OK, so how do you fancy your portrait collection, your essentials collection and your landscape collection. OK, so for $24.99 for each of these, that's going to be what, $74.97. Look at all the colours that you are getting. Because you have got 72 colours, 72 colours in there. You are getting all of those fabulous colours. You have got them in there. So at the moment, we are looking at like just over a pound a pencil. But let's get the price down. Let's give you something to flabber your gas. Let's get you something to get you popping this into your basket. 47 99 is your price. That works out now at 15 99 per tin. Or it's buy three for the price of two. So you're getting 24 colours for free there. So it's like you're getting all of those on the back there for free, which is brilliant. So if you would like to go for this one, pop it in your basket now. Um, Sheena, I mean, that is a great deal. If you go for those and then you get the special ones that we had earlier on Half Deal, yeah. you've got pretty much the entire collection you've of Outlands. You've got the entire collection, yeah, yeah. And that they are fantastic quality. Um, like I said, they're not all equal. What you're looking for is you're looking for a thick core and you're looking for, and you know, who would have, I didn't know at first how important the wood was even on a pencil because oh. every time you sharpen it, if that wood is in quality wood, have you ever sharpened a pencil and the wood keeps breaking and they go, oh, and then the, the uh, core breaks and then you sharpen it again and it breaks again and it breaks again and you're left up with, with nothing. Yeah. That's the wood, that's a, the quality of the wood that's around the pencil. It all matters. So not only the stuff that's in the middle, so it has to have high pigmentation because it can look good in a pencil and then you come to add water and it, the colour disappears. Yeah. 
it gets diluted beyond it's diluted. recognition. It's got fillers in it. Or if you, you know, I and mean, there's nothing worse than it with a pencil as well. I mean, whether it's, you know, like a lead pencil that you're using or pencils like this for artwork, or whatever, and you put it to the paper or the medium and it just crumbles. It crumbles. You put yeah. any kind of pressure on it. I yeah. mean, you could see just now when you were getting yeah. your, um, doing your water with your yeah. painting and stuff. It's like literally you were being really quite sort of gung ho when you were like yeah. applying that to the card. Uh, and it doesn't matter. It's not going to crumble. There was no flakiness. It didn't break off. It didn't sort of dissipate in Sheena's hands. It literally just gave you the colour that you needed uh, and was ready to go for the next job. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's what you, that's what you need. You need the soft core. You need the, the pencil that is going to um, have the most intense colour that they can pack into the core. That's what you're looking for. Hannah in the West Midlands. Jennifer, our coffee addict in Worcestershire. Hello, lovely lady. And Karen in Greater Manchester, you need to check your baskets out. Take advantage of that deal. So remember, you've got the landscape collection. So your colours in there are these. You have got your essentials collection. Your colours in there are these. And then you've also got your portrait collection, which I know you get in your big bundle as well. Uh, the colours in that are these. So you've got something in every tin, I think, for hair colour, fur colour, a feather colour, leaf colour, flower colour, petal colour, skin colour, skin tones. You've got something for everyone. That's the brilliant thing here. Uh, busier and busier on this one. Um, Sheena, are you going to use these on your next demo yes, as well? Yes, indeed. Lovely, yes. then I think it's time, my lovely. All righty, let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the little mouse out with a, a cherry blossom. So we'll um, we'll ink it up. I'm going to use the Finesse uh, Flagstone ink this time yep. because I want this uh, line to be permanent. And the product I'm going to use is uh, obviously the water and the aqua blend pencils. So obviously I'm going to add water to the mix. So I don't want the line to... Uh, to blend, I wanted to stay using our rocker blocks and as using well. Rocker blocks, um, just and just to say to our lovely Laura, I can't hear you anymore. If you flip the switch, there you go. Thank you, beautiful. And you can see how um, how perfectly that's stamped out there with that. Uh, so, Ten percent of the stock of our pencils is now gone. Oh, I'm not surprised because that is, they're such a good uh, such a good product. Right now, here's another technique we'll, that we'll show you. So. I could, right, so here's the thing. When you get your um, your collection, you're going to get the stamp and you're going to get the die. So what you could do is before you even colour it in, you can just stamp it out. Then you can get your die like this and you can pop that over there. And all you're going to do is do a little bit of like target practice like that, a little bit of shuffling it around, get it lined up, match it up. Um, and then use your tape, low tack tape, tape it down, pop it through your machine and you're going to have it come out and it's cut to shape. And you've got the right size dies for the right size stamps for the perfect correlation with Absolutely. all of the animals in the collection. Absolutely. And you're not going to have to go through all that cutting out and things like that because that's the bit that isn't fun for me because I'm not the best at it and I'm not the most patient. So it takes away the boring bit, okay? The bit that I enjoy is the colouring in bit and things yes. like that. However... Don't just bore us, get to the so chorus. I can, I can... I can do that before you, but I think that's probably going to cover it. I think you need to, that's a bit. The bit I think you'd probably get more out of is if I show you how to do a nice background with your pencils. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out a series of colours. Now, what I would say as well is make yourself a colour chart, okay? So I'm going to use as much of this background as I can. Uh, sorry, this set as I can. And I'm looking at... Which set is the, that, Sheena? This is the set that you're going to get in the bundle. So this is the portrait. This is the, the yeah. portrait set, yes. So the portrait set is the one I'm going to focus on as much as possible. So I'm going to use possibly a bit of claret. Well, let's use a bit of claret. Let's use a bit of the... Um, uh, let's use a bluey colour. I'm going to make deep forest. Let's go with deep forest as well. What I'm looking for is neutral dark colours, okay? Uh, that's the deep forest one there. Claret, deep forest. And I wanted maybe a dark blue, possibly aubergine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking some colour and I'm just going to see how far back I'm holding the pencil, Nigel. Yeah. I'm holding it way back like that and I'm just doing little circular movements around the outside of the image okay like this and then i'm going to maybe move that one across to here and then maybe down here so nice and soft no harsh lines or anything no like harsh that lines just and the, the the reason i'm holding the pencil way back like this is because i want to not be putting down if you hold it closer to the point of the pencil you're more likely to put more pressure on. And if you find when you colour in, um, you have a much heavier hand, 
Um, like, for example, um, Maria and I, we, we collect like fountain pens. And when I write with a fountain pen, the line is way finer. And then she'll write with a fountain pen. And it's like, it's like a mouth, it's like a chisel tip. It's like, what are you doing, woman? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just obviously much heavier pressure writing. And just some people do that. So if you find that that's you colouring in or naturally do that with, when you're colouring with pencils, like wax-based pencils or watercolour pencils, big tip is hold them further back. Okay. You, you sometimes don't realise you're doing it, but it will make a difference, okay? So um, just be aware of that. So that yeah, was, true, I think... because if you were holding it down with a tip, you would be more inclined to, like, put a lot more pressure on it. Yeah, absolutely. So hold further back. Now, I've gone from that um, deep forest to, like, this purpley colour. And, again, I'm holding further back. What I'm doing is I'm just creating a little bit of interest in the background. You know when you see watercolour artists and they've got... It's not just against a plain white background. It looks really quite pretty and interesting and different colours and diffused and wet into wet kind of thing, like going on in the background that's what I'm trying to achieve here okay so from one color to the next and again it's just holding back and you don't want to ever want the background to compete with the star of the show which is this little guy here so we want the background to still be a little hint of color but not competing with the full-on color that we want to put um, we want to achieve with him so the next one is just this dark reddish pinky colour that we're going to put down here. Um, and and I... these are all from the portraits collection, but we do have that deal on the screen at the moment with the landscape collection and the essentials collection, all three for the price of two, because you're saving the price of one of them, $24.99. Um, it should be, what, 74 something or other, uh, but it's down to $47.99. So basically you're getting like three for the price of two, but then you've taken a couple of quid off that on top as well. Uh, so if you want to get for that one, GB, great buy. GB 2090 is your item code there. Three ways to order the best way is the website way. Levi, all the W's what? Tommymaker.co.uk Beautiful, thank you Levi, in fine voice as ever. Back to you, Sheena. Okay, so I think, I think we might have enough colour on here now. And the thing is, is it's one of those things where you don't see the colour until you add the water. You know those magic colouring books when you were a mm. kid? And I love them, that you just open the, the page and there's nothing there. And, you know, I didn't get many of them when I was a kid, actually. Did you hear the, did you hear the like... No, the, they were definitely a, like, a treat, weren't they? Aggrieved then, yeah. Well, I got all the, do they the still proper... Do them? Do they still, still do them? Because I've never seen them for the granddaughters. I don't, I don't know. Literally, you'd, like, you'd have a blank page and you put water on it and the colours would come out. Yeah, they were brilliant. It was like, it was like colouring voodoo. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was. It was fantastic. Oh, so honestly. So now what I'm doing, Nigel, I've got a flat brush and I'm just putting some water down and I'm just doing little circular movements like this. And all that colour that I put down is popping and bursting, but it's not in your face colour, but it's nice diffused. But it's still a solid colour, isn't it's it? It's a solid colour. It's not a pencil line, harsh, nasty kind of etched like you would see when you were a kid and you did those like um you know with the with the hard pencils that you yeah. used to get it's soft there's it's, nothing scratchy no about it. it's that nice diffused cloudy kind of um ethereal soft blurred you know when you have like a um depth of field yes. photography look and it looks like the stuff out of focus and it looks yeah, like you, like when you take a portrait photo on your phone exactly yeah. and you could this could be lots of cherry blossom in the background that you, this little guy's just hanging in there in amongst. And you just keep, see how I started at one end and now I'm using just circular movements with the flat brush, which is cov covering more. It shows the versatility of these pencils. It's no wonder we're busy, Sheena. I mean, we've got Kathleen in Surrey, Moira in South Yorkshire, a crafter in Cheshire, Karen in Hampshire, Jennifer in Worcestershire, to name but a few. You need to check out your baskets because uh, yeah, these, uh, these are dwindling in stock. Well, you know what it is? A product only is good is you know how to kind of make it work for you. Yes. And when you see that, hang on, that's all it is. What? Well, it's true, though, isn't it? You've got the poshest car in the world. If you don't know how to drive if it, you then don't know there's how to... no point. Exactly. You might exactly. as well be on your bike. Exactly. And so look at how pretty that looks. And that there now is setting the scene for you then to show off this little guy. And already it's gone from... Uh, you could colour it in in a cute fashion, but now it's gone really arty. And uh, of course, as well, I mentioned earlier, this is pigment, so you can 
sell this, you can put it in a frame mm. and you could then make that a piece of artwork. If I'd used a paler ink, it would look even better because then you could make it look more painterly and less stampy. They make that black line less prominent. It would look even more like a watercolour sketch. But if you look at now, look at that pretty colours in the background. Look at how... It's beautiful. How pretty and diffused that is. And now, I'm, now this is important. You need to dry this with your heat gun because a water paint, watercolour only goes where it, um, it's wet. So if you paint next to a wet bit, it will wick into the next wet bit. Okay. So if you dry that, it flattens the fibres of the card and then it'll not breach that line. You don't want to wick into your wet. Don't we wick into your wet. Don't wick so into your wet. I'm going to dry wet. that and then good. we're going to colour that little guy next. Uh, busier and busier for the pencils. If you want to go for the whole collection, lots of you with it in your basket at the moment. $74.99 should be the price. It's down to $47.99. So you are getting that reduction. Less than, uh, well, three for the price of two, three sets for the price of two. So it's 75 pence, or no, 72 pence, sorry, uh, for the price of 48. Uh, and then you get a couple of quid off on top of that. 47.99, your price there. Uh, we've also got your bundle. Now, if you want to go for the bundle, you are getting your portraits in there. So you get those pencils in there. You're also getting your multi purpose card stock. You've got that. Um, is it 50 sheets of that, if I remember rightly? 60 sheets, even more, which is always good. Uh, then you've got your six fabulous stamp and die sets featuring your garden visitors. So you've got the squirrel, you have got the rabbit, you've got a fox in there, there is a snail in there. I've forgotten to, I need to go and have a look. There's a mouse in there as well. Sorry, I just ran out of shot. There's a mouse there as well, and then you've also got... The owl, I forgot the owl. Uh, then you've got your stencils in there and then you also get that fabulous die set uh, with the frame and then also the words as well. Uh, so it's a really good comprehensive collection uh, for your garden visitors. If you'd like to go for yours, XO2026 is your item code. 119.99 is your price, but we've got a three-way split pay. Um, nobody's gone for the smaller collection of just the dies uh, on their own. And we, well, dies on their own with the stencils and all the bits bar the um, pencils and the paper, basically, the cardstock. I'm not surprised because that's 114 on its own. For an extra fiver, you are getting an extra 24.99s worth of pencils and an extra 12.99 worth of cardstock as well. So you're getting about 38 quid's worth of stuff uh, for a fiver. So it's well worth going for the extra one if you can. Use that split pay as well. Levi, do we charge for split pay? No. Nope. Split pay even. Do we? Sorry. No. No, we don't because why would why why would we do that? That would Absolutely. be. Stupid and silly, it would be, that's it. I didn't get that right then, I couldn't say it, could I? But you get the drift. Uh, if you would like to go for it today, split it down into three interest-free split pays. One today, one in a month, and one in two months' time. Uh, sorry, Laura, what did you say, darling? The floor, ah, yes. If you do want to go for this on its own, I'm not surprised. This is busy for this on its own. Uh, the floral frame, I mean, I love that frame. I mean, Shinny, you had some samples showing that frame to perfection yes, as well, didn't absolutely. you? Yes, absolutely. Well, this one, I think, shows it really well. This little guy here, on the, if you want to see that on the overhead, that one uh, there, because all these little elements here are separate. All these little floral things here are separate. So you can literally place them wherever you want on that little hoop. So the hoop's separate. I've got some, if you give me a sec, I've got some um, in here. If I take the elements out of this little pack here, I'll be able to show you how they come apart. So that there, if you look, you can basically pop that there like that. And then these can maybe, just wherever you want to position them is where you would pop them. You know, they could go up there, they could go down here, they could go wherever you want them and just multi-cut them. So every time you pop something through your dies, multi-stamp these, put them all on your rocker block together. And then every time you put something through your machine, pop, cut these out so you've got them all ready in a little box to go. And then just put little clusters of them and make little separate arrangements. You can also use them as little corner arrangements on your cards or wherever, as little you know corner embellishments to make little, you know, corners or garlands or wreaths or whatever so they're really um it's really such a useful frame as, as i said i want always to make frames as generic and usable across 
all your um, collections as possible, if well, I this can. Is the thing, you're spending your hard-earned cash, so you want to make sure that you've got a lot of versatility and yeah. usability with it. 20% um, of the stock has gone on this one already, so you have that fabulous frame. You've got the words in there as well, and those fabulous little stamp leaves at the top there, uh, and the flowers to build up your frame if need be. Uh, if, I always think if you put a frame around something, it always showcases what's inside. It's always like, you know, it's never going to be like, oh, the frame doesn't make that look good. A frame will always make something look good, I think. Um, ER, uh, ER 2093 is your item code on that one. It's also part of the big bundle as well. So if you want to go for it in the Garden Visitors Bundle, then of course it's included in that as well. Um, Sheena's got more demo action ready to go. Don't forget Sheena's birthday tomorrow, by the way. She's 60 tomorrow. If you want to send in any birthday messages, because you're not on again tomorrow, are you? I'm not, no, I'm off, off on, on, me, a, on my holidays He's off on a holly bobs. Yeah, Get your messages in before the end of the hour. We're here to five o'clock <laughs> just saying happy birthday for tomorrow to Sheena. I can't believe it, but I can't point to it. But yeah, she's the big six, though. I can't believe yeah. that. Back to Sheena. Oh, what was that? I'm seriously in denial. I'm in denial. No, but you don't look 60. I mean, 60 is nothing but an age anyway, isn't it? But yeah, just a number, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll, I'll just I be Sheena, denying we're it. We're still going to be acting like ten-year-olds when we're in our eighties. Yeah, absolutely. So what I'm what I'm doing, Nigel, is I'm I'm trying out some colours, right, for this little mouse guy here. And I'm, as always, I'm going to start with the lightest tone. And I've got um I've got I've got um oh you know what I can't remember what that last one was. That last one was um squash. So I'm looking at the lightest tone I want to make him. So um, squash is this, and I think squash is a bit yellowy, but we might we might still go with squash. This is a bit too red. This uh, tawny was definitely red. And this one here, this might be the one I'm going to go with. This is sorrel. And I quite like, maybe a combination of squash and sorrel as the lightest tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, now to get the texture for him, I'm taking, can you see the lines on the stamp that yes. I have got going in a direction, aren't they? From his little nose there to um, out to across his forehead in that same direction. So I'm following that direction. That's the beauty of pencil. So with watercolour, um, it would all be very um, blended in and, um, you know, in that same direction um, and soft. Whereas with the pencil, not only, uh, even, even though when I blend it with water, I'm going to lose this texture, I can put it back in later, going over the top with the, with the texture of the pencil. So I've popped that in. Then I'm going to go in with this, this one here as well. And I am going to make it darker towards his little um, muzzle. We're going to do that a little bit darker. Nice. Um, and I'm just using that same flicky kind of motion across his face like this. And I don't want to do it too dark because with watercolour, what watercolour artists do that you may not know is, and they, you, why would you know, is that they, they usually build up, they layer the, um, the colour. They don't always do it in one hit. So um, to get the intensity that they want. So what I'm doing is I'm going to now blend this with the brush, but still go in that same direction. And the other thing that is surprising is how little water you need on the brush to get this to move. So less water is going to give you more control. So just, again, agitating that colour that you've put on there back and forward. So you need, maybe you need to work it a little bit more, but that's better than having loads of water and it flooding and it running away and you're losing the pigmentation, the strength of colour and also the control and any little texture that you've built up already. So can you see how we've got that little little bit of texture still like kind of held in there? It's utterly charming, isn't it? And then what you can do, so if I wanted to go back on there now, if I put pencil straight onto there, what will happen is, let me show you, it'll grab if it'll grab the colour and the colour won't be able to be blended away. Now, I'm not worried about that right now because I, I do want that colour to stick. But if it was a darker, stronger colour and I thought, uh-oh, I don't, I don't want that there anymore, I'd l I would lose the ability to blend it away because the core of the card would grab it and fix it. Does that make sense? So beware of that. If you want to go ahead and blend some more colour, 
you would need to make sure that you've waited till that's gone um, and, um, and, and fixed a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just go ahead with some of this grayish color around his little nose like this and a little bit more there. And I'm gonna go more and tone it down with this grayish color like this. So now can you see how much it's going much more natural and toned down, less um, kind of cartoony colours, yes. more I mean, muted? You're giving it that authenticity again. I mean, I think with all of the stamps that you bring to a Sheena, I mean, always the detail is huge. But I love the fact with this one, you know, the mouse, you can see the direction that you put your pencils because you can follow the lines. But also that shading just brings the entire face to life, doesn't it? It, well, that's the that's the beauty of, of the pencils. You see how you can use them like watercolour, but then I can use them like pencils as well. And if you like it, you don't have to add water to it again. If you want to keep that um, texture, and why would you not? Because the fur is more pencil-like than than washed out, isn't it? It's more of a, a, a texture to it than a than a soft blend. And now you've kept that texture of his little fluffy face. See. And we've got that darker area there under his little face and like that. And he's got that shade in there. And then you've just got his little face. And we'll do a little bit of the cherry blossom because I know we're running out of time. Let's do one little bit of cherry blossom for you to see how that would go. Um, let's do this little petal here. So you just do a little bit in the base of the petals and where there's a little bit of um, where they're overlapping. So you don't want to do the whole petal, just a little bit like this where... You, there's got one petal overlapping the other and then you take your water again hardly any little circle movements and just pull the color out like that and just pull the color out little circles so the strong pink not the pale pink be brave because you're just using the tiniest amount of the strong color but pulling it out to the palest part of the petal and that you see how so the flowers lovely. shade in yeah, there? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And look at how, how pretty. Now that's looking much more like a, an artist's colouring in. Uh, and you could put that on a wall rather than, a, than just a, a, you know, a, a pretty colouring in. Um, I don't know what we're like for time or what you would like to talk about anything else. We have got about eight minutes left on the show, Sheila. Oh. I always think it's good when you're here to get as much demo in as possible because oh, you yeah. are so inspiring. But we must say, I mean, anybody is able to achieve effects like this, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know what, Nigel, just follow. The, it's a, you know what, it's a formula. It's a formula, Nigel, is what it is. It's just a formula. Again. And it's having the great tools as well, isn't it? The great tools. Right tools. Absolutely the right tools. And, and it really is, I, I cannot stress enough that colouring products need to have a level of quality about them to get be able to achieve results. Honestly, they do. Um, so, you know, with Spectrum Noir range, um, they are great quality at really amazing prices for crafters. So but you're not compromised on no, what never. you can do with them. But also, I love the fact that they do boost your own confidence. Um, I've got to ask you as well with this collection. I haven't asked you. Are these all genuinely visitors to your garden? Not necessarily. Some of them. We know ones. about Brian I the Beamish you, snail. Like but. Brian, yeah, we had to find Brian and, Be Brian and Beamish. And we've got a friend who, um, Karen, our friend, who's like, she's like, she's never home. She's always, oh, she's, she's, she's either at sea or out and about doing wildlife photography at or sea, something. what she did is she... Well, she will. She, is she she's like Jane now, McDonald? Is since she, a cruise she ship sings? No, not cruising. She's out doing like wildlife preservation. See, How, she does this thing, orca. Um, have you heard of orca? So yeah. it's orca, it's like it's a whale thing, but it's a um, wildlife preservation. So she now, since she retired, she goes away um, um, all over the world and she um, spots and tracks um, endangered species. That's a cool job. And, um, and That's a really worthwhile and job, isn't like it? They, they like, you know, like a count where they've been spotted and... and um, and you know what what's going on with them and and yeah she's 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 out everywhere and also like little this little guy here was was one of the ones that were um and the little fox she's got a name and I can't remember if um, what her name was but she was a rescue um so yeah yeah I remember I think it was because I was on with Debbie with these before I remember her saying about yeah that. yeah so there's there's uh 
I've so got, they all have like a story behind yeah, them as well. Yeah, absolutely. So if we could not have them taking the pictures, we've got friends who, um, who, who have, you know, because if you draw realistically, you either got to use a, you know, um, photos from friends or, you know, a royalty free thing if you can't get it. Because not many leopards and stuff in Evesham, you know. <laughs> and, and I mean, Karen's intrepid, but I don't think she's going to get cl close. And if no, that, if that that's case. true. But yeah, but these little guys are, um, and there was a, yeah, so, but yeah, she's got a, she just, it's amazing what she does. Yeah, it's really cool. But I, I love it, the fact that there's a story, but also, I mean, the imagery, I mean, this is just divine. This could be in a frame, on the wall, job done. I mean, if you had this, you know, on the front of a card or, you know, I, I don't know, it needs to be displayed. This is something that is not going to go in the drawer. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous image uh, that will bring joy to whoever the recipient is. I love it. Uh, we've got some messages for you, Sheena. Let's get some messages to end the show. Because it's Sheena's 60th tomorrow, the big six. Oh, yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. um, Helena in the West Midlands says, Happy 60th birthday, Sheena. Very special, talented lady. Your inspiration is as amazing as yourself. Thanks, Helen in the West oh, Midlands. Thank you, Helen. Uh, we've got more for you as well. Who's the next one from? Uh, this is from... And thank, if we don't get to read them all out, thank you for the messages. Bless your heart. Uh, the next one is... Moira in South Yorkshire. Sheena, wishing you a very happy birthday. Have a fabulous day. Oh, cheers, Moira. Uh, the next one is from Rebecca in Carmarthenshire. Wishing you a fabulous 60th birthday, 60th birthday for tomorrow, Sheena. Enjoy your day. Uh, we've also got who's next. There's Good loads day. of these coming. Uh, Julie in Nottinghamshire. Happy 60th birthday for tomorrow, Sheena. Love your work. Fabulous demos. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Next one for you. This is from Rachel. Rachel is in North Yorkshire. She says, happy birthday, Sheena. You look amazing. It's true. Um, and your work as always is inspirational have a fantastic holiday age is only a number and yeah, lots of sure. nice emojis as well we're loving that yeah. uh, and then one more from Catherine Catherine's messaged in thanks Catherine she says happy birthday Sheena you're the most talented lady on TV she is oh. uh, enjoy your holiday and celebrations oh, cheers Catherine thank you I love that you are talented the most talented lady on TV well. it's true and there's lots of ladies on TV but you are the you are the most talented of them all, says Catherine. Do you know what? I tend to agree. Oh, How Catherine. long have you been crafting? Sorry? How long have you been crafting? For as long as I can remember, because uh, from being a kid, you know, because my dad being that um, a printer, you know, the, the old school printer, like he used to bring bits of paper and card home all the time. And um, so it's like just continuation. Here I am mm. still. And Maybe professionally as your job. And how long has it been your job? Oh, yikes. Um, 18. So like that's 18. a dream, isn't it, really? Yeah. That is your job. I was thinking that. Yeah. Yeah, I think, wow, that's a canny run, isn't it? Mm. That's deep, it's lovely when you've got a job, that you, when your passion yeah. is your job. I mean, that's, you know, yeah. don't tell the management. And just it's still, isn't really like know, a job, is it? Standing here having a nice time every day, but, you know. Colouring in and talking and having a laugh. Yeah, it's true. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, what did you do at work today? This. Yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> I watched Sheena paint, and well, I watched paint. Sheena <laughs> use beautiful colour to create beautiful things. It, it gets no better than that. It really doesn't. Um, Sheena, come on over, my lovely, to finish the show because let's talk about this glorious collection. Oh look, I love that. It was a little empty box, a little empty box. And then you came over, which was oh, wonderful. Uh, let's talk about the bun. Look, empty box. It's so tragic, isn't it? Can we do it again? Do you remember like celebrity oh, squares? Yeah, it's yeah, like one yeah, of the celebrities yeah. has gone for a yeah, wee. Yeah, that's isn't right, it? yeah. And um, if you would like to go for the collection, a beautiful collection. Um, Sheena, we know we're getting lots in there and great yeah. value for money, but let's talk about the creativity, the craftability yes. that you've got here. Yeah. Um, why would you recommend this? Well, if you like nature, which you do, and if you like flowers and florals, I brought them all together for you. Um, I think I think they're just timeless and they're male, female, young and old. And they're going to give you loads to play with, you know, if you mix and match. And they're, they're, they're typical. I mean, they're rare. These little people are around all the time. Little furry so people. true. Whether you know them or not, very well. What I think I love about it as well, I mean, there's a cuteness to it with the animals, but it's not like saccharine cute. It's just, it, it's charming. It makes you smile. It's a very, very, I think, um, crowd pleaser of a collection. Thank you. I, and you know, I wanted to make them big enough so that they weren't tiny and you couldn't do something with them. They're big enough, but they're not too big that they won't fit on a normal size card too, so that you can work with them. And um, hopefully giving you lots of inspiration on different mediums and ways you can, um, you know, colour them in or not colour them in as well. Oh, do you know what, Sheena, can I say thank you? For can we have a round of applause for Sheena's birthday, please? Yes. Hi, Henry. 
<laughs> yes, the legend is 60 to my happy birthday, darling Thank girl. You. Thank you so much. When are you Thank next you, back with us? Um, uh, the 25th, I think, this month. Oh, yeah. you'll be a whole 25th, year 26th. older. 26th, 26th. I was just talking about Jimmy. 25th, 26th. So remember. towards the end of the month. Yes. Have the best holiday Thank as you. well. Thank have a you. great time, whatever Cheers. you get up to. Um, I will see you again next week now, so have a great weekend. Dave's up after the break with Liam with that fantastic deal on the printmaker. If you didn't see it earlier, well, your flabber is about to be gasted good and proper, let me tell you. Uh, but for me, Nigel, and the birthday girl, Sheena Douglas, we'll see you again soon. Keep it here on Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Not only is Hobbymaker available live from 1 until 8pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Hobbymaker app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754 which means there are more ways to watch your way with Hobby Maker. miss a show by watching on the go with our brand new hobby maker app head over to your app store now and search hobby maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet you can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests click on the today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show want to know what's hot then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. 
So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, shift change time. Yes, welcome to Hobby Maker. We're here till eight o'clock as we are every single day. Hope you're well. Um, if you're going out, leave it a while. Stay with us until at least eight o'clock because the traffic out there today is a nightmare. Uh, now, we've got a bit of a surprise for you, bit of a treat for you. You know that we've got um, an unbelievable, brilliant relationship with American Crafts and We Are Makers, don't you? I mean, they bend over backwards for us uh, with prices that we can bring you and we pass them on to you. Well, we've had the printmaker before, but we've never until today done a deal like we're about to do. Now the printmaker, what is the printmaker? Printmaker basically is the size of your palm. It's a palm handheld, thanks Liam, handheld printer that can print onto any porous surface. It's like a cube, like a Rubik's cube in size. But the printer is just down there, the cartridge is on the inside, and it works via an app that you can download to put onto your device, and you can design your own printable labels. You can print on ribbon, you can print on any porous surface. It could be cardboard, it could be the back of a card, it could say, handmade by Dave. It could say anything that you want it to. You can even put photographs onto this printer, you can print your own ribbon, design a ribbon, look at this. But as you can see, the price is over 300 pounds, 318 pounds and 96 pence for the printmaker with the accessories we've got here today. I've got to let you, I'll give it to you back then. I've got to let you know though, the printmaker on its own should be 250 pounds just for the printer, nothing else. What we've got, actually it's on our website for 250 pounds, but don't buy it. Because the deal we've got for you today, that Liam is brilliantly going to de demonstrate a bit later on, is exceptional. You have got a whole year's worth of subscription to fonts and that sort of thing and designs on their website as well, which normally would be $29.99. There's also a free area too. So if you don't want to continue a subscription going forward, you don't have to. You can use all the free content on the app. Um, but if you do want to continue it, it is $29.99. Uh, so you're going to get a year's subscription with access to literally thousands and thousands of images, printable images. Um, so that's $29.99's worth in there. You can get everything else that you can see here as well. You've got your magnetic board, which you can, of course, put your card or whatever you're printing onto onto magnetic rulers, which will hold your project in place. You've also got your alignment tool, which means that you can be printing in a straight line if you want to, going from left to right. If you want to go in an archway, you can do, do pretty patterns, you can do that as well. It's a totally go anywhere portable printer, and you're gonna get 150 printable labels as well. Now that all combined with the price of the machine takes the value of this to 318 pounds and 96 pence, okay? That's what it should be. And that's a great price. EJXC97 is the product code. Now, how much of the stock went earlier on, Alex? 40% of a massive stock. This is another reason that we can do these deals is because we don't order 10 or 50. Actually, the man that orders them is here in the show, he'll tell you. Um, but the quantity that we order from Chastity and all the team at We Are uh, is huge but 40% of that went at three o'clock this afternoon. If you've just got in maybe from work, looking forward to the weekend, and you're thinking, I've wanted one of those printers for a long, long time, can I suggest strongly that today is the day to pick up the phone. It will be on split pay as well, and it's gonna be nowhere near 318.96. Bear in mind, the printer, the printmaker, is 250 pounds worth on its own. Let's do something special this afternoon. Let's start the weekend the way we mean to go on on Hobby Maker. Let's give you a deal. You'll be printing all sorts for weeks, months, years, decades to come with this. Let's get that price down. That's what you're gonna get. All of those accessories you're not paying a penny for. Look, 100, yeah, not two, 129.99. That does not make sense. It does not make sense. 250 pounds for the printmaker on its own. That's what we should be charging you for that. The accessories are worth in excess of 70 pounds, plus you get 29.99's worth of subscription for a whole year with access to all of that printable, uh, wonderful fonts and all those wonderful elements that will be on the website. And that app, by the way, is constantly being updated and modified. So they're not just kind of giving you the app and saying, there you go, that's what's on there. They're constantly adding more things to it, which is really exciting. We've got it for you for 129.99, and it's on four split pays. That is fee-free, interest-free split payments. 
So divide 129.99 by four, all you have to pay us today to get this printer at home is 32.49 plus your PMP unless you've paid it already. How about that for a deal? What a great way, what a great start to the weekend. I, I, Liam, I've got a funny feeling this is gonna sell out. I, I think it could go that way as well. I mean, Which this is the last scheduled me. show today, isn't this it? This is the last scheduled, uh, well, it was never scheduled because it was meant to be Carla today. Yeah, it was. But unfortunately, she's on well. So we thought, do you know what? We'll do this. Yeah. Um, Get our Sue Carla if you're watching. But I'm sure she is. I think, yeah, it, it, it won't be back at this price because we can't keep it there. No. And also, Jewelry Maker, he's planned to go on Jewelry Maker's 14th birthday. Is it? Um, so if there is any stock left, it's going to them. Right. But they might not be, because 40% of that massive stock's already gone. And, and yeah. when we say we brought a lot, we brought thousands. And, and this bundle is brand new today. We've done yeah. the printmaker before, but not in this configuration. So no. this is a brand new configuration at 12999. Or think of it another way. If you're paying for the extras, and that magnetic board is really useful, the alignment tool's really useful, the labels, you need to be able to print on things. So you're going to be buying all those sort of things anyway. If you take the £70 off what you're paying for everything, because that's the value of the extras, that takes, you're paying 50 quid. For a printer, printer. that is silly price. That's insane. And then also, of course, you get a year subscription, which yep. is worth twenty nine ninety nine, yep. and you'll get an exclusive collection, which we'll email you the code from Monday, right? Um, which will um, give you an exclusive collection, which that's worth two ninety nine. Okay, and that's been, um, do, that's been done just for us, yeah. Yeah, that's just for us. You can't get that anywhere else. Nobody, nobody will ever get that collection unless they have the Hobby Maker code. Now, if you're buying it, Glynis in Five has already checked out. Hello, Delia. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Elaine. Hello, Lynn's in Lincolnshire Lots coming of new through for this. As well. I know. Lots of brand new customers too. Welcome if you are new. Um, but look at what you can do with it. You can print onto any porous surface. I so, love that. I've only just. I've actually only just seen that. How they print on our yeah, office they, walls. Yeah, they, they, they oh, maybe Good idea. we should do something on the studio. Maybe we should. <laughs> we'll put a little Easter egg somewhere. I love how they, they did a little um, they did a little height checker. Right. So they printed that on the wall, didn't they, for that little girl? On, that's really that, cool. That's quite a cool idea. And yeah, you can, you can adapt all of the images. You can design all the images on the app, which yeah. you can do on your tablet, on your phone, whatever, um, and then send it to the printer. Yeah. Is some, that through Bluetooth? Some, uh, yeah, it's all done through Bluetooth. So right. um, any sort of tablet will work as long as it's got the App Store and Google Store. Um, your phone will work as well, like a smartphone. And you can um, download the app right now, free of charge. Yeah, Absolutely. and you can start you can start playing around and you can start playing with designs and creating designs. And then as soon as you get your printer at home, which it's all in our warehouse, so it's only a couple of couple of days away. You'll get it probably towards the end, like middle of next week, the Terrific. end of next week. Uh, but um, you can start designing now. What yeah. is the app if people want to download uh, it? The app is Printmaker. So I don't know if you can see that little logo there. Okay. So um, just go just to your app little, provider. Little logo, yeah. And Search it's just for Printmaker. Printmaker. Okay. And then download that and start designing. And yeah. when your printer arrives next week. Um, talking of things that you can design, they, they're, they're something I've designed earlier. Oh. Drop it like it's hot. $129.99. Uh, you could do that. I mean, that was just a little get well soon, lovely in and Nigel. That's what we tried to, to put on Dan's um, oh, no, his cast thing, on his arm. Cast, yeah. yeah. Then there's just constant pictures of Dan. Um, we that did, does not we surprise did a me. Levi, we did Levi Rock's um, ribbon. Because he does. Talking of ribbon, now I did say I would have a go at the ribbon again because I was making a right mess of it earlier. Okay. Um, now, everybody was, was right at home. I had it the wrong way around. Okay. And Levi was like, go slower. And it turns out you have to go slower. So, so this is my first attempt. But this also shows that it's not it, like, if you get it wrong, it doesn't really matter. No. So that, that's my attempt. And then you're ready. Then, then I got it right. Well, so can I quickly say, I know we got asked lots of questions so about, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, about the ink cartridges. Because I know yes. there are people with printers worry about the cost of ink cartridges. We stock them here. You are going to get one with the machine anyway. We stock them here. So as and when you need a new one, you'll be able to get that on our website. Yeah. But Carla, who's had this printer now for a long, long time, has never changed hers. No. And she uses it day in, day out. You can print thousands of labels and thousands of images uh, from one cartridge. We can't say exactly how many images you can print. Yeah, it, it, all, it all depends on, like, obviously, the, the amount of colour and stuff. So, like, this image of Dan, that's got a lot of... That's got quite a lot of colour in. Yeah. But if you're just doing things like this, like the With Love ribbon... Yeah. You, you, you're barely using yeah. any kind of colour there. But also, you can keep track of it on your, in your app. So in your app, you click 
at the top. Or tells you how much um, you can use. Here, where you'll see, so there's a little print label there that's that's tick, that says you, the, your your printer's um, connected. Tells you that it's not a nine percent charge because I've constantly got it plugged in. Okay. And then obviously I've just taken it from the dock. But this is your ink level. So everything that I have um, printed today, and that hasn't even taken a, a dip from. That is there. so cool because there's nothing more annoying than when your ink runs out on your printer and you didn't realise it, and then you know you got something really important to do and you can't get an ink cartridge right that minute because it's three o'clock in the morning or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you can see exactly how much or little you've got on your ink cartridge. And only 39 99 and it's only one cartridge. You don't want to buy like five different ones. No, no, that. and also it does come, I mean, you're in your box, so your, your printmaker will come like this in, in its little box, which is fantastic. It's very nice if you're gifting it and things like that. Yeah, perfect. Um, but in there, it does come with some um, ink wipers and stuff, but then this will also come with some more. Um, and that is basically a little sponge, um, loads of these. Just to clean the head. And it's just to clean the head. So when you put it away for probably a couple of days, I'd, I'd give it a little bit of a clean and it'll just take the excess ink off so it's not gonna sit okay. leaking. Now maybe this has been on your wish list or something similar has been on your wish list for a little while. Um, when I said today's the day to make the purchase, can you see why yeah. I said that? Should we show you how, e how amazing it is? Yeah, go on. Um, now, we're going to try Ribbon again. And now, before, when I came to work, just before we came to work, it did work. Okay. Yep. So, let's hope that it happens again. Basically, I've got faith. It, it, was, it was Levi that was the person that cracked it in the end. So He's the man. Um, we've created like a little thing here. So, as we were saying, you can create whatever you want. And I will show you, let's very quickly show you now. So, if you go to the um, home, this is where all of my downloaded... Um, ones that already are. So you can store what you've designed. Yeah, yeah, so everything that you design, you store, everything you download. So if you, for the whole year, you'll have the collection, you'll have the subscription. So yeah. if you download collections, even if you don't then renew your subscription in a, in a year's time, you're never, you won't lose access to so them. So you'll still They'll have They'll be them. yours. Okay, good. Um, this, Botanical Gardens, is the collection that you will get as an exclusive to Hobby Maker. Ah. Um, so you've got like Bloom in there, you've got some decorative um, edges. Um, it's very like springy, I yeah, suppose, I isn't so. it? Yeah. Um, some bees and all that sort of and stuff. And that's so, exclusive to you watching at home because you're buying it through yeah. us. Yeah, right. and then you've got templates, you've got party time, leave me alone. <laughs> and obviously you can click these and then you can edit them. So you can edit that text. So you can change that and change it to different ones. Or they're, even they're though it's pre-designed. Okay. Yeah, so the pre-designs are, are there for you to be able to then um, change them and... Um, and if you do choose them. not to renew your subscription, there are many, many, many free yes. elements on the so app as well. So if you click, if you go to store, if you have the subscription, which you will have when yeah. you buy the machine, because you'll get, um, it is, people, I will show you just because, oh, oh I've yeah. lost it now. The instruction somewhere. You get some instruction. Oh, there it is, right in front of my eyes. In your instructions, you'll have a code here. Right. Um, and you just pop that in yep. to the store where it says product code. And it'll give you um, access And that will give months. you an access for 12 okay. months. So um, as you can see here, these are all the ones that I've downloaded already. Um, in fact, no, they're not. They're all the ones that I've now got access because I... I put the code in. Mm -hmm. I forgot to do it the first show, and they're all two ninety nine each. So if you didn't want to subscribe, but you just wanted one collection, yeah. it's just two ninety nine. But now, as you can see, none of these have got any kind of payment on there because they're all included so in my. Hang subscription. on a minute. And all 20, you do twenty nine ninety nine for the subscription, seventy pounds worth of extras. That's yeah. ninety nine ninety nine. It's one hundred and twenty nine ninety nine for the whole thing. Yeah. So basically, yeah, and plus then you two ninety nine for your unlimited collection. Yep. 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 Um, and as you can see, I mean, there's so much on here and each one, so, I don't know, like game day look. So you've got game day in here. You've got all these, which is your clip art. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your patterns, which you can make. So if you're making ribbon, you can make endless amounts of ribbon with yep. that. Yep. Um, then you've got your templates. So in each collection, you've got clip arts, patterns and templates. So you can design your own or you can use any yeah. of the art that's on the app. So like this one, team meeting, you could, oh, I've got to download it first. So you could download this. Um, then, okay, I want to use this one, so we click that. But I don't want it to say team meeting, right. so we could click that, press change, right. and you can put it to whatever you want. So what should we say? Uh, Alex is cool, apparently. Alex is our producer. There you go. Uh, and you Alex can resize it. it. So you, then you can resize. It's very easy to resize and move it around. Um, you might decide. So that whole background, there you go. And then you can just print that. So should we print that? And we could take a picture of him and put that on there. Yeah, we can take a picture. Which we, maybe we'll give that a go in a little bit. All right. Um, so 
the design's ready, so I want to print that. So there's a little arrow down here, you click print. Um, and then we're going to do it on ribbon, or we're going to attempt it on ribbon again. Okay. So let's see what happens. All right. And um, we're going to make it infinite, so it will just continue, continually keep printing. Uh, let's press send to printer. We're getting a couple of, so whilst, whilst that's sending, okay. um, it'll only take a, a second or two. Some people are asking, can you get it on iPads? Yes, you, yes, can. you can. This is an iPad. It's, it's an um, app. So yeah. whatever device you've got that you get apps on, yeah. whether Android, it's your phone. Android, Google, um, Apple, Apple yeah. they're, they're kind of the so main just ones search these days, aren't they? On your app um, search, just search for Printmaker. There you'll see it, download it, and you can start designing now. Your printer will be on the way as soon as you purchase it today from us. With either split pay, fee free and interest free, or you can pay in full if you'd rather do that. It's absolutely fine. Loads of you coming through for this right now. It's, um, it's a deal that we've launched today. We've done the printmaker before, but not this deal. And all the accessories and the subscription worth well over £100, uh, and you're going to get it the whole lot for $129.99. Oh, that's still that. So that's still with the with love one because I've not sent it. So there's your with love. Yep. Oh, I'm glad it worked. Um, now let's try and do this. So we want to send that to. Oh no, we want that to be infinite. Send printer. We've been asked how much is the subscription. Well, it's normally twenty nine ninety nine, but you'll get a year's yeah. worth free. After that, it's up to you whether you choose to renew it and pay twenty nine ninety nine or not. You'll get a code. Well, not that code. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's the same code, but um, one's in English, one's in Spanish. Okay. Um, so there's your code there. And do you know what? What I really love about this as well, you're not buying an unknown brand, you're buying a tool of amazing quality from American Crafts, and we are makers. Um, the support from that company are amazing. The app is constantly being developed. Things are being added to it constantly. Yes, so no we charge. actually had a catch up with American Crafts, and they have said they are, uh, they're, they're, they're just because, People might look at this price and go, oh, that's it, you're, you're, never, you're, you're decommissioning it, I suppose. They aren't. They are redeveloping the app to make it even more yeah. friendly and um, exciting with different features and but, things like that on it. But realistically, the thing with We Are Makers and American Crafts is they were with us right at the beginning of when we started at Hobby Maker, and they yeah. really wanted us as a channel to be a great success. Uh, we kind of partnered with them as it were and the deals they give us they don't give other people so you can benefit by getting these amazing prices from a brilliant brand like this yeah and the fact that the app is free for you for a whole year remember um of course you've still got the app afterwards even if you don't renew your subscription with lots of free content on there but if you want to have the thousands and thousands and thousands of images and extra content then you can choose to renew it if you want to yeah 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 and and and, and if you didn't everything you've already downloaded you can use and and like Alex just said, it doesn't stop you doing your original no. artwork. So it's ready to go now. So I've sent it to the sent it to the printer. It's 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 deallocated the with love because I was playing around with that earlier. So now once you've sent it, you press the top. Yep. It will beep. Well, little chirp. Little I chirp. Suppose. Yep. And now it's ready. Now all you do. So we've got to be slow, slow apparently. So when it goes green, it's ready. Yes. Alex is cool. Alex is cool. There you go. Levi? I can't go any further because I've come to the end of the table. Cool. Cheers. And there you go. I mean, look how obviously if I if I didn't run out of the end of the table, I would have carried on going and finished off the last bit of Alex's call. Cool. But you could just chop that. Look at that. Can you imagine that over um, over um, maybe if you was making personalised presents or yeah. Uh, like Nigel was saying, cakes, things like that, Absolutely. all sorts. Yeah. But that's not, it doesn't just go on to ribbon, it goes on to anything poor. So cards. I mean, imagine like. if you're at a fair or at a get together or crafting get together and you can offer personalization on ribbon on card uh, you can make your own labels you can make your own price labels if you want to you can do your own handmade by and then put your name on the back it's a go anywhere portable printer that's rechargeable so you can use yeah. it completely wire free so this is this is your little device that yep. the cable comes with it um it's just uh um, a little plug, so you, any USB plugs, the USB comes with it, you yep. just need a plug or yep. um, plug it into your laptop or anything like that. Um, so that cable comes with it. And then this is basically your docking station. So that goes into there. Yep. So every time it sits in there and it's plugged in, um, it charges and it's got a little locking button. So when you put it away, it means that it's not gonna go anywhere. Yep. And then you just spin it at the bottom and it'll unlock. And the 
the beauty is, okay, there's all that wonderful artwork on the app for you to enjoy and print off and, and use it in whichever way you wish. But also, the fact that you can customize, you can yeah. write whatever you want to write, you can put photographs that you've taken with your phone or whatever and put those onto your card, onto any porous surface. So it doesn't have to be ribbon, it doesn't have to be card or the backs of card, it can be boxes, it could be any porous surface that you've got. Think about it. You can yeah. personalize and, and label everything. Um, and I know Alex was saying that we've got a couple of questions in where people are saying, do I need to buy a new printer if the app's been updated? No, no. the app is the app. So once you've downloaded the app, it's just like a normal app. So like Facebook or, yeah. or Twitter or the Hobby Maker app. It just tells you if it's updated. It, it would just update just... automatically normally. Normally these days, they, it does it automatically, don't they? Now remember, so, this is the magnetic sheet you're going to yeah. get, magnetic map, with two magnetic um, rulers, one yeah. in inches, one in centimetres. So this is perfect. So inches and centimetres, the same with a mat is inches and centimetres. It's 16 inches by 12 inches. Um, this allows you to be able to put like, so let's say you're doing design on paper yep. or card, you can then magnet like you can stick it down and it won't move then you've got your 12 inch ruler which is very good the guide is perfect is for, that so you go in a straight line yeah so this yeah. goes in a straight line so what we're going to do this time is we're going to try and make because on your canvas let me show you the canvas so your canvas size that is your print kind of size yeah. so that's the size that it will print right so it's about an inch high yeah roughly. yeah it's yeah. about an inch but if you wanted to make it more there's nothing stopping you doing that right in theory so we're going to give it a go. Okay. So let's say, let's. Um, what should we design? Should we do? Uh, a, um, let's do something like. Uh, let's have a look at our, in our botanical. So let's go templates. Let's do the. Uh, no, let's not do the leave me out alone. You could print that on the back of your chair in the office. Yeah, do you know? Leave I me alone. Maybe should do that more. <laughs> stop, people, stop people bugging me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alex. <laughs> oh, dragonflies. Um, yeah, so you, like this is this is how much you've got. You've got dragonflies. You've got little um, what are they? Uh, post post stamps. Yeah, postage stamps. So let's do. And let's, this is all there. All that artwork's there. Let's for do you. meant to be, shall we? So um, on this, let's make that a little bit smaller. So if we print that first. So again, all you do, click. We're going to print this one time this time. So it's not going to repeat it. So okay. you can either do repeated or you don't. Yeah. Center printer. Wait for the little chirp. Yeah, make, wait for the little chirp. And then what I really like is the LED light that you've got that. So that, where that little headlight starts yep. almost. That's that where it starts is, to print. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's where it'll start to print. So if you want to start it at say the four inch mark there, because that's a particular design, you line that line up with your four inch. Then so you clever. click. You so clever. Then you click and it'll flash green. It's ready. It's put then lights we'll on. do that. So there's the meant to be. Yeah. And then if we bring that down, so we want to bring it to there. And again, we're going to start on the four inch again. But what should we do underneath it? Meant to be, if we do a different design, so. Um, and you can have so much fun. The thing is, you can do all the designing on the app, so you're not wasting ink. Nothing's trial and error. If you don't like the way what you're going to print looks on the app, you don't print it. When you're happy with it, when you're happy with what's on the screen, that's when you send it to the printer. It then prints it for you either over and over and over again or just the once. It's entirely up to you. I'm getting a bit soppy here now, aren't I? Right, so now I'm I've got a new design. So now we're going to do that underneath. So again, I've lined up to the four because yep. that's where we started this last one. Yep. Um, sending it to the printer. It's flashing. It's thinking about it. Chirps. Then press it and it'll hit green. Yep. Then if this works, in theory, we should now... Oh, doesn't go. it work? Ah, what? The only thing I would have done is I should have made that a little bit further up. I probably moved the, the ruler a bit further down, but then it'd be together, wouldn't it? But remember, you know, if you were buying this and you'd only get, say, 50 prints out of one cartridge, you'd think twice. You know, yeah. I would think twice. You can get literally thousands of prints. We can't say exactly how many because it depends yeah. on how much color you're using every time you're doing a print, obviously. But you know, you don't have to change your cartridge for ages. And they're only $39.99 going forward. And it's just one cartridge with all those colors in it. You don't need to buy three or four or five separate different colors. It's just one cartridge. They're on our website. They're available in the show as well if you want to buy an extra one just to have one spare. But Carla's had hers now for about a year, I think, and she's not changed it. Yeah, not changed yet. it. No, yeah. uh, it does last a long time. I mean, we'll, we'll print loads this hour, so let's just go a bit mad, shall we? Let's Why start not? printing loads. And then, like, you can even do, so this is a whole section of 
uh, not so basic shapes, which is quite cool. So you've got loads of clip arts, you've got little, ah, oh, this is what we were looking earlier oh, for like a little heart. Like a t-shirt with that one. Um, or you've got templates. Oh, that's quite cool. Camouflage. Yeah. Um, so let's do something like, because this is quite a, quite, I would say, um, ink heavy, isn't it? In black, so yeah, dark colours. Let's yeah. create something with that. So, I don't know. Uh, what, should, what, what do you want it to say? Dave was here. Dave was here. Was here. Dave. But you can't see him because he's camouflaged. Was. Was here. <laughs> yeah. I was say, could you not hold it in, Dave? But what you can do, so you can change colours. Oh, okay. So uh, if we make it white, yeah. we could put then the, the text on there. Um, we can change the font. So if you want a nicer font. Oh, I like that one. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, let's keep that one. So then we can make that bigger. Um, and then we yeah, can move that all down. This, all this playing on your tablet or on your phone or whatever you're using isn't costing you anything. No. I, and I would say, if, if, if you brought this today or you're thinking about buying it, download this app now and have a go with it. Yeah. Play around with it and then actually you'll realise how much you really, you, like, you're going to... I tell you what, before you download the app, Make sure you order this because it's going incredibly quickly. I know five o'clock on a Friday is a bit of a weird time. Lots of you just getting in, putting the, putting the briefcase down, getting ready for a nice chill weekend, and maybe you've got the kids around your feet, that sort of thing. But this is the last show for today of this offer. And yeah. you heard what Liam said. Our remaining stock, if there's any left at the end of this show, is destined for... Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, our sister channel. So if you want this deal today to get, remember, what should be over 300 pounds, nearly 320. Basically... We are makers and American Crafts tell us that the printer should be £250 without anything else. You get the cartridge and you probably get your £29.99 yeah. uh, subscription for the year. That's what you get for £250 normally. Then, if you wanted the magnetic mat, if you wanted the alignment tool, if you wanted the labels, 150 labels you're going to get as well, they would all be on top of that £250, which takes us to the £318.06. Uh, Today, I don't know how on earth that um, we are have done this for us and uh, American Crafts have done it, but you're getting the whole lot. The printer, a year subscription, the labels, the magnetic sheet and the alignment tool for one, two, nine, 99, not you know 200, what? 100. Do you know what else? We sh I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it because everybody was messaging earlier saying that the, if you shopped during our birthday and you got the pin badge, oh, yeah. You could take the 20% off that, which makes it 103 99 Wow. Which is ludicrous. It is ludicrous. Um, and the only reason I'm, we were able to do this because of our special relationship with American Crafts. Yeah. Hobby Maker is the home of American Crafts. Yes, if you in the UK. need anything with American Crafts in the UK or We Are Makers, Sticky Thumb, um, or American Craft Car Stop, which is back in stock very soon. It is right. on a ship currently right. um, in the sea. Um, it's and, and a little this, bit longer. This isn't coming from America. This is no, coming this from is, our warehouse. No, this is in our warehouse ready warehouse. to go. Yeah. yeah, so you'll get it in the next few days after the weekend. Um, shall on. we print your Dave was here? Go on then. So you can make things like washi tape. Okay. So make obviously this is just card. So I'm going to line this up right to the edge. And then hopefully if we do this... There you go. Because you don't need to use the ruler. You can go freehand. Oh, no, I've got it on the desk. What a shame. It's fine. Just It wipes off because it's... Not dry yet. No, because it's exactly. not porous. And obviously, on the mat, it will always clean up on the mat. And also, um, obviously, we just want, using the ribbon. <laughs> we're, we're doing a straight line there, or trying to. But I mean, if you want to do kind of wavy patterns with it, yeah. You if can you want to do, do a wavy pattern, let's try and do a wavy pattern. Um, so we've got like a twelve thing here. It can do really small details. Um, so it's very, it, it's it like it, it's it's very precise. We'll we'll take a picture of you in a minute, and we'll print the picture. Okay. Which is really small. Okay. But it's still really detailed. Yeah. So it's not printing, it's not a bad print or anything but like that. What so a great way if you've made something and you want to put your picture and your name on the little tag on the thing that you've made that people are buying or whatever. How cool would that be? Look, hey, wavy davy. There you go. So you can't go too um, wavy because obviously the no, ink. Within reason, yeah. Um, but even then, though, it's still, if you, I suppose if you go slow enough, look, it still works. There you go. Come on. That's so cool. See, Honestly, that's cool. I know um, Kat actually bought one of these. Yeah, for a wedding. Uh, for a wedding, um, for wedding stuff. stationery and stuff like I that. I was saying earlier, I should probably make something for my sister for her wedding, but not for my wedding, um, Alex. Let's be honest. Nothing planned yet. 
We'll let you know when that happens. Um, now, split pay. Let me just talk to you about that. Split pay is something that we offer as a company. It's not a finance house outside of the building or anything like that. It's just basically we say, you give us a quarter of it today and we'll send it to you straight away. Okay? Interest free, fee free. So today, it's so we 32 charge anyone 40, for it, Dave. No. 32, but good, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's 32 good. pounds and 49 pence is all you have to pay today, and all of this is going to be on its way to you. But you can download the app right now. So just go to whatever app provider you use. Yeah, so tell probably you what, a setting I on your phone you or your on... tablet. So this is obviously through the App Store. Yeah. Um, so this is through the App Store. You literally just print, print maker, maker. Yeah. search. And then there you go, it's there it right is. there. So you just download that one. It has the same logo, logo We Are make, uh, Memory Keepers, which have yep. recently changed the name to We Are Makers. Yep. Um, and then you just download, but obviously we've already downloaded it, so we'll just open it. So you can be all over the weekend, if you want to, creating your own printable art on that. When you get your kit home, you'll obviously have the code in there that gives you the subscription free for a whole year, which is worth $29.99. Uh, but you could be designing right now. Yeah. Uh, because you don't commit to printing anything until you're happy with the way it looks on your tablet or on your phone. You could be on the train, designing on the train. Yeah, so um, it will work on your phone as well. And yeah. let's say so you create an account for Printmaker. So let's say I've got this on here, and then on my phone I've also got the Printmaker app. Yep. So I could be out and about. I could be a bit bored. I could design on my phone, save it, and then it will be on your iPad or your tablet when you get home. Just, just have a little look. You could be paying at least three times this sort of price for uh, an equivalent machine like this. And would that have the backup that American Crafts has got with We Are Makers? Probably not. You know that you've got a tool of quality, that you're not investing in something that's going to cost you a fortune going forward. Replacement cartridges are $39.99. We have them in stock here at Hobby Maker. We are uh, basically the base in the UK for, for We Are Makers and American Crafts, which is really exciting. And you won't need to change that cartridge for months and months and months, depending on how much you use it, obviously. Um, but you know, if, if you're if you're really a bit miffed at certain printers costing you a fortune in inks going forward, this isn't going to be that case with this at all. And it's it's literally printing on the go wherever you are, provided you've got access to power, because you obviously need to plug it in to recharge it. You could be at a craft event and saying, "Would you like this personalised?" Or you know. Yeah, it's a service you can offer your customers. It's a service that you can add to whatever you make when you sell it that's going to make people think, that's impressive, that's professional. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> You're taking pictures of yourself. <laughs> I'm looking at myself. I need to take a picture of you a second. I want to, I want to try something. Dan's just, gave me a, Dan's just gave me an idea. Okay, I'll do it. Very Don't good. like the sound right. of this. So oh, no. We're going to try and put a moustache <laughs> onto Dave. So let's bring in the photo that Dave, we've just took a Dave. Am I going to look like someone from the British people? <laughs> <laughs> right, and then, uh, how do I, so then, see this arrange button down here? If you click that, you can bring then things up or back. So, so if you want oh, that's the layer stuff. That's an improvement. So then we'll take that down. Oh, that's a, that's a big oh, bushy sorry. one. And maybe make it a little bit smaller. You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> it needs to be a bit smaller. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't realise there was Zoom button. See, well, so Levi make... should come and do this job. Yeah. So you can make the image bigger. There we go. There we go. There we go, a little bit. This is making me... <laughs> you <laughs> look like the Monopoly man. This is... <laughs> look like Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this I'm is very fantastic. glad I've never grown a moustache or beard. I can say that. Right. So, so there's, so there's a moustache. There, so there's that. Um, you see the fun you can have with this. Do you know what? I think we should just leave it as that. Let's just print that. That's going to appear all around the building now, isn't it? Yeah. This is this is the little like this is the thing that we should just leave printed on the studio somewhere. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to print a label out. What I was actually trying to find is like a little label um, thing. But do you know what? We'll have you as a label, Dave. So and these labels come with your uh, bundle. So you get 150 labels. Yes. So if you if you want to make like um, hey. cookies, cookie jars and things like that, or, um, well, all sorts of things, really. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Look how small that picture is, but the quality is still so good. That is really And cool. you can have so much fun about it. But, and also, I just want to... Whether, you, whether you're using it for fun, for business, or a bit of both, the whole family are going to have fantastic fun with this as well. 
Oh, you've done it on the shelf. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to be dusting around all over the place. Oh, my right. God, this is brilliant. I'm going to literally cover the walls in this. <laughs> I would. But we'll save that. So I'll just press I'm done, done, I'm done with that one. You'll save that for later, won't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll just save that. Oh, that is brilliant. There you go. <laughs> that is the studio. That is the studio. I'm branded. <laughs> <laughs> now, think about what you're going to be using this for. Message in, tell us what's the first thing you're going to be printing. Why do you need this in your life? I mean, at this sort of price, you can buy it as fun, really, at the end of the day. You know, at £318, you'd probably have to think about spending that sort of money. But when you're getting such a massive discount, we're going to give you the details again for you. To get this opportunity at getting a printer, whether you're using it for schoolwork, project work for university, for your business, uh, for fun, the kids are going to be using it as well. Children can use it too, absolutely. But remember, the designing is not done on the printer. It's done on the app on your phone, on yeah. your tablet or whatever. So you could be literally in the back of a car going on a long journey like I had today, four hours. Uh, you could be in the passenger seat designing because you know you don't have to have Wi-Fi to design it. You've got the app on your, your device anyway. Yeah, it doesn't need it doesn't need it doesn't need Wi-Fi. Once you've downloaded collections and stuff, obviously if you wanted to download a specific collection, you might you'll need Wi-Fi to download it. But once yeah. you're out and about and you've got those collections downloaded, you can just go with it. One two nine ninety nine. If you just got in, shut the door after a bit of a nightmare journey home today, and you're thinking, what's this on Hobby Maker? A printer for one, two, nine? That's good. It is good. It's phenomenal. It's unbelievable, the deal we've got for you today. The accessories are worth in excess of £100 because you've got about £70 worth of extras, the aligning tool, so you go in a straight line. You've got the magnetic mat with the two magnetic rulers, one in inches, one in centimetres. You've got your 150 tags down the bottom there. That's got a value combined of around about £70-odd. Pounds. Plus, you've then got £29.99's worth of subscription thrown in and a special uh, hobby maker only bundle that you'll find uh, that's worth £2.99. That's included as well. The whole thing is only $129.99. The printer should be $250 on its own yeah. without any of the extras. So not only is it massively less than what it should be just for the printer, you've got all the extras as well. Heidi in Devon says, Hi, lovely Dave and Liam. Stop making me spend. Laugh out loud. I had to order this printer. It is fabulous. Big, big hugs. Oh, it's our Heidi. Heidi oh, Hobson. Oh, Heidi Hobson. Hi, Heidi. Oh, See you soon, love. Yeah, oh, you'll love it. You really it is. Love I it. think it, it's just so much fun. And Dawn's message in as well. Uh, Dawn in Wigan. Hi, Dawn. Uh, hi, all. Couldn't quite believe what I saw earlier. I know. Uh, my previous craft channel wanted me to spend £20 membership fee and a fee just to use split pay. Yikes. We don't. No, we don't. No, we don't do we that here. We don't charge for split pay. No. It's all done in-house, so everything's taken care of in-house. Yeah, you give us a quarter of it, we'll yeah. send you the machine. It's in our warehouse. You'll get it middle of next week. Easy. Thank you, Dawn. Lovely to know that you're watching and you're loving the deals we've got here today. So we, we could only do this deal yeah. thanks to American Crafts. And yeah, and, and the relationship that we've got. Yeah. I mean, I, I would like to see anybody <laughs> try to top that. I'm just having too much fun with this now. I know. So I've made, um, I've made Dave's big tash. Um, and then what I'm going to do, because you can copy things. So I'm going to press copy. I'm going to bring that tash a bit bigger. I'll put the, put the tash there. There we go. I'm being violated. Got some ribbon. Would you like would you like it in ribbon, Dave? Dave's let's, big tash ribbon. Yeah, let's have. We'll Alex have, wants to order a meter. A meter, right? Yeah. I tell you what. So we have got these ribbons on 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 um, the show. Okay. So there's two different sizes. There's 25 mil, which is the one we did earlier. Yep. Um, and then this one is a 15 mil. So let's use the 15 mil, okay. shall we? That's available um, too if you want to do yeah. your printable ribbon. Um, let me, so we're going to use the ribbon guide, which I don't think there was any, there's any more available, but you don't need the ribbon guide. No. It's just handy to have. Okay. Um, we will get that back in in the future. It will so. be back in stock, yeah. It's just, um, it, it, it went a bit, it went a bit busier than we realised. Went a bit bonkers. A bit bonkers. Right, so we're going to use the 50 mil because the different sizes uh, yep. uh, go with it. Right, now, remember Liam, this side, We'll make loads. We'll try and make a load. So okay. we are so busy there. for this. I'm not at all surprised. Tell us what you're going to be using it for. Yeah, let us know. Maybe it's wedding stationery. Maybe you want to make your own ribbon so you can tie bouquets and that sort of thing and personalise it with the couple's names on it. So and, you know, if you went to a shop to do that, it would be a oh. fortune. Sense print then. I've ordered it to use on journals. Oh, that's says Bridget Bridget in nice. Bristol. Yeah. Uh, really good idea. Really good idea. Didn't think about that. Okay, right, so that's ready. Press it's green. Yeah, if you've got your thermal cinch and you're making books and all that sort of thing, this is going to be now, perfect. Now, slow and steady, Liam. Slow and steady. Yes. 
Yes. Look at this. I need to. Join pull it. No, you have to. It's move, you have to move this because basically there's wheels underneath. Ah. They're, they're saying to me here you have to pull the ribbon, but it, you've got to move the printer. Yeah, you have to move the printer. So the wheel, the wheels underneath tell it when it when it's moving. So if you move the actual machine, that's how you get there. Look at that. Any porous surface. That's the only rule. This is so much fun. There we go. Look at that. Look at the quality of it. It's amazing. I think I've probably done more than a metre now, Alex, so... What are you going to use it for, Alex? He only wants to pay for a metre, he said. OK, that would be seven ninety nine, please. You think he's going to pay for this? You could, you could make to sell ribbon. Actually, oh, you could, you? yeah. Actually, yes. Well, you could... There's nothing stopping you because you're making it. There's no... Someone yeah, comes along with their favourite pet, maybe a little dog or something like that, take a picture of the dog, we'll take that print it onto ribbon. There sell you it. go. Now... <laughs> Look at that. What would you pay to have that made professionally somewhere? A small fortune. If you could find that offered as a service, you could be the person offering it as a service. That is fantastic. And Honestly, you, you'd do it better than me. Um, you'd go a bit slower. And you do all the designing on the app, yeah. on the tablet, on your phone, before you print anything. So there's no waste either. That's the lovely thing about it. So um, what are you going to be using yours on with her? Journaling, absolutely. We talked about maybe wedding stationery. You can personalise things you've made with your business, your web address. Yeah. Um, prices, that sort of thing, handmade by. Well, you get 150, um, 150 labels, you so you can do... Loads of... Well, Are I mean, they sticky could, labels? Or? Yeah, so they're sticky la labels. Um, there's apparently oh. a very good suggestion from Hannah. Hannah. Hello, Hannah. My handwriting is terrible on oh, me too, Hannah. Um, I'll be using this for the wording on cards and things like that. Yeah. yeah. Sentiments. Yeah. Look, you know, like um, those famous card places that you can order, st order cards online? Yes. And they print out inside? Yes. Like Thule and yes, Happy yes. Birthday, things like that. You could just do that. You could do that yourself. Instead of writing it, you could do that, or yeah. you could offer a service like that, couldn't you? And people will be wondering, how on earth have you done that? Yeah. Especially if you've got like a photo of the person as well, or something like that. Um, so, like, I mean, this this is another this is another collection a uh, uh, collection that we're doing. It's like a bit of a summary, but you could do like, I don't know you could do drinks, um, and then change that font. I quite like that font, you know. Yeah, I do. So that could become a label. So let's print that. Uh, we only need it once. And so again, you could again. be labelling up um, place, you know, people's names for place settings for special occasions. Yeah, yeah, for your weddings and stuff, you could print out all the, all the names, you know, for yeah. the, your tables and stuff like that. Menus. So, yes, all your menus. So there's one for drinks. Then you could do like another one that's. I don't know. What should we do? Um, what else have we got? Main course. Main course. Ooh. Um, what's in Dessert. here? Oh, here we go. Soda. Oh, no, we don't want soda. Yeah, let's do a soda one. Let's just create that. Okay. So we could do the same. Um, again, though, you can resize it. You can make that maybe. Oh, let's have it on a bit of a wonk. Yeah. There we go. Uh, then we'll do a little text that'll say... Oh, this is so nice. Lots of people are messaging in thanking you for the deal. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it's all down to win. Uh, in Greater Manchester, Liz is there. Hi, Liz. Hi, Liam and Dave. Thank you for the deal I'll be using for business cards and other crafts. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, nice. Business, business cards, cards is Perfect. a good idea. Really good right, idea. Send that to printer. Okay. Um, Wait for your chirp. Wait for me, chirp. There it is. Then press your green button. And now I've lined it up because these are my sticky labels. Yep. There's my, I've lined it up perfectly with the start of it. Two, there we go. There we go. So already straight away, you've got some labels that you could stick on. I don't know. Let's say that was, I don't know, a biscuit tin or mm -hmm. something. And you actually made biscuits or you actually put biscuits on there. And then you've got your drinks. Mm -hmm. you've got all sorts. You can literally, I mean, it's endless. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you make your own sweets, like fudge and stuff like that, and you put them in solo bags, yeah. and you can put stickers on them, um, use by dates, eat by dates, that sort of thing. You know, the, the use for this printer is endless. Can oh, I just remind you idea. of the deal? Yeah, you do that, okay. and I'm going to design Because some today is the first day of this particular bundle. Um, we've done the printmaker before, 
but not with this configuration of goodies. Now, what you get with the printmaker, the printmaker comes in that box just there. You get the 150 sticky labels, which we were using in the demo with Liam. You're going to get this really good size magnetic board, which will hold your projects firmly in place with two magnetic rulers, an inch one and a centimeter and millimeter one as well. You're also going to get your alignment tool that the printer fits into perfectly, and that means you're going to get a perfectly straight line. So all of those you would not normally get with the printer, and the printer should be 250 pounds just for that on its own 250 we've got it for 12999 but we're not charging you anything for the accessories and also you're going to get a whole year of subscription but worth 29.99 absolutely free now i've got to stress the subscription you can renew if you want to so you continue to have the access to thousands and thousands of wonderful clip art images and that sort of thing and the app is constantly being um, updated and improved yeah. as well they're constantly working on it but if you choose not to subscribe after the year, then you've still got access to loads of free content on there as well. And like Liam said, anything that you've downloaded and used from your free subscription year will still be on your account. You can still use it. So yeah, make sure you download what you need to use going forward. You don't need to renew your subscription if you don't want to. But bearing in mind, you're going to get £70 worth of accessories. You're going to get a £29.99 value of subscription as well. Um, that's taking it to nearly 200 pounds. Plus you've got that unique collection that's been developed just for us at Hobby Maker that you get access to free worth nearly three pounds. So it's over a hundred pounds worth of extras and the deal for the lot is 12999. So if you're paying for the extras, you're only paying 30 pounds for a portable printer. Yeah, but which is- That's crazy. Crazy. But brilliant. And it's on split pay as well for everybody. There's no credit checks with us. Basically, it's us as a business. There's no finance companies involved or anything like that. No car, uh, no charges, no fees, no interest. You just pay a quarter of it today. It's on its way. You'll get it middle of next week, something like that. It's coming from our warehouse. It's not being shipped from America. They're already here for you to be able to see very soon. Um, but then the next payment comes off your card in four weeks, eight weeks, the final one in 12 weeks time. But there's endless uses for this oh endless uses so as you have just said um as we like let's say you was making chocolate or ch chocolate fudge or yeah. something yeah so this is a pre-designed that we've that that's that's already on there okay. but you could manip you could change it so 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 let's go chocolate and then we're going to add another text in there right that says uh fudge mm -hmm. Um, and and we'll also, you set know, that to white. Bearing in mind this is an American company that have designed this, some American um, words are spelt slightly differently. You can edit them. So oh, you yeah, can... you, ed you edit them. Yeah. Um, and, and of course, like, look, there's so many different colours. You can have whatever colour, what, any colour you kind of want. So the customization, like even this bit, you can literally pick um, a completely different colour because it will all work. But for this, we're going to do white. So changed it to chocolate fudge. My, car, uh, my font for that one, I think I'm just going to go that again because I really like that font. Um, I might even change that one to the same font. Do you know what? The software is so easy to use, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's very user friendly. Yeah. I mean, and it's very fun. Yeah. So, so there's my chocolate fudge. And now, because of the idea that you were saying, like a use by, let's put that in. So uh, use by... Or no, let's do eat by. Mm. Eat by. Oh, where's me dot? Me dot. So, oh, oh, it doesn't matter. We'll just do it like that. What date? Let's just make up a date. The 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 sixth of the fourth, twenty four. Right. So yep. you could do stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, make that to white again. We'll change the font to match. Then we'll make that smaller. Because of course, you never want your use by date to be there in your face bit, does it? So no. there you go. There you go. How cool is that? And then we can send that to printer. So now let's say we're, we're batch making. Um, so you can just repeat. So as soon as you've sent it to the, to the, to the printer once, mm -hmm. like we've done now. Um, I just heard it chirp. Yeah, it's just chirp. So you press your green. Now, because that's already been sent, we can print this as many times as we want. We mm -hmm. don't have to keep going back to that printer. So we just move this, move it down. Um, then we go back, then you press it again. Yeah. Wait for the chirp, That's then great. go again. Then you can just, and you can just keep going. So already, so if you're, if you, if you do stuff like, um, maybe I should make it all straight, shouldn't I? But there we go. Um, there you go. 
Look so literally, before you know it, you've got all your stickers that then you can peel up and stick on and your you can chocolate get, fudge. You could probably get two of those. Oh yeah, and one you, sticker. Could, you can have them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So already you've saved even more. Well, it is incredibly, incredibly busy. This has got to be one of the best deals that we've done in recent weeks, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt. Everyone will be using this in different ways. Um, we've had people saying about business cards. We have people saying about journaling as well. I mean, again, to get those professionally done, they're not cheap. I mean, that takes seconds to the, do. This VT is amazing because it shows you all sorts of stuff. If you, just, just play it if you want. Just play it a little bit. At, oh, it's frozen, so we can't play, frozen. play it yet. Okay. But it shows you you can use things like uh, for cookies. You can use it for on walls. You could... Oh, there we go. So, like, mouse mats, leather, that's a good idea. Any porous surface, that's yeah. the only rule. Any porous Fabric. surface it will print onto. Look. Oh, see, that's nice. You can make your own. So, if you make journals and stuff, you can make your own calendar. <gasps> Just had it. Well, so, we've recently sold you thermal synths, right? Yes. So, you can make your own folders. Yes. So, you can make your own diary, and you can personalise it all with your printmaker. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, what about this as a deal to start your weekend? Um, you may have just got in and didn't even realise this was something you ever really needed, but you're thinking, do you know what, at that price, I'm going to really have fun with this. You can have so much fun right now, and as far as the uh, app is concerned, to download the app, all you've got to do is to go to whatever app provider you use for all the apps on your yeah. phone and on your tablet. The Google or the App Store, basically. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're the two out there, aren't they? Absolutely. And just search for Printmaker. It's there. It's free. You can download it straight away, and you can start designing now before your printer actually arrives. When you get your printer, there'll be a code in there that will give you your year's subscription free and that's when the whole app really explodes and thousands of, of wonderful designs on there will be there for you to enjoy um, yeah you can use it for all sorts of things we've done ribbon uh, you can use it for the business things oh, in your plaster, life personalized plaster. plasters yeah um, I, I also like the fact that someone did it on the book so you know that you know when you've got books yeah and they did it on the edge so the spine of it not not the spine so the pages as you open it yes, yes. that's a clever idea also, like, that you can do it on shoes. Oh. Make your own wrapping paper. Yeah, for, That's I didn't cool. think of that. Yeah. There you go. On wood. Yes, you can use it on wood. Any porous surface. That's the only restriction. Cereals, snacks. There yep, you go. Yep. Um, that's fabric. Uh, you can go onto fabric, but it's just, you can't really wash it. No. Um, so put it onto something that you're not going to wash. I, I do think, though, if you washed it, if you washed it, all it would do is it would fade over it time. Would it, yeah. and, then, and then you could just reprint it, I suppose. Exactly. I mean, for address labels and things like that, if you normally you know, send off to have those professionally done, you can do them yourself right now. But as a crafter watching this channel, oh, that was leather cool. wallets. Yeah, leather wallets. Carla made me a leather wallet, and maybe I should put my name on it. Good idea. Yeah. Now, loads of you are messaging in. Uh, I'm spending again. This is from Susan in West Yorkshire. Thanks, Dave and Liam. Sue next door. Sue's next door. Sue next door. Mm. Oh, see, I like that. The happy birthday to you. Oh, and then there's the ribbon. That's yeah. done properly with someone. See, that's cool. Laces. Yeah. Laces. Didn't think of that. Levi wants to, wants to do his laces. Oh, that would be really cool. Levi laces. We'll have that Levi really rocks. Cool. We'll have Levi rocks all over it with his face. Love it. <laughs> uh, Dan, our director, he wants his face on Levi's laces. Yeah. <laughs> But look, this is a mouse map. This is a, a journal or a book. Oh, yeah, I like tags. that. The tags so on your books. we're actually organising our um, our room where all of uh, all of the uh, brands um, products kept. Yeah. And maybe I need to use this. Yeah. To make all the tags. Think about all those um, storage boxes that you bought from us, or from Keith. Um, the those plastic things. ones. Yeah, these. Yeah, you can label, of course, all of these boxes. Maybe you've bought. Have we got this in stock still? Uh, yeah, Alex. Do you want to bring this on? We've got the last few of them. I think it's like twenty four ninety nine. Okay. I want to say. Now this is a great, you great organizer. All these. It could. Yeah. yeah. And these are the rainbow storage boxes. I love them. Absolutely. I love hope them. it's twenty four ninety nine. If it isn't, Alex, then I've messed up. Well, it's twenty four ninety nine now, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> What, is it lower than it should be? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it shouldn't have been 24 dollars Oh, well, it oh, is now. Well, it is now. Okay. So if you want, this is also from We Are Makers, American Crafts as well. Uh, and the lid will come off if you want it to, too. So yeah. if you just want to have it, you know, as a, like a Obviously, filing cabinet. pretend that was something else, but it, 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 it's because it's, you're not going to put many drinks in there, are you? But no, there you go. Really. You could use your labels to do that. <laughs> so basically, the, the deal is today, if you were paying for the magnetic sheet, if you're paying for the alignment tool, if you're paying for the tags, uh, and you're paying for your year's subscription of £29.99, you'd be spending £100. Yeah. That's just for everything without the printer. For £129.99, you get the printer 
and everything, including the year's subscription as well. That is a deal. That's why you come back to Hobbymaker day after day yeah. after day for deals like this. Um, and I should say, and we did mention it in the last hour, yeah. um, come tomorrow when all of this disappears off the website, so just before the show starts at one, so it happens about half 12 in, in the afternoon, this won't be then available on the website oh. because it has got to go to so uh, to Jewelry Maker, sorry. Right. It has, it's got to go to Jewelry Maker if there's any stock left. And I think Alex is saying something nearly like 60% has gone. So. Okay. Well, it's it's the busiest part of the show right now. Lots of you have been watching all hour. Lots have been ordering all hour. But we're very well aware at Friday at 5 o'clock coming up to 6 o'clock, a lot of you and just got in. So this printer is remarkable. You design it on the app. The app, remember, all you search for when you go to your app provider yeah. is Printmaker. Download it, it's free to download and you can start designing straight away. Your printer will arrive in the next few days. It's yeah. in our warehouse. And don't forget, you've got loads and loads of designs. I'll quickly just flip through some of these, shall we? Like you've got so many that all include with your subscription yeah. for, a, for a year. So if you wanted big top dreams, so this is, a, this is a bit like for like if you're doing kids designs, you've got uh, like clown, oh God, they're a bit scary, those clowns, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> um, you've got dog circus fun, uh, templates. That's just one collection. Uh, let's do another one. So, um, uh, oh, there we go, cool kids. There's cool kids. Ah, uh, that's quite cool. So oh. there, your clip arts. Then you've got your, and remember, they're all editable, so you yep. can do whatever you want with them. Um, and yet, literally so many. And remember, you are getting a cartridge, ink cartridge included in the printer. Yeah. When you need a new one, we stock them here at $39.99. And Carla's had hers for over a year. She's never changed the cartridge once. You can print thousands of things. We can't be specific because it depends on how much color you use, all that sort of thing. Yeah. But, you know, going forward, it's only ever going to cost you $39.99 for a new cartridge. Um, and, and you won't try to print that much ribbon and, and not, not succeed. So exactly. I'm sure it'll last you even longer. What a deal. Enjoy it, everybody. If you've ordered it, you can still get hold of the deal right now. Uh, uh, purchase it. Give us the first split payment and plus your PMP of 395 unless you've already paid that and it's on its way. And don't forget the storage is there as well. Uh, and we've got a We Are Makers and American Crafts brand shop on our website as well. Cheers, Liam. Thank you very much. Great deal. Have a good weekend. Uh, I'll see you with Sandra, uh, Sandra and Santangle. We've got two hour special for Friday evening. What better way to spend your Friday than with Sandra and myself and amazing brand new items. Don't go away.
Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Shopping made easy at Hobby Maker. Hi, I'm Beth Kingston from Kingston Crafts, and I'm so excited to be joining the Hobby Maker family. Kingston Crafts is a company made for crafters by crafters, and we've gone back to basics with paper, tools, and embellishments that are affordable, colorful, and fun, so you can make what inspires you. So join me, Beth Kingston, on April 8th and 9th when I will be in person in studio at Hobby Maker to launch Kingston Crafts in the UK. I can't wait to share this with you. I can't think of anything nicer than having a Friday evening for a couple of hours in the company of Sandra and just tangling, relaxing, chilling, looking forward to the weekend. Yeah. Hi, Dave. Yeah. You are, <laughs> They've separated us. Uh, <laughs> but you are not alone. No. No, I'm not. Ever. Yes, they're, Ever. They're, they're duplicating. <laughs> Dobby, you can see Dobby. But we've also got... Yes. McKenzie. His cousin's with us, yeah. He, he was reading in the green room earlier. He didn't want to come in. Is he as bad as Dobby? He's, ca he's quite well behaved. I think Dobby's sort of getting a bit, uh, you know, unnerved because he's normally quite naughty and he's been behaving himself. It looks like Dobby's passed out. Yeah. Well, well, Dobby did go to Madeira with Pauline, didn't he? He stowed away, if you remember. But, yeah, Mackenzie's having a bit of a nap there. So, yeah. yeah. Well, they're with us as well. Chilling out. Yeah. They're chilling out, enjoying the show. Now, um, we've got two hours together, so please do get involved in the show. If you'd like to message in, say hi to Sandra. We'd love to hear from you. If you've got any sand tangle projects that you've done that you're really proud of that you'd like to show us that we can show everybody else to prove that anyone can do it, yeah. the sand tangle is basically, for those of you that don't know, um, doodling with a purpose. Now, if you think to yourself, I'm not an artist, I can't draw. That's what I thought for years. Maybe your, your teacher, funnily enough, Sandra's teacher at school, told her that you wouldn't be an artist. Yeah, though, they, they wouldn't let me take art as a GCSE because they said I, <laughs> I wouldn't pass. Now look, at, <laughs> now look at her. Yeah, 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 you be careful. To be fair, I actually took textiles and we did more art and more drawing, printmaking, okay. and it was so much fun. And I cut, it was easy. It was not like even taking an exam. It was literally a breeze. Yeah. And that's where I think a lot of my love of using fabrics and all different things comes from as well. So. Do, do you know what I love as well? Over the years that I've known you and worked with you is that I've met uh, places like the NEC, Doncaster, all these different places that we go and meet everybody. Um, I've met so many, and I mean literally now hundreds of people, that say that Santangle is their number one hobby and craft. And... It was Sandra's inspiration that made them pick up a pencil and a pen and a torty on. If you don't know what that is, we'll talk about that later on. Um, and they, they thought, oh, I'll give it a go. And everyone can do it. If you can draw a line or a circle, you can santangle, because that's all it is. It's basically strokes of a pen or a pencil um, repeated in a certain way that is explained in all of um, the, the wonderful books that Sandra does and the stencils and all the pamphlets and leaflets that come with those. Everything is literally photograph step by step by step do this next do that next and before you know it you've got a work of art in front of you it's quite remarkable even I at times I'll look at something oh my goodness I drew that yeah. but then of course I, I take that and then I break it down into steps provide you with the basic stencil shapes yeah. and then of course the instructions and then you can recreate not just what I draw but what you're going to do as well you, you do your own thing with it it's exciting it's fantastic isn't it and we've got some new items in the show some new today items some brand new items and some returning favorites i've got to show you this though to start off with to start our six o'clock show this is you've excelled yourself with this thank you dave we do like this it's it's a nice little product this this is your very own drawing board now obviously the picture on the actual cover is showing you, you tangled uh, yours will not be tangled. It's for, the, <laughs> it's for those of you that want to, to decorate it, or maybe you'd rather keep it plain. It's entirely up to you, because it's a beautiful cherry veneer that it's made from. And this is your own drawing. It's almost like a drawing easel, isn't it? It is, but it's a, one of those desktop things. And because, yeah. you know, we, we work with tiles and postcards now a lot, it's A5 size. It's the perfect little size. And you've got one, two, three, you've got four different adjustments on it, so you can have it. So at whatever angle you want, of course, I'll, I'll show you how to put it together. 20% has gone in 30 seconds. 
We haven't even given you the price we're dropping it to either. We always come in with the price that it should be, but we always give you a deal. So DY234, this is, this is how it's gonna come. So it's this lovely cherry veneer wood that Sandra is very well known for. Um, that's your actual desk that you're gonna be doing your artwork on. And then of course the rest of it uh, makes up the base and it's an angleable <coughs> desktop. So you can angle it higher or lower. So it's the right angle for you to do your tangling. Yeah, yeah, shall I show you this one? Mm, yeah, please. I'm going to, I'm going to wrap the set. The set's been done beautifully, but here we go. So this is uh, this is mine. This is actually in its position where we, we're not using it. So yep. it's sit on your desk. It's out of the way kind of thing. But you can open it up and then you've got your little plate here. And then you can, yeah, you've got your little slots here. Like one, two, three, four. And you can actually push it in there. Or you can go a little bit lower. Do you know what? Not only is it great lower. for when you're doing your drawing and tangling, but also you can use it for your mobile phone, your tablet. Of course, yeah. You know, I've got my little postcards here. So we've made sure that your postcards look will sit beautiful on it. And then, of course, it's not. I've not just tangled on the front. I've actually inked and used stencils around the back. Right. So it's, it looks just as beautiful around the back as well, it does Well, you can keep it plain. Front. It's up to you. It's entirely up to you. And, of course, I've actually used a bit of spray varnish. But, again, you don't have to. You can do whatever you want to do. But and it's just that lovely little size. It's also a great way of showing off your art. If you want to use it oh, like yeah. a frame. Yeah. I think have... it's quite trendy to do that, isn't yeah, it? Is. it? Yeah. So let's get the price down. Already, I think, 40% of the stock has gone before we give you the price. So DY1234. Nice easy number. DY1234, $32.99 today. No. It's going to be today. Brand new, $26.99. Maybe you've already got your tangling boards with the bulldog clip and that sort of thing. Um, this is now a hands free way of displaying what you've done or indeed colouring in, um, tangling with pencils or pens. It, and you can put it at whatever angle is suitable for you. Absolutely, yeah. You've got four different ways to do that. So it, it depends on how you work and how you want to be. I think if you're sitting at a desk and you, you sometimes you working flat, you don't want to do. But actually, at this level, you know, you could even put a little bit of, you know, your little foam pads at the bottom, you know, like a little uh, cork. Yeah. I mean, it's sliding at the minute because it's on my, my tangle board. <laughs> But you can have it in place and then there you are drawing away doing what you want to do but it's just a nice little size isn't it can i ask you how you've colored that is that with your pencils right. yeah which ones my regular colored pencils okay so the wax base yeah one. same as i did with my board okay so you see there's a bit of a pattern forming here yeah so yeah you do you get that vibrancy this here actually the gray in the background i've actually used inspiration from a tile, I think it's around the 277 mark, something like that. God, that sounds crazy. Oh, yeah. But I've used grey in the background pencil, but I've shaded it with a tortillon and then used a white pencil for the highlight. So bringing a little bit of colour out and then using your pencil in the background. Of course, it's sprayed, so it's not going to come off there. No, there's no splinters or anything. No, like no, that. nothing there. And you're not going to get your pencil coming off. So. Also, there's no need yeah. for glue. It's all been yeah. really meticulously engineered, so everything just slots together. Mm -hmm. And it shows you, you get instructions with it, of course, as well, as to what to put where and things are numbered. 60% uh, numbered. of our stock, and we made sure we had a lot, 60% of the stock of this has gone. Um, Sandra's never done anything like it before. We've done the boards before, obviously, but to have, basically, it's, an, it's like an easel, isn't it? It is, yeah, absolutely. It's a real nice little product, isn't it? I love it. I said, you know, I want an easel. He's like, what? <laughs> I said, this is what I would like, please. I, mean, uh, I want use it to read a things. book. You could put your yeah. tablet on it if you wanted to or your phone on it if you wanted to. But what about putting your Santangle projects on it to display? Yeah. And then when you're actually working, use it as your desk, yeah. your easel to work uh, on. on. On a train, it's nice to have your tangle board, yeah. but now you've got something that you can lift up. You know, if you're, if you're fortunate enough to have a seat on a train, that is, so you oh, can, you know what I mean? Don't go there. But yeah, you've got all sorts of options with it. So I'm, 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 I love it. I think and it's, it's in that really lovely, luxurious yeah, cherry veneer as product. well, which I know lots of you have got some of those uh, products from Sandra in the past. £26.99, pence, and it's DY1234. DY1234. Okay, now we've also got in the show something that is feather based, which I think I've got. <laughs> it's there somewhere. Looks, it's behind you, Dave. Is it behind me? Behind you. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, now this is fabulous. Obviously, a lot of people um, have got a big significance and a big respect and a big love uh, of what feathers very often um, 
you know, can be uh, related to. Um, they're, they're very meaningful to an awful lot of people for lots of reasons. Um, and this is the Coloring and Tangling Feathers. So this is basically a coloring book. If I just flick through, and it's designed so that it will fit into your... It fits into the planner binders, planner. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you've got one of those. And it's step by step. So it shows you how to do your coloring. Um, and this is using your, which pencils? My regular, no, my regular colouring pencils. Right. So these are the wax-based colouring pencils that are, uh, are used here. So I think an awful lot of people not only are, are scared of art, but they're also scared of colouring as well. So, you know, you can rely on Sandra to hold your hand and show you step by step, every step of the way, how to recreate these wonderful works of art on the first few pages. Page by page by page. She always photographs everything step by step. So nothing is left um, unexplained. Everything is explained right from the very, very first pencil stroke. And you've also got beautiful quality cardstock in the back uh, that's pre-printed with the outline. And that's exactly the same paper that I used to draw on. Right. It's just that you've already got a printed outline. But we don't just leave you there. You've got a stencil in with this as well. So there's your book. And there's your stencil. Look at that. Now, that could be a peacock's feather. Well, yeah, yeah. I could show you Leslie's board, actually, her, her drawing board. She's let me borrow it in okay. case we want to show you how to put it together. And she's actually, there you go, look. Oh, sorry. Oh, which way, which way? I'll do it that way. Stop it. Uh, so there she is. She's made a start. She's used that stencil on her board. So if you're thinking, not sure where to go, actually ink it through first and do something different with it. Of course, she's done a little bit of uh, sentiments on there as well. It's just really, you know, really pretty, isn't it? And that's going to be a starting point. Now, this is twenty-one ninety-five for the colouring book, which is also not only a colouring book, but also uh, a guide and to, you know, show you how to do it and what to put, what colour to put down first, uh, how to do the blending, all that sort of thing as well. But, of course, with the stencil included too, look at some of these fantastic cards here. What, does, what do feathers mean to you? They are absolutely beautiful, these, aren't they? It's a real pretty one, that is. It's nice to do. And, of course, using that stencil, you can then create your own. But learning how to colour, it, it's not just for the feathers. It starts there, and, of course, you've got the instructions showing you exactly which colours. But you could take that, for, for example, that pink and purple blending technique, you could take that and bring it into your flowers. You could do. Or into yeah. the, the wellies that we did earlier this afternoon. So don't just think it's for this particular pack. You take that knowledge that you've gained, you've practised on the, the feathers and the pictures that are in there, but then you take it elsewhere and use it. So it's, it's basically a tutorial in a fun way, not in a boring way. Um, so it shows you exactly every single step that you need to take. There we go, colouring in with all these different colours. And if you haven't got the wax-based pencils, we have those in the show as well, which we'll come on to fairly soon. But there's your step-by-step uh, -step guide. And then in the back, you've then got the pre-printed outlines that you can, of course, copy those techniques that Sandra features in the front of the book. And if you've got any of your planners, they've been pre-punched with a hole, so they'll fit in your planner beautifully. So another project you can have on the go if you're out and about. Absolutely, yeah. You can just perhaps take the one that you're working on. So you can split it up and say, I'm going to do that particular feather today. You take the instructions just for that feather. Sure. And you're not carrying everything that you don't really need. Now... I'll quickly show you as well, these are the pencils that that book relates to. Okay, we've got a watercolour version in the show as well. Um, but if you want that particular book, then these are the pencils you'll need to obviously go along with the techniques. Now, I know lots of you already own these, but if you don't own them, we have got them available. And look at these. And, and you, you spent a long time making sure the quality... I, I did, yes. I was after pencils for a long, long time. But these, I've chosen all the colours, all the names, uh, the tins of my design, everything is perfectly fitted to what I, I want to do colouring wise. Yep. So the colours are all there, are, are there for a reason. They're there to help you match. So if you want a blue, you've got your deep sea blue and you've got your mid sea and your, everything works. Even the purples, you get pinky purples and blue purples. Mm. So you've got mid pink purple, for example. So it's going to show you where you're going to go with it within each colourway. Brilliant. So if you're tempted by the um, Feathers and Tangling book, complete with that feather stencil as well, these are the pencils that are going to relate to the projects that are in that book, OK? So if you fancy going for it as a combo, if you haven't got the pencils, then here they are. TH1260. TH1260 is the product code, and it's £27.99. And they last such a long time. They do, yes. I mean, I've got a couple of sets on the go because, of course, I'm using them all the time. So I've got one at home, one at the office, that kind of thing. Sadly, don't have one here. So if I'm going to use colours, 
pinch that one. Absolutely. It's, it, I think they're in my box somewhere. Somewhere. It's, they're all over the place. Yeah. Um, we've got a couple of other colouring kits we as well. We do. <gasps> now, we've got the Macro Fantasy Flourishes as well, which is this one here, isn't it? Is that right? This one. That one. Behind you. <laughs> That's behind me as well. It's a good job, I'm here. Behind me. Oh, here it is. <laughs> That, that this is, is something special because if you've not used watercolour pencils before and you want to have a go at that but you're not quite sure, this is all based around watercolour okay. pencils. So if wax isn't really your thing, but you're thinking watercolour, that's something that really appeals to me. I'd like to learn about that. So this is the book. And again, just like with the feathers, it's going to come with a stencil. And again, it's got the holes in the right place for the planners. If you want to put that into your Santangle planner, that will work a treat. But this is using watercolour. And we have watercolour pencils in the show for you as well. Now, a quarter of the stock of this has gone. I must admit, watercolour is my favourite. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you how, Dave, actually, if... Uh... You want to? I'm just getting my pencils out ready. Okay. Let me just show you the book quickly and then we'll go to Sandra with a, a little bit of a demo. And just to give you a heads up, we've got a brand new frame in the show between now and eight as well. The archway frame is coming in the next hour and a half or thereabouts. But there you go, step by step, how to do the flowers with watercolour pencils. So there's the tutorial. And then we go on to our printed outlines on beautiful watercolour card, gorgeous quality. So there are your outlines to do your colouring in. And then just like before with the feather, you've got this amazing floral stencil included with that as well at £21.85 for all of that, FY1207. Now this is going very, very quickly actually. Marion, hello to you, Erica, Brenda, uh, Christina, Jane, Bridget, Beverly. Um, yeah, loads of you coming through for this. So that's the actual watercolour kind of course really, isn't it? It's like a... It is, yeah. Massacre. You've got four images in there that you, you can actually have a t two attempts at. And then before you know it, you're creating these wonderful pieces. You've got some fabulous demos there, uh, samples. I have, there, which I'll show you. Um, and if I just pick up these, there we are. That's using the stencil. Look That's at the stencil, yeah, yeah. Is that the right way up? There we go. It's a flower, Dave. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But look at this. Beautiful. What's so these are just finished cards. But of course, yeah. the projects that are in yeah. there, hold your hand step by step. I actually did that, Dave, as a quilling version as well. I coloured it and then I quilled it. Oh, OK. With uh, Jesse's Tilly Victor Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, kit. It does make me laugh when you message into the, show, the other shows. I know. Because you have it on all the time, don't I you? I do watch it. Yeah, I'm a customer. I, know, I mean, I know. yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's our Sandra. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, So, yeah, those are the sort of things you could be doing that. with the watercolour pencils, which we have in the show as well. So the previous ones I showed you were the wax-based. These are your 36 watercolour pencils from Sandra and Santangle. Um, I've not seen these before, I don't think. Have you not? No. no. Well, I mean, that, we kept the price down by changing the tin to a box because, as you know, watercolour pencils are more expensive than regular ones. But what I have done on my website is I've uh, put a free download so you can make your own pencil roll, oh. which is what in front of me here. Oh, wow. Oh, let me just roll this up and then I'll do the reveal. So you can actually go to, go to santangle.co.uk and you can download this. But watch the reveal. So it's got, you know, a little button, a little bit of elastic. So when you open it all up, you've actually got all oh. of your pencils there. And of course, I've got a little sort of a slot there. So I've got my little sample pieces. I've got my paintbrush in there. So that's a free pattern. It's you a can... free pattern, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I understand putting them in a box, you don't always see everything. But in order to keep the price down, that's what we did. See, Dave can't even get into them. Actually, we've got it here. We've just gone onto your website to see it. There we are, look. Pencil, there it is, yeah. Pencil roll instructions and a download, absolutely free, to put your watercolour pencils. And there are, and again, you can always rely on Sandra to um, make sure that the quality of everything that she brings is top notch. She's not going to purchase and endorse any product that isn't to her high levels of um, standards. But look. Yeah. Beautiful quality, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? First, got the name on. These are actually numbered as well. So in the instructions, I use numbers. Okay. Um, so you can at least you can pick on the ones that you need. So. So you get 36 in the box, watercolour pencils, uh, and loads of you are going for the watercolour book with the stencil as well. I mean, if you've already got watercolour pencils, fine. Obviously, in the book, they relate number-wise to the pencils that are here. They're £27.99 for all 36, so about 80p a pencil, which is pretty impressive. Uh, Joanne is coming in straight away for the pencils, £27.99. But don't forget the Tangling Macro Fantasy Flowers. That is your watercolour colouring course in there, step by step and your watercolour card pre-printed, 
and the stencil going very fast indeed. We're going to go on to a demo in a second, but if you want that, details are coming up. Over half the stock has gone. Here it is. It's FY1207. We're down to single figure stock now on this. That's how quick it's going. So good luck. I hope you get it. And treat yourself to the wax one as well at the same time. Do you know, they're both just as beautiful. And, and if you wanted to, you could switch things around. So you could say, well, I'm going to try a feather with watercolour and I'm going to try flower with coloured pencils. It all works. So. Yeah. It's, it's just nice to sort of uh, mix and match, isn't it, a little bit? Just to give you a heads up, oh, to come, look at this. the Archway stencil is new. Um, if you've got frames from Sandra in the past, this is a brand new one that you've not seen until today. It's coming up a bit later on, but it is, I think, available on the website right now if you want to order it in advance. It's going to go onto our website now, just this second. Alex is putting it on there for you. So we'll get to that a bit later in the show. Yeah, I haven't done a frame in ages, no, have I? No, it's, yeah. I have to feel that I need one. Yeah. I don't, I don't create a frame just because... I need to create a frame. I, I create one because I think, actually, this is going to work with such a thing, and yeah. I think I, I need it, so if I, <laughs> I need it. You need yeah, it. everyone else needs so, it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so uh, what I would suggest, if you've never watercolored before, when you get this, is start at the beginning. I usually do say, you know, you could pick on any, anything you like and, and start, but go from the beginning and work your way through because certain things I actually explain in here are going to help you with the next one and the next one and so forth. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of ignore the yellowy bits and I'm going to work on the blue sections for a moment. And I've already made a little bit of a start because I wanted that to dry. And so here's my colours. Now, when watercolouring, you're like, why on earth do you have a white pencil when you're watercolouring? Isn't that supposed to be the, you know, the paper? Uh, it can lighten the colour, but it also, it's great. You know, if you, you're colouring and you want to leave an aspect of it with no colour, yeah. it's so easy to just fill it with colour and forget. Right. When you use a white, it's going to stop you doing that. Okay. So here we go. First thing first, then, it says, all right, okay, number... Take number 27 and go lightly over all of the petals. Right. So it suggests you work in a section at a time. So I am going to go all over those ones. Let's just do a, a couple so you can see how it works. I can't think of anything nicer than watercolouring. Yeah, very in lightly. Summer. Yeah, all over. Then it says you've got to take number 16 at the base of the petal. So like, all right then, 16 at the base of the petal. And all these pencils are numbered yeah. in Sandra's collections. So here we go, base. And of course, there's a picture there to show you. So yeah. you can see sort of where I've moved things and where I haven't, that kind of stuff. So there's that bit. So the next one is we want the slightly darker colour. And it's saying put a little bit more in those bottom edges. OK, can do that. You see, I don't always put right in the bottom. I'm coming up bank a little bit as well. So it's almost like I'm, I'm building layers. Mm -hmm. OK. So then the white, I'm going to come in at the very edge. See where I've not really put much? I'm going to come in at the edge there. Okay, little bits there. And then I'm going to bring some water in. Now, using watercolour, always clean water. You don't need a lot, but always clean water. And then what you're going to do, dip your brush in. Now, if it's too wet and it's dripping, it's too much. You're going to end up with it everywhere. Right. What I tend to do is I'll just sort of come onto the, the side of my hand here and I'll twist my brush. Okay. And if I see that the, it's dripping, it's too much. If it's just sitting there and holding, got a bit of a sheen, it's holding, I'm good to go. Okay. It's a really nice way of looking at it. So, okay, I'm going to turn it round because I'm going to start with the darker bit. And I'm in control of this. So I can decide how much I'm going to put in. So what's going to happen very quickly is it's creating a bit of a line, you see? Yeah. Back in with the water, clean your brush, dry it off, back in to where that line is. You see, you have to work a little bit quickly here, especially if you've got camera and thing. Clean it off, dry it off, clean water. And where that white is now, it's going to allow me to come in and leave a little bit of a highlight there. Mm -hmm. Okay, clean the brush. So you can go really heavy with these if you want. So you get a really vibrant colour, which, you know, you can build it up. What you can do with these, a couple of things. You can go over the top of them with the regular wax pencils afterwards to add more depth. Okay. Which looks really, really nice. Or because they are water-based, you can go back over them with a fine liner. Oh, okay. So if I just do this one here. But that technique you're doing now is softening it so beautifully. Yeah. I'm just chasing that line every time. You see, I'm coming back in 
with clean water every time because I don't want to add more pigment on there. Mm -hmm. And then where that dark section is, it also suggests as well, which I've not done, you, I'm in control of, of what I'm doing here. So don't do every one next to each other. Leave a little gap in between. And then as it dries, it'll be fine. Because if you put too much water, one will jump into the other and you don't right. want it to bleed. Yep. But I left these dry because what you can do with these is you can come back in with a pen and you can add details over the top. And that for me is why watercolours in certain senses actually, here we go. Now we've actually sold out, I'm afraid, of the Macro Fantasy flowers. Uh, that's gone at 2185. I just wanted to show you actually, these are the step-by-step -step pictures that shows you all those techniques that Sandra was just talking about, and it goes into great detail. So you're not left alone. Um, all the techniques, how hard to press with a pencil, how light to press with a pencil, uh, when to get, your, when to get your, uh, your brush and your water involved. It's all there, all illustrated and written in the book. So congratulations if you've got the coloring and tangling macro fantasy flowers, they've now sold out. We're not gonna rub salt into the wound and major on that uh, for much longer, but gone at 27.99. But we do still have, if you've gone for that, um, obviously, the numbers on the pencils relate to the projects in the book. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, my watercolour pencils maybe aren't the same colours as what Sandra's got in there. I won't know which one's which. I mean, you can kind of colour match probably quite easily, but the numbers in here relate to the projects in the book. So if you would like to go for the 36 watercolour pencils, uh, we've got those all numbered and relating to the book, and they are $27.99 for those, and that's FZ1236. I mean, for the sake of another £28, I think it makes good sense to have the correct pencils do, for the project. Do you know, they're, they're an investment, aren't they? Because yeah. you use them all the time, and then they're there. I, I think if you've got pencils and you just look at them in a box and don't actually use them, yeah. you have wasted your money. But if you're actually following the instructions, you know how to use them, you're going to use them more for other projects. And... Honestly, then, I mean, looking at mine is I have got pencils and they're different, different lengths. That means I use them. Yes, exactly. But I've been using these for a long time now. I've had these since, oh, wait, beginning of February. And I've not gone very far down there. So. Do you know what, though? Um, I, I know for an awful lot of people, myself included, watercolouring as, a, as, a, as an art and a craft is something I, I'd love to do and I'm passionate about. Well, here's your ideal opportunity to get a course from the lady that you've probably known for years and years and years and can, can trust implicitly. But you've got the, the pencils <laughs> that relate to the projects in that book. So $27.99 for those. FZ1236 is your item number. Um, <laughs> Sarah, I think, in Newport. Hello, Sarah. Hi, both. My Hi. beginner's kit came yesterday, and I'm loving. Oh, Thank you for starting my new journey. Brilliant. Oh, I'm so excited. I love it when there's somebody that's not done it before, and you actually give it. I'm so pleased. Please make sure you post pictures. We want to see. Send some in. Send yeah. some in. Yeah. Now, um, we've got the emails open right now, oh, so yeah, if you yeah. want to send yeah. in pictures of what you've done, you'll be entered into our fantastic £100 credit draw that we do every single month on the last Saturday. Yeah, we call yeah. share, we care, short, uh, share your makes. Anything that you've made or, or done, doesn't have to be Santangle, anything at all that you've made from scratch, we would like to see a picture of it and you'll go into the draw. You could win yourself a £100 credit on the last Saturday of each month. We do that every single month. So whenever you made something, take a picture, just send it in. You never know, you could be the winner of that and yeah we can show some pictures that you've done if you want to send them in during the show we're live until eight o'clock absolutely yeah send your questions in as well yeah, you exactly. might as well while i'm here ask, yeah. ask away it's fine free advice yeah absolutely yeah. Free masterclass. <laughs> anything that can help yeah yeah what do you want to move on to now? uh locket lane the locket coloring lane. book now it says color tangle and stories dave Ooh. Ooh. stories of locket lane stories of locket lane yes now um, stories wise, I've not written them and a lovely lady named Lynn Kirk, who's a tangler, okay. has actually written them and I asked her if I could use them in the, the book to give you a little bit of, um, almost like a little bit of an idea of how Lockheed Lane operates. If you've never come across Lockheed Lane, <laughs> where have you been? But it's actually um, a little town behind a secret keyhole. I would love to live in Lockheed Lane. Oh, do you know? It we could be, be neighbours in Lockheed Lane. We could, couldn't we? But which house would you have? Which house is the quirkiest? The qu oh yeah, there's a few. Yeah, we, yeah. We need to we need to choose one for Dave, don't we? <laughs> oh, shall I open it? Go on then, have a flick. <laughs> so inside here, and this is, again gives you a bit of an idea because the houses that are in here, I've given you a little bit of a background information about them. So you think, well, that's not a house. This is a locket, the secret behind Locket Lane. So it's in there. It tells you a little bit about the book, of course. 
But then, of course, it goes into look what number three is, what number seven is, look number 27. And if we have a little look at the back, there's a few there. Look, Moreover Castle, mm -hmm. the Jolly House, number 307. Although the postal address for this abode is Lockett Lane, it actually resides deep in the woods, far away from the main row, but quite close to the well where the famous Lockett was found. Ah. So, you, yeah. So, within there then, okay, we get into these lovely, wonderful pieces of art that, yeah, I've drawn them there, especially just for you. I, now, do you know what I think you're doing? Is you're making colouring fashionable and fun. It's, but it is. Now, <laughs> there is a, a couple of pictures in here and you notice that you think, oh, is that faded? There's grey in the background. That's because I'm giving you a little bit of an idea of depth. Right. So it's, it's meant <coughs> to be there. But if you've got your locket, look at this one, our house and the trees. Oh, well, yeah, I'll have that one, please. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. So if you've got Locket Lane stencil, you might recognise a couple of these. I've drawn some of them especially for the book. But you can actually bring, look at this one, your stencils and your backgrounds in. So you've got images all pre-coloured to give you ideas. No, I've coloured that one. Oh, you coloured yeah, that yeah, one? Yeah, right, I've okay. been playing. This is my book, Dave. OK. But, yeah, they're all, look at this. And what pencils did you use to colour? Now, you've got a choice here. Now, you'll notice there's nothing on the back of those. That means because you could use alcohol markers right. if you want to. You could use my regular coloured pencils if you want to. But the one you've just seen, yeah, where's it gone now? The pinky one. Mm -hmm. That's coloured in with the watercolour pencils. OK. Because you're not using, it's a super smooth paper, but because you're not using much water, you'll find that the watercolour will take it. OK. Yeah. And did you just use them dry or did you... I've used them dry. Shall I show you? Yeah. Let me show you. OK. Using so, our pencils that we just showed you? Yeah, I've got a bit of one I've started here. So, coming back in, look, with the main, all right? I'm going to... Let's go in with a couple of reds. Uh, I'm going to do this one. So, these are the watercolour pencils, remember? Yeah, watercolour pencils. 36 of those. Yeah. I mean, this is going to give you a softer feel. Yeah. If you want to go a little bit brighter, more vivid, you are going to use the regular pencils mm -hmm. or as I say you could use this as a starting point look at that little ladybird there you can use this as a starting point and then bring your other colour pencils in I love the fact that this is a hobby that you can add to and everything oh, Santangle yeah. is very very reasonable and there's, there's no expensive machinery that's needed or anything like that so a lot of you every time Sandra's here uh, buy another stencil buy another book perhaps uh, or another product to kind of develop your Santangling hobby well you do and and to be honest, Dave, yeah, we might have a lot of stencils, but they all work together. Yeah. So you might, like I say, with Lockheed Lane or the Riverside Row or Christmas Close or yep. Halloween Hollow, they're all there. You can actually bring things that you've got in there into this book. And this is almost like an extension mm -hmm. of, uh, of those stencils. So let me bring a bit of water in. Now, as I've said, because um, it's super smooth paper, you want to control it. So if I bring that in you see I'm not using much water and soften it off you see I'm drying it each time I'm not adding more water I don't really need to with it but it's very softly working its way around it's also well worth pointing out that not all pencils are equal there are good no. and there are bad as with everything and yes. Sandra sauce is the best I have That's used a a lot of pencils and I've been in a lot of schools where you know you've got the kids go I can't use these I can't get anything with them um yeah it's true you have to make it work yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with the, the worst pencils in the world I really have I'm not I won't do that again I don't need to I can provide you know my own sort of various look at that love it yeah, it's almost dry as it is well again the beauty with this is you can bring your pen in and you can add little bits to it. So I might decide, for example, see, I've already added some little toadstools in the back there, but we like these leaves. So maybe you're gonna bring in and add more leaves in there. But there are some, um, some finished colored pictures in the front of the book as well to give you ideas there are. and inspiration. Like the mushroom house is um, owned by Mrs. Fungi. Yeah. This is be, Lynn's it? story, so she's actually done the artwork. Oh, she's uh, well, done she's, the artwork. She's coloured the pictures in based on using the stencils. Gotcha. So, gotcha. Um, yeah, so she's and she's put some stories in about the little mice. They're, I think it's Dobby and Mackenzie in mice form, but I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, cool. So, show you this as a finished piece because mm. I've got it as a card. Because of course, take these out, and it would fit on an eight by eight card really well. Perfect. Look at that. 
at that and that's all done with the watercolor pencils a little bit of dye around it this is my stencil my butterfly and there's not a single person designs. that wouldn't appreciate that if that was going to be on a card. Of you know, course guys not. would love it, ladies would yeah. love it, youngsters it's would love it. It's your version, isn't it? Yeah. It's what you've done. So it's really sort of a, a beautiful way of sort of taking it in. To, uh, to I've just noticed the it. first image on the colouring book from Locket Lane uh -huh. is the keyhole itself. Yeah. Where it all started. That famous Locket. It crops up in every single variant of Locket Lane and each one you get a little bit more of the story so you sort of find where it's come from we know it resides it came from a well mm -hmm. behind one of the houses the one with the satellite and then uh, as you get into Halloween Hollow it it was found in the asylum there okay so somebody was in the asylum right this is like it's a real story I know it is. Yeah. Yeah. it is in my head anyway <laughs> and uh, and then of course you go to uh, Riverside Row and there was a, a famous portrait there of a very, very, uh, you know, high up kind of uh, lord right. with his lady friend and okay. she's wearing the locket. So, yeah, people have gone to look at this picture to see if they can work out who it is. Ah. So. so the story's in the front of the book and then you've got there. literally dozens and dozens of pages of fun colouring in. Um, that I'd, I'd be tempted not to leave them in the book. I'd either put them on cards or yeah. put them in frames. Yeah. Now we're getting loads of emails coming through. We always do when Sandra's here. So thank you ever so much if you're getting in touch with the show. And I know we've got some pictures, I believe, to show as well, which we'll, we'll do as the show goes on. Of course, you don't have to colour if you don't want to. You can just completely tangle along if mm -hmm. you want. You can just add that to it. You don't have to add the colour. But see, this is just nice and subtle, isn't it? And then tangling over the top of it. It's quite remarkable, really, when you think we're using super smooth paper and the water's moving that yeah. to pigment a lot. You wouldn't think that would work, but it does. No. But then, you know, coming along, see, I've got these little lines here. You can come in and put in your own tangly patterns. And then, of course, don't forget inking around in the backgrounds and all the rest of it. I could go on for hours with this book. There's so much in it. It's not just for colouring in. There's so many things you can do. Now, so. bearing in mind... Locket Lane is hugely popular. Lots of people were talking about it last time I was out and about, last time they let me out. <laughs> Lots of people saying they love Sandtangle, love Locket Lane and everything else. If you want that colouring book, remember there are literally dozens of pages of uh, hours of relaxation and fun and enjoyment colouring all these images in. If I just flick through the book for you, I just want to show you the lock because that's where it all began, through the keyhole. There we go, look, there's the keyhole into which you enter the world yeah. of Locket Lane. Oh, Dave, I've got a coloured version of that here. Would you Have like you? to see it? Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, here we go. If I do it overhead. Look at that. You see, we've got those lovely stencils in the background to add extra little bits and pieces to it. Imagine adding some little gems and bits of sparkle to this. Yeah. It's a really sort of a pretty design, isn't it? Love it. Love okay, it. well, we've got lots of other goodies in the show to come, including to go next? a brand new spring season stencil and book, which we'll come on to a, a short while. Thank you for all your emails, though. We've got a few that we can show right now for you. Uh, so who's first? Helen. Hi, Hi Helen. Helen. Oh, my word. I love seeing your artwork. This is oh, amazing. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Helen That's says, just beautiful flowers. I'm someone who didn't think they could draw. Yeah, me too. Uh, thanks to Sandra, I've discovered that I can. Here are two of my recent Santangle projects. I love it when we get messages like that. I do, and it, because it's just lovely to show. The fact that the confidence is there to, to draw it and then to actually post it and send it for everybody to see. You've been on TV. You're an artist and you didn't <laughs> even know it, but Sandra... I know who this one is coming up. Okay, now this next one. Hi, Glenys. Is from Glenys. Glenys Dewey. Hi, Glenys. Hi, Dave and Sandra. Love drawing on the wood. This was my Easter weekend project. I saw this on Facebook the other day. Uh, yes. The new desktop has just jumped into my basket. The new desktop. Oh, oh the new be desktop. A match. Brilliant. Eighty percent of that's gone. We'll remind you of that in a minute. Thank you for bringing us such wonderful tangling goodies from. Glenys. Oh, thank you, Glenys, for you know giving it a go and creating these beautiful things. So proud of you. I'm so proud of all of you. I think you do fantastically well. It's great. And another one. Uh, this time from Wendy. Oh. Uh, Wendy Frederick says, my version of a castle using Sandra's stencil. Oh, Look I love that. that. I'd like to move in there, actually. Yeah, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it just there's those stories, isn't it? And all those different things going on. It tells it all along it, on its own right. But... It's got the parasol, the roof terrace. I'm yeah, happy. roof terrace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, yeah. It looks a bit chilly, though. A bit what? A bit chilly, a bit chilly there. Chilly. You'd have yeah, to maybe. wear a little bit of yeah. a throw, I think. We've got one more email <laughs> to show, but three pictures. Um, 
Now, this is from... Who's this from? Oh, Alex. We haven't got a name, uh, but basically it came in. It says, here's some sand tangle tiles I've done over the past few weeks, all from Sandra's books and her YouTube oh, videos. Brilliant. I love sand tangle. We'll get your name in a minute off your email. Um, but let's have a little look at the image of Vicky. Oh, Thank Vicky. You, Vicky. There we are. Oh, oh look wow. at those. Oh, wow. It's amazing, isn't it? How wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Five beautiful tiles and another. You've been four. busy. You've been busy. Look at those. The one in the middle. Look at that three dimension in there, the shading. But look, this proves everybody can do this. This is not something that's unique to Sandra or me. You know, we've had about 20 people emailing in the last Thank couple you. of minutes and we'll try and get some more before eight o'clock on the TV for you. Uh, now, one thing that we want to quickly mention, we know on a Friday evening, lots of people come in at different times and they can't always tune in from the very beginning of the show. Now, I've got in front of me, you look at this and you think, okay, <laughs> what on what, what's that, that then? <laughs> it's cherry veneer. That's what it is. Uh, but it's what it makes. And this is what Glennis was talking about it is, a few minutes ago. It is. This is your desktop easel, which you can use to show off things. Use it as like a frame, as a display, but you can also, of course, do art on it, paint on it, yeah. colour in on it, you can sand change the angle it. if you want to. So I've actually coloured it in. I've, I've drawn it, drawn it here. Look, I've inked around the edges. Yep. And you notice on the back here. Look, I've actually used a stamp, and then I've inked using the abstract frame stencils, and then I've used a little bit of spray varnish. Yep. And then that's all completely sealed in. Perfect. And then you can see, if I don't want to use it anymore in a sense, I can fold that up, pop it down. Close it down. But it's a, it's a lovely thing to display. Don't put it away. Don't put it in a drawer. Keep it out and keep your artwork out yeah. there. You can maybe change the tile you put on there or change the book that you put on there every single day and use it as a, as a display when you're not actually using it to do your art. $26.99. It's brand new to this show. It launched at 6 o'clock this evening. But as I say, we're very well aware lots of you come in a bit later than that. So if you didn't see it then, you can order it now. There's still stock, but it's going fast. Uh, there's not much left at all, actually. DY1234, if you want to go for that fantastic drawing board or a mini easel, really, at the end of the day. DY1234. Now, um, I don't know. Shall what we, about... Shall we do the arch? Should we do the arch? Let's do the arch. Yeah. And we've got the spring coming up a bit later that was on earlier, in case you missed that. Now, the arch, let's look at it. Um, frame, I don't know how many frames you've done. And, do you know? So I don't know. I've done circle, square, triangle, hexagon, heptagon, yeah. octagon, yeah. nonagon. Yeah. We've then done the four that went with the Getting Creative Book Four, and that was almost, that was 12, do I can't remember the numbers. I've done lots, but they're always relevant, and they're always just lovely to work with. I think one of my, fa my standouts is the Nonagon. I love the nine-sided, but I've really enjoyed doing this, and I think this, bearing in mind, you know, we've got those sort of very mystical kind of designs, but... This will work with your silhouette stencils. It'll work with anything you want to draw. But It'll you've never done an arch own. one. I've never done an arch one, no. And again, it's bringing flowers and things like that into it. And, you know, I, you could even do, you know, with a church window with this if yeah. you wanted. I always so associate arches as like you know, marriages, pagodas. Oh, absolutely. Like There's oh, so many things. Now, look at this. Bar look at the baskets here. 70% oh, of the stock has lovely. gone. We mentioned it was available. We put it on the website. 90% now gone. Oh, I'm really sorry if you miss out on this. We had triple figure stock. Uh, £20.50 gets you the stencil and it gets you the booklet with the projects step by step by step to create a beautiful archway just like this. Like you said, it could be a doorway, it could be a, of, a window. Of course. Um, now, that price of £20.50 isn't what anyone's going to pay. Everybody gets the final low price, which we can confirm is £16.35. Mm -hmm. And you could be making archways yeah. just I mean, that's like the that. two I've given you instructions for. So I've shown you how to sort of do one that looks like it's a little bit illusion. And then the other one, you've got those flowers in as well. But it's there's so many things. But I've, I've given you two to start with. And then it, from there, you do whatever you want to do. It's, there's so many possibilities with it. More people want it than we've actually got stock. I know we were going to be doing a demo on this. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Literally, a hundred of these have gone in the last few seconds. That's how busy we are for the archway frame. Um, so Shall I show you? Yeah, go on. Um, these, these work in exactly the same way as my other stencils, in a sense. I'm just looking for them. I've got a pencil. I had a pencil. 
it's a good job I've got more than one. There you go. So what do we do with it? It'll work for anywhere from sort of a, a two or three inch kind of archway all the way up to something that will sit on an eight by eight card. You can use a section of it, you can use all of it, whatever you want to do. So let me show you how, again, how it works. I'm going to go in with this shape here and follow the lines. And then I'm going to come in and do this one here. So I'm doing like a single frame. Mm -hmm. Okay, into there. And then I've got dots. On, I definitely mean that middle dot. I've got dots in every one. This is because if you're using this one, you'll use the dots for that. This one, dots for that. You don't need all of them in a sense. And the dots are there for what reason? Yeah, so, well, if I just open it up there, you see I've got my frame shape. Yeah. If I put the dots, and I'll just sort of do half, in the middle of that frame shape there, like so. Okay. Like that. <coughs> I'll just take that off. I'd go all the way around, but you can see now, oh, I've got dots there. So I'm just going to join that in and that one in. So what I would then do is I'd come in with my straight edge, line it up with the center dot and draw the line and draw the line. So what that's giving you are individual like little compartments. Yes. And think of each of those little compartments as a mini picture. Exactly. And when you put the mini pictures together, you get a big picture. That's exactly right because we want to break up the space and the idea with this one is that you, you want to have a sort of a perspective kind of vibe going on. There we go. Let's just do a few. Do you see it's starting to create that perspective going around? Mm -hmm. And then in each of those little ones, you can create a shape. So looking at my instructions here, um, you see here I've got three frames in one. I'm just yeah. going to look at that outside one. So very simple shape uh, instructions, but it gives you everything you need. So I've got this little shape here. So let's put that in. And it's sort of like, it, following it up, there's my middle point. I'm going to draw a little line in this way and a line in this way. It's all step by in step. this way. Now, they're all going to look a little bit different because you're drawing it by hand. Mm. But that's the beauty of it. When you draw it and it all gets put together, that's how it's going to work. So you see, I do that all the way around. Mm -hmm. The next one, now I'm not going to worry about doing this one because this is my sort of next row down. I'm keeping in with what I've got in this row here. So I'm going to come in with a little line. And because we've got that repetition, that muscle memory is going to kick in and you're going to find that we're going to start to get very similar. And let's put in this space little loops. See, one, two, one, two. So it's very small sections. You know, like we talk about a little bit of doodling. Yeah. It fills in each of those sections taking our time because you're doing it step by step it it soon builds up yep. into something magnificent here we go and this is why everyone yeah. can do this i'm coming in now and i'm sort of going up the line and creating sort of a loop with a flat top on there and there like so so if i bring in one that i've done a little bit more work on here now on this one i've actually used um a stamp oh, wow so you can see that pattern all the way around, I've done it in pen, I've rubbed out the pencil lines and then the little stamp is from, it's from the Just Be stamp collection. Now I've, I've, I've got that here actually. A really good price on this. Do you want to have today. a look at it? This is the Just Be um, and you can see how many stamps you've actually got there and it does come again with printed uh, artwork on the front which you can choose to copy if you want to. Um, but that's the element that um, Sandra has used on that stencil, that one at the bottom there. And as Sandra said, she's done a cracking price on us uh, for this one today. Brave, be in the moment and so on. Lots of verses on there as well. Be yourself, be fabulous, be calm, be proud. Um, and these, of course, can be Santangled further if you want. Well, absolutely, yeah. They've started as a Santangled drawing and used exactly the same pen you will. And of course, all the words, they're all separate. So you can choose what words you want. Uh, there's two different fonts for the B as well, so whatever you want to do, you can work on because you've got two images that you can expand on even more. It's and they're fourteen ninety nine. EJ one two zero six. EJ one two zero six. Fourteen pounds ninety nine pence today for all of those stamps, um, and that's what was used in that little demo a few minutes ago. So they're in the show as well if you want to add those. They are, yeah. And I've got a finished one. If you add a little bit of colour to this. So using those stamps again that you've just seen, we've added all the words in there. Now you've got this wonderful sort of frame going on, but you've got the stamp upward and it just looks 
like you've drawn it, mm -hmm. even though the stamp you haven't particularly. But if I actually come in here, see we've got these little curls that are actually on the stamp. You can copy those and you can extend even more. Now the stamps you're loving as well, a third of the stock of those has now gone at 14 99 So if you've gone maybe for the archway stencil, think about adding maybe the stamps in as an extra because they complement that beautifully well, as with all the frames, to be honest. Of course, it's just, there you go. So because I'm using exactly the same pen as I've drawn those stamps with, you can see that there's not really much difference going on there. It's all about you adding them in. There you go. See, I've got some um, some other finished cards here as well, just to show you the, oh, the potential one, yeah. of what you can do with the stamps. Yeah. Let me just show you these because these are beautiful. Using the stamp set, while we still got stock, I just wanted to get these in before they sell out. They're proving to be hugely popular, Look and there's that. just it's so, just so beautiful, it isn't is. it? Look at that. Just a section. Over half the stock of the stamps gone. <laughs> Maybe you never thought of actually using stamps in a sand tangle way. Well, these have been designed with that very much in mind. A few more look. Look at that one. Colouring it in, tangling it, uh, cutting it out, decoupaging it. That lovely floral mandala, really. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, it's just really pretty, isn't it? It's nice, I think, to have half and half there. And, of course, you can extend that and you could add more petals around the outside if you wanted to. It's just lovely. Hang on a minute. Look at this. Angie Young, yeah. wow. Yes. That shows you how far you can take Sangliff Center. Of course, so you can, you can make something bigger. A fabric would be lovely, wouldn't it? Would be. You have no idea, aren't you? Well, well, do you know what? It just so happens, just so happens that I can print fabrics. I know you can. <laughs> yeah, you that may be next one. <laughs> you never know. But if you want those stamps, though, please be quick because they are going very fast. Every time we bring you anything from Sandra and Santangle, they're such a loyal band of fans and followers to Santangle as a brand now. As soon as we show you something maybe you've not seen before, you pop it in your basket and you check out. So 1499 gets you those. And I love the positivity in the words as well. Do you know what? I, I don't think I've, I've ever brought anything that's not positive. No. I, I don't necessarily bring happy birthday and, and that kind of thing. But it's always about positivity and, and putting something on your card that positive frame of mind yeah it's about that mindset all the time and yeah. it's, it's really important to me so now if you just switched on we are in a two-hour show which is fantastic for us hopefully it's fantastic for you as well because one hour is never enough with Sandra so to have a two-hour show on a Friday to start yeah. the weekend is fantastic um, and we're here till eight o'clock tonight so if you want to get any any of your Santangle projects in photograph them now send them in we'll put you into that draw for share your mates you could win yourself a 100 pound credit by the end of the month uh, but more importantly than that it's to show everyone at home that it's not just something that Sandra can do not just something that I can do it's something that you can do at home as well even if like people have said on the emails today I never thought I could draw I never thought I could be an artist but Sandra's proved to me that I can be it's it's a mindset if you think you can't do it you probably won't do it if you think oh maybe I can do it you will do it because Sandra shows you how it's as simple as that 14.99 for those stamps um, in the next hour as well just to give you a heads up this debuted this afternoon it did it's one lovely now one o'clock on a friday maybe you've got other things on you couldn't tune in um this is coming up i believe in the next show so it's the seasons of spring including the stencil to go with it that was brand new this afternoon if you've not seen it before we still have stock of it but a large quantity did go earlier on we'll take a short break here but we'll come back with more put the kettle on come back and join us for part two Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? Never miss a show by watching on the go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobbymaker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? 
then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Welcome back, part two. It is Hobbymaker, it is Santangle. Lovely Sandra's here for a Friday evening through until eight o'clock. I've got some really good news for you, actually. I thought, and we all thought, for the stencil, uh, sorry, for the stamps, that the price was £14.99. And, and loads of you have checked out. Have we got any stock left of this, of the stamps? We do have some stock left. We're in single figure stock. So all of you, the hundreds of you that have ordered these, thinking you're spending £14.99, this is how honest Hobbymaker is and how honest Sandra and the team here are. That was a mistake because Sandra did us a very, very good deal on this, and we're passing that on for you. So are you thinking you're spending £14.99 on these stamps? Nope. Let's start the second hour tonight. Okay, it will be 9 99 I can tell you that. We can't, the computer won't let us drop it, but it will be, you'll be charged at 9 99 for these stamps, okay? So EJ1206, £9.99, <laughs> not 14 99 When you get your confirmation email overnight tonight, it will show 9 99 for those stamps. So just a bit of good news, you've got another fiver. That's more than covered your cost for your P&P for the whole day. Okay, now I'm really excited about this. Spring is one of my favorite seasons because it's bye-bye winter, bye-bye cold, bye-bye wet eventually. And hello to new beginnings, new lambs in the fields, daffodils in the gardens. Rain. Rain. <laughs> Traffic jam. But do you know, rain, if, if, you, if you're dressed for the weather, you've got your wellies, you've got your umbrella, yeah. rain can be kind of nice. It can, it can. Look, this was launched <laughs> at one o'clock this afternoon. So Sandra Bless has had a big gap in between shows. This stencil relates to the projects that are in this book. And it's one of the most positive seasons of the year as well, isn't it, Spring? It is. Yeah, it is. And yeah, you've still got that little bit of chill at times, but I don't think that's a bad thing. No. You know, you then appreciate what's coming in the summer. LT1204. The book and the stencil is 2145. Now, you look at the stencil, you think, OK, it's a lot of shapes. Yes. Yeah, I love these, though, because <laughs> you cannot quite tell what it no. is. But we actually you... drew a daffodil earlier from two ovals. Oh, really? <laughs> But when you open the book, you can see that those shapes are on the stencil and it shows you step by step by step how you use the stencil and what you draw in the shapes that you've made with the stencil to make these wonderful flowers. So every page is full of inspiration. Who doesn't love new bloom flowers? I know. The Tulips. snowdrops, the crocus and all that. It's just lovely. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Then you, you know. And the fact that it's been done by hand, you've done it. Because uh, what, what the stencil does is it gives you the outline, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And it shows you how to put shapes together to get the best out of what you're going to do. I mean, look, to do, if I asked you to draw a daffodil, um, would you know where to start? I certainly wouldn't. But look, yeah, look you said two, two ovals. ovals. That's where you start, two ovals. There you go. And, and you've then, got the original artwork there, Dave, on the side. So just, I think just to the left of you, it's the, at the top. Oh, here? Yeah. There it is. Oh, look. Look, look, look. Yeah. So it actually takes you through step by step how to draw that. 
look and at. if you're not sure we did actually do that on the earlier show so right at the very end of the earlier show we did a, a okay demo on so you that. can watch the one o'clock show back a bit later if you wanted and that to one, look at that look at these well he's in uh wellies with tulips in the middle fantastic yeah and look at this one so cute yeah, look at the mouse and of course you you can do that mouse in two different sizes and you can change the ears to make it bunny ears if Excellent. you want to so you're going to get the book. Yeah. Now, what we always, and Sandra always recommends you do, if you go, in this case, to the back of the book, um, you can see that there's a drawing of the stencil. And every shape has got a letter or a number. Um, mark it with a, a permanent marker, because Sandra, rather than telling you where the shape is on the stencil, she basically refers to the shapes as numbers. Yeah. So go to number two, number three, number four, whatever. So it's easy then to find on the stencil uh, the shape that's right for the project you're working on. But because the daunting thing is getting perspective right and size right, isn't it? That's, that's the thing, yeah. That's what so the stencil gives yeah, you. Yeah, there is um, a, like a potting shed table in the instructions. Again, you've got two sizes, but I give you the perspective for the top. So it's almost one, it's one point perspective. So you can then put the legs underneath quite easily that one and there. then you can make your own little image. If you look yeah. at that one, that's the potting shed. Yeah, there's the samples actually on the stand, uh, David, the potting shed just in front of you there. Okay. There it is. It's got the little watering can look and there. everything on it. Look at that. So it shows you how to do that. But then of course you can put the flowers where you want. You can put the watering can where you want, whichever way round. There's lots of options, isn't there? So everything step by step until you get, of course, to the finished picture which is just there, which again, you can tangle or color with your pencils if you want of to. Of course, whatever you want to do with it afterwards. But to make daffodils from literally nothing with the help <laughs> of the stencil <laughs> is just amazing. Everything is step by step, as you'd expect with Sandra. So the book and the stencil, yours today for £21.45. It launched this afternoon at one o'clock. This is the remaining stock we have. So hello to Jane in Derbyshire, Maureen in Cheshire, Joanne, Crafter in Pembrokeshire, Linda, uh, Crafter in East Riding of Yorkshire, Lindsay, Maria in Somerset, all coming through, approaching single figure stock on this now, the spring oh, one. Oh gosh, I was going to draw something. Shall I draw? Oh, go on. While we still got <laughs> Let's draw Let's something Let's quickly. Okay, so um, I don't always use every single shape um, in the instructions. What I've actually done is I, I give you extra shapes so then you can go ahead and do your own thing later on. So let's make a start, okay? So you've got this line here, number 39. I'm going to draw that in number 39 and then I'm going to draw number 28 mm -hmm. on the top there now I'm not just making that up as I go it actually tells me in the instructions there it is there yeah. it is look okay mm -hmm. number 39 and 28 there you go it's like every class every page is a master class well absolutely yeah and I've tried to do it in as, as less sort of steps as I can just to, it's, it's it's relatively straightforward in a sense so I'm going to bring a line down there you see just to help me a little bit mm -hmm. Because what I need now is this odd little shape here, number 30. And I'm going to line that up. So rather than draw it sort of straight with my body, I'm going to follow the line that I've just put in there. So it's going to come a little bit further down. How do you do these stencils? Do you do the finished flower just from freehand yeah. and then break it down into yes. sections? Yes, would you like to see? Oh, you've actually got the book. Here we go. This is my sketchbook. I have one of these every year, don't I? Yeah. Okay, let me see. So if we look through, you can see sort of things look like... Um, Let's find it. Or is it in here? Or did I do it in the other one? Do you know? Oh, there you go. <coughs> there you uh, go. Okay, there so that's the original artwork that inspired that, Yeah, so it looks a bit rough and ready around the edges, but sometimes that's all you need. And then you can see here, look, I've got the different ideas. And then once this is drawn, I will then take basic shapes off this mm -hmm. for what I think I need. So like the umbrella is a semicircle. Yeah. And then I'll scan that in. I'll send that up to John and say, this is what I want. So um, he won't then change bubbles to circles if I don't want them. He'll give me the exact shape. And then I will take the stencil and then I will redraw all of these for the instructions. What so a I know that process. Yeah, it's yeah. quite remarkable when yeah. you think about it. So it's, it's, yeah, I draw it to start with, but then I recreate, break it down, do the stencil, then redraw it with the stencil to write the instructions. See, that's what Santangle is so unique or why it's so unique, because Normal art teachers wouldn't think of doing that. They wouldn't break it down into shapes. They'd just say, no. yeah, that's the drawing, try and recreate that. Sandra gives you the stencil <laughs> that allows you to do it. 
no. So, uh, a snowdrop. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm going to put myself a little shape in here. If I don't think you need a stencil, I won't put one in. You don't need a stencil for that. And you don't really need a stencil for that. I'm just joining everything together. And then on here, what I've actually done for you is I've given you the shapes of the petals, but I've put them in the right order, in a sense, for the, this design. So, in here, we're going to put this one sort of underneath, but slightly to the side. This one is going to sit here. Make sure you've got a sharp pencil. And then this one is going to sit here. Snowdrop. Okay. Next bit, though, is, is, is really quite sweet because we can put some curves in. And this is where you start to sort of do your own version with it. You can follow mine, but they're never going to be exactly the same. No. All right, so I've got some little curves. And then from there, I'm going to make them a little bit thicker. One there. Let's take that round a little bit there. And round a little bit there. Maybe point it a little bit more. Beauty of using pencil. And a little bit there. Okay. And then I'm going to bring some lines up here. So I've sort of across the top there. And it's a suggest one there. So I'm sort of following the instructions and looking at the pictures, really. Mm -hmm. And then I've got this lovely little sort of curved shape there, like that. And then if I do another one going underneath, and another one going underneath, and then I could bring another one in. I don't have to do three all the time. I could do one, so it's sort of like, you know, they're starting to come out. They're all going to come out differently, aren't they? So. And the secret really is to look at each individual shape rather than yeah. think, oh, I've got to draw that flower. Just think, oh, I've got to draw that shape. And then four or five shapes together, suddenly you've got a flower. Exactly, yeah. Let's put a little line down here. So, of course, a very sort of quick kind of sketch, but if I bring in the finished piece, Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, that, look, that looks really tricky. But as you've just seen, Isn't all the petals are in the right order. You've created those shapes there. The curve's already there for you. My leaves, a little bit different, but that's, that's just how it works. And then, of course, I've used the, ab, the flourish stencil in the background. So if you want background stencils, let me just sort of... My desk's like my craft room. The abstract ones? Yeah. I've got yeah. them here. Oh, that's the, no, the other one, the Flourish. Have you got the Flourish? Oh, the yeah. abstract. No, it doesn't matter. Is that right? That's not the right one, but that's oh. okay. Okay. We've got this one. They're there somewhere. We've got <laughs> this one. Um. There is somewhere. Background stencils are fab. And I did have them not long ago, but I can't find them now. Okay, well, we've got this oh, one for you. This is the abstract background stencils for drawing and tangling. Um, you get both of these if you fancy these. These are beautiful. Do you know what, with these, actually, let me, I'm going to show you, Dave, how, how these sort of work, because at the moment they just look like, just lines, don't they? They don't look like anything. Let me find a bit of paper. Here we go. So if I actually come in with um, this one, for example, it's just lots of different shapes, but if you've got, hang on a second, if you've got a piece of uh, art and you think, I just need something on that corner, then what we can do with this is I can use a section of it here we go, a section of it. Here we go. So into there. So I can just use that little bit. You imagine you're having your archway there. And you see I've got a section of it. And then doing something a little bit different. I've just been told that this one that I've just shown you, the abstract background stencils, okay. has actually just sold out. We have got the back. Oh, back right, okay. Flourish, though. That's the one I'd used on the snowdrops. So okay. that's the abstract. Let me show you the flourish. Okay. Ah, I need another piece of paper. There we go. Do you know, it's a good job, isn't it? This table's big. <laughs> so let's have a look for a great example. All right. So, oh, all these lovely drawings, look. So let's oh, look, Lockett Lane. This is where the artwork came from for the original Lockett Lane, uh, the colouring book. So, look in here, I've got this sort of like little flourish, and again, they're all facing different ways, and they're all different sizes. So, if I use a, a, a brush that I've washed, Leslie tells me off because I don't wash my brushes. Now, we have actually got stock of these, if you do want them. Um, have you got both of them there? I have got both of them. I'll, I'll, demonstrate, I'll sort of use both of them. So, this one's a little bit swirly, great for like sky and things. I'll, I'll use that in a sec. Okay. So, here, look. And this one, because they've been, again, hand-drawn, you can uh, put them in with all your other bits and pieces and it looks like you've drawn it rather than. So if I just use a section of it there, 
Look how that starts to oh, give yeah. that lovely background. And then I, I like, you know, you could turn it round. I just want this little bit, look, here. I mean, they could be clouds, they could be yeah, trees. Look. But All then using this one, let's bring it in with, um, oh, look at this one. So this could be anything you wanted it to be. I know I'm using orange again, but let's bring that in. They, I, I love them. And I say because they've been hand-drawn, and the same sort of tangles that you use within your artwork anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's go a little bit heavier there. You, uh, it looks like you've drawn it as part of the artwork and it fits. I think that's the most important thing. It fits with what you're going to do. Well, it's all kind of mythical, isn't it? It just seems to work. It does, doesn't it? Look it's just that. lovely. So let's use those small ones there. It's a world I wouldn't mind being in. I know. It just <laughs> everything seems so you know relaxed and tranquil doesn't it and this is the world we'd love to live in maybe just for a little while look at that how it works beautiful yeah so that's you get the two of them together that's the flourish that was the one i've used here we go look just so maybe the edge for, there on the snowdrop maybe you went for the locket around. lane book in the last hour if you did and you like the idea of having these uh, wonderful backgrounds because they work with that so well 1095 gets you both of those and it's original hand-drawn artwork that's been converted into a stencil and you get both of those ones that so i've got them here but sandra's got them and showed them to you 1095 for both of those no 1202 is the item number if you want those uh, it's only five pound fifty each now another one that we've got stock of i believe i hope is creative stencil set two oh, these are amazing yes we do these okay. are amazing these are available so many things have sold out. You've got, now look at these. You've got your balloons. That, that is a party, isn't it? You've got your balloons. You've got your beautiful foliage. You've also got your locks and keys. And you've got your flower power flowers. Now, this isn't just a stencil. You are going to get your booklet. Inside the book, again, inspiration with finished projects. Look at these. Again, label your stencils if you want to with letters. That's what uh, Sandra's done here. There's your padlocks. That could be opening the, the lock to lock it lane or whatever. And then here you've got your balloons and then you've got your foliage at the end there as well. So lots and lots of ideas and inspiration. Ideas on tangles to use within the actual apertures that the stencil gives you. But these, are these new? They're, they're not new, Dave. No, they've, they've been around um, for a little while, but they're a little bit different to stencils that I would normally do like the spring one you've just seen yeah these are um, working for a slightly different sort of area you can put them through your die cutting machine and emboss them yeah and then ink them yeah you can draw around them and ink them yep. you can ink them you can draw around the whole thing and you can create a wonderful piece of artwork so you could draw these draw a section of it tangle in them and then add extra bits and pieces so looking at the instructions, it does give you the different variations. So look at those finished leaves, projects, aren't they amazing? Look like little peas in the pod there, your balloons, all the different sort of ways. But you can perhaps pick one or two of these. It's entirely up to you. And then the instructions on the inside. What we can do here is you see you've got your flowers. And then here I've actually got your finished image. Mm -hmm. And then I've labelled, so in A, I've used this pattern. Right. And in B, which is outside it, I've used this pattern. Yeah. C, this pattern. So you see how it makes sense? Yes. But you can use any of these with any of the others. So quick demo. Do you want a demo yeah, on this? Yeah, go on. Well, All can right. I just let everyone know before we go into a demo that we've got more stock of the Archway stencil, OK? Uh, we haven't got massive quantities, but we were able to get more during that little break we had at 7 o'clock. So if you found that it said sold out, it should now say available at £16.35. First time that Sandra's done a frame in an Archway, and that's a really lovely um, image, obviously. Think of, like, window frames, door frames, uh, Archways, maybe that the people get married under. A really lovely shape. And at £16.35, 35 pence it's a, a really good price so we've got more stock of it if you want it it's just there there we go <laughs> there we go so you get your booklet you get the stencil and you get your stencil of course as well which is just here too there we go in all the different sizes so more stock of that has just landed if you wanted it and thought you'd missed out uh getting quick because it's going to go again probably very very soon hg1297 half okay. of the restock stock's gone not surprised. Okay, Sandra. All right, so 
I want you to imagine with, with this kind of stencil, you think, well, I want to do something creative or you've got a, one of the stamps and you want to do a background or something to go with it. And you're like, where do I start? You can take elements of this. So you see, I've actually got a couple of flowers there. So imagine putting a stamp in here, mm -hmm. uh, a sentiment, adding extra bits. So what I'm going to do is join up the lines. That's my first job. And I'm already now, see, I've got to join my lines here. There you go. Oh, Leslie. Oh, Leslie, she's going to tell me off because I've got dirty brushes. Hi, Leslie. Leslie, <laughs> Elf, of course, is uh, with Sandra at Santangle. Hi, Sandra and Dave. Hi, Leslie. Creative stencils are one of my favourites, can be used in so many ways. They, they can. And, and you know, I think just doing a five minute demo on here just doesn't do it justice at all. So let's have a look here. Look, I've got a C. This is just divine. Where did I put C? Inside this flower here. So let's do it. Let's put it in. Let's put in this one. Some in here. So I can come in look, and I've got bubbles. We love bubbles. You still love your bubbles, don't you? Yeah. There we go. So we can just sort of work a few up there, getting a bit smaller. And then let's draw a little line. It's almost like a little belt, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then line either side. And then another, turn it in a different direction. This is where your creativity can really come out. If you're wanting to slightly challenge yourself, but not in a way where you've got a blank piece of paper, mm -hmm. you can do this. So let's look at, for example, I do like overs and unders. So let's take a, a line over there. Then it's going to go under there. Look, it's going to come out over here. Yeah, I love these as well. And under there. And what am I going to do with that? Well, let's put uh, a double line on. So, you know, you've, you've got a starting point and somewhere to, to work through. Okay, a little bubble on the end. So we've got a bead on the end. Let's do a little bead here. <laughs> I think Leslie's uh, messaging again. I think she's telling you off this time. Is Sandra, she? I'm getting you new brushes so you can start again and not end up mixing colours. <laughs> I can almost hear you say that, Leslie. <laughs> she's probably wagging a finger at the screen at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, she's brought me some really little ones. They're fabulous for going in, you know, smaller areas. But yeah. she does look after me. <laughs> so there you go. I've got this lovely. This is giving me ideas now that it's going in and out. It's giving me some three dimensional ideas. So looking at this one, let's have a look at the leaf. OK, look at yep. this. So where would we do that? You could think, well, could I do it inside? Let's do it outside. Let's put one here. So it sort of gives you that little starting point again. But the end result's there if you want to copy it. But you can create your own version. Why not get your tangly trails out? Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's where the, the 20 sided dice and Oh, yes. Pick up Well, the on, dice decides the tangle. Yeah, all the different sort of sides. You could add these into your tangly trails as one of your cards, and then you've got to use whatever comes out of the dice. I've just found the flourishes. Oh, there we go. See, we were there. So. It was buried by the lotus flower. <laughs> Do you see how that sort of works? And then, of course, because I've drawn this in pencil, I could come in and add a little bit of uh, softness to create some three dimensions. Now, again, this is a very sort of quick demo on this and, and showing you just in the first five minutes of what you can actually create and where it can take you. You, you create such beautiful pieces and something actually you probably think you would never ever create yourself, but because you've got that little bit of a helping hint with you there, you can uh, bring it in. There you go. Look at that. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? Just a starting point. Imagine colour and everything on that. Now, more messages coming through. Sarah in North Lincolnshire. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sandra and Dave. It's been another busy day at HQ today. Yeah, another one. You're not telling me off, are you, Sarah? Love the spring stencil. <laughs> I'm currently working on something now. Oh, <laughs> see. Sarah's very... I say Sarah's very lucky. Because <laughs> she packs all your parcels. That's lucky. Because it's like sending out everything for Christmas, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, no, in the sense that she actually sees the stencils. She sees them being made as well as then obviously helping manufacture them. But uh, she then obviously gets to take one home and use it before you. Sadly, sometimes that's without the instructions. <laughs> but it's, it's, that's the way it goes. It's fine. That's the way it goes. It's fine. <laughs>
Now, oh, we've got another message from Chris yeah. this time. Hello, Chris, in Greater Manchester. Sandra, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on the new spring stencil. The flowers look so pretty. Uh, Chris, the official button pusher. All your team are messaging in. Oh, no, you're all at it to that, yeah. Like telling me off, it's fine. OK, now, one thing. Um, you know, we, we, we restocked the archway. There's one stencil in particular that we talked about this earlier on goes really well in the archway. And this is one that's really, really close to my heart. I love this stencil and I love this book, The Lotus Flower. The Lotus Flower is basically, there's the stencil for it. And you look at it, you think, how on earth is that a lotus flower? If you follow the instructions, step by step by step. Yeah, Dave, I have the original of that one. Have you? Do you want to see it? Yeah. I'll hold it up. Oh, wow. And that was right in the early days, wasn't it? This was uh, the actual, the first ever stencil that I did using this format. It's Can we see it? Yeah, they're not, they're not listening in the gallery. <laughs> they're not bothered anymore. It's Friday night. They're like, yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, look at this that. This is the first ever one that I did with this concept. So you can see this is the circle frame around the outside. Yep. So you could put any frame, but the actual lotus will give you instructions for how to draw that and one other as well. But I just wanted to show you that if you that. did go for the archway, this is going to fit inside the archway a treat and will oh, go yeah. really well with the archway. Yeah, it? yeah. I've got a bit of a demo here. It's got half a archway in there, but let me show you the lotus. Okay. Now, a little bit of a confession to make as well, because over the time with this, um, John's been at this. Has he? And every single piece is still on there, but he's moved them. All <laughs> oh, right. So when you look at the back of your, your booklet and you look at the stencil, you're like, is this the right one? He's just moved the, the two, I think, the two smaller sort of little shapes. They're still on there. It's just that you've got in a, a different position. In a different yeah. position, okay. yeah. So, yeah, guess who's not getting chips and egg for tea tonight? <laughs> so, so, yeah, but they're all on there. OK, so let, let's draw one. Let's draw one. Because this is where it all started. This is where it all started, absolutely. So if you haven't got this in your collection, this is a must, the Lotus. Yes, here we go. So I'm going to put a vertical line and I'm going to put a horizontal line. Now, how do you get a horizontal line on a piece of paper? Now, because this paper is nice and straight or square, you see how I've used the edge of the stencil there? And then I know that that's horizontal ah, because I've perfect. used the edge. Yeah. And again, when I did the vertical, line it up with the top. So you're gonna, you're never gonna get sort of an, an odd angle kind so of shape. Tips like that that make all the difference. They, they do. Yeah, of course they do. And now this is there's so many different sort of variations. So let's go with one that we can sort of work in a bit. Here we go. So you see again that line. Look, I've got the point. So I know it's in the, the centre bit there. Mm -hmm. So let's draw that in. Now we've got more stock, oh sorry, we've got some more of you wanting this and we actually have stock of the Lotus Flowers. This is going to be another sale. I've lost track of how many sales we've had today. Oh, it's been a busy night, hasn't it? It's been Thank a very you, busy night. Do you know, I'm so excited to see what you're going to do with it. See, two shapes. I've got the first little bit there. And then I can keep with this shape or I can swap it out a bit. So I'm going to keep with this one. I'm going to go with this one. And what I've actually done here is I'm putting the points on the cross. Mm -hmm. So... Let's have a look at it. I can see under the stencil, so I'm now choosing which side and which place I put it in. So I'm going to go there, and you're like, okay, how do I get that on that side? If I draw onto my stencil, and I'm going to put my little marks in there. Okay, I could even put a bit of that cross in there. Is that um, a permanent marker? This is my fine line. Yeah. Yeah, so this is not going to stay on. Oh, okay. I'm going to turn it over and then I'm going to line up all of those little points again. So you're getting the opposite, right? Yeah. I say get the opposite. Normally you'd have to get your head over it. You don't want my head in the, in the shot. There you go. Draw that in. You see? Now I can just rub those off. Yeah. Because this has been done with a Sharpie, the, the numbers aren't going to come off, mm -hmm. but my little lines are because it's permanent. So let's use this one now. And again, you see, I'm, I'm sort of creating as I go, so I'm not necessarily looking at the instructions at this point in time. Mm -hmm. I'm going with it. So let's do one. I don't know. Or we could do it that way. Oh, there's so many possibilities. <laughs> let's do it that way. Let's do it that way. And put that in like that. Now, this one is about to sell out, everybody. I hope you get it if you want it. Lotus flower, check your baskets out quickly. It it's about to go. And put that one in place. Now, this might not be in exact place because I'm 
sort of working with the because they overhead but you see you see how it starts to create I'm just going to put a little bit in the bottom here just so I can move on and show you sort of the next bit so you don't have to use the whole stencil you can use just part of it to create what you want to create mm -hmm. so then I can do another one sold out lotus flower has gone and then another one if I want to but the beauty of it is this here as well this yeah. little shape here you know when we all like to put those droplets let me just bring this one in these lovely little droplets so if I come down with a little row here now again I've got to sort of eye this up because it's got to be vertical and if I go in and draw those bubbles there you see and then I take this I can go with the inside or the outside let's use the inside and I'm going to line that last little dot up with my nine o'clock yeah and then I'm going to come round to three o'clock like so oh perfect and then I'm going to put my dot back on check on vertical and along we go and then of course you can join them up you can add beads on them whatever you want to do here we go and in we go there and then of course a little one there and you've got a range of different shapes so let's use that one that you could then add on the bottom love it so if i bring that one in you see i mean this That's is this has it. got fond memories for me i remember doing this with I you love this a one. couple of years ago um, and i've actually done this on gray cardstock you know the pearl gray yeah and I've used an oval frame in the background and with the blues on the coloured pencils. Oh, it is absolutely stunning. And by the stunning. way, we have also got stock at the moment of the postcards, which I know that's something that Sandra recently did. Um, if you want those, we've got a pack of those available. We put those on the show for you. And we've also got some folders which will hold postcards as well, which I think we can show you too. Uh, a pack of 40 of the postcards. There it is, it's coming back up now for you. Uh, 5 dollars and it's UT1296. UT1296 if you want the pack of 40 postcards and they're printed Santangle and a place for you to put addresses and that sort of thing on one side and they're plain on the other. Um, and they are beautiful, they really, really are. So if you want your 40 postcards to do your Santangling on and then post them to friends and that sort of thing, uh, they're there at £5.99. And if you want the binders to actually put your postcards in, we've got those available. I haven't got them out here, but we have got, I think, a picture of them to show you. Well, I've got one, Dave. Oh, you've got one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've got the. Which one would you like to see? We've got two colourways, haven't we? Oh. Well, the clear one for mine is no longer clear. Oh. Because I've tangled on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nothing now, nothing you is safe from tangling. Yeah, you could tangle inside, outside, because it's clear. And of course, if you wanted to, you could take a picture that you've done, as I show you on the back, put it in the back, and then trace it on. Oh. Wow. Use a Sharpie. You see, look. So yeah, then you yeah. can actually transfer that onto there. And then my intention is to go all the way around. Okay. Of course, it comes with 25 of the pockets. It does. So you can get 50 postcards in there. Beautiful. So you get two in each. each. Um, yeah, you get two in each front and back, yeah. And so if I show you with this one, I've got some postcards in it. Okay, so it's only 12 99 if you want it, by the way. Untangle on it. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, it's nice and subtle. It's in silver, but on this, it's so shiny. It's, it is on there. So what this one... This is available as well. Yeah, so here we, here we go. Look, there's my, some of my postcards in there. So this is 14 49 a couple of pounds more for the extra effect. It's Holland from last week, look. Yeah. So, you know, just keep going. There's a couple of bits I've done earlier this morning. So loads of space. So if you're doing your um, Santangling on your postcards and haven't got any way out or to put them, or maybe you're putting them in journals at the moment, they yeah, are designed yeah. for postcards, first and foremost. Uh, and that's actually come down to 12 99 too. So yeah, that will hold, is it 50, 25 pockets, which yeah, will hold, we'll hold 50. 50 postcards, mm -hmm. one front, one back for yeah. you. That's 12 pounds and 99 pence as well. Now something else that we've not touched on yet that we're gonna move on to now, I think, is the creating fantasy flourishes. Oh, this is really pretty. This is really gorgeous. Now again, you look at the stencil and you think, okay, pretty shapes but what can I do with it okay on the front you can see the five projects that are in here include these four and that one on the back as well but fantasy flourishes again number your stencil that's the best way and 
you look at the, what I love to do is look at the finished picture. If I look at that and yeah. I think there's no way in a million years I can do that. that, is, that is that cheating a little bit? Well, it, it gets me excited because <laughs> then I look at the start of it and I think, oh, I can do it. Cause yeah, it's just you look at that and you're like, well, it, what, what would you have said if I, you came to class and I'd have shown you the picture before? I'd have <laughs> before just said you're did. having a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I really would. I really would. But yeah, sometimes the... it's nice to just go with the flow. Yeah, I mean, I mean the pictures are all over the front, so you can see behind the thing. It, I mean, it, it take does. take your mind I'm back. Just, I'm just picking. <laughs> no, sorry. But take your mind back to like when you were at school. When I was in art class at school, um, if my art teacher had come up to me and said, "Okay, Dave, by the end of the class today, or by the end of today, or whatever, um, you're going to be making this." If you have a little look at that finished picture, there you go. Look at that. You're going to be making that. I'd go, <laughs> you trying to kid? Yeah. Never in a million years. <laughs> You'd but be out that, the door, wouldn't you? Sandra takes you step by step by using the stencil to create the outlines and the shapes, bit by bit by bit, line by line, step by step, you suddenly develop into something as beautiful as that. And that's what I love about Santangle because you don't assume that anyone knows anything and you show everybody every single line, every single yeah. step, yeah. which not many art teachers have ever done, I don't know. No, think. no. And now I want to show you how, how we can use this, but I'm going to use um, a dark piece of cardstock. So it's one of my postcards. Okay. And I'm going to use one of the shapes. Right. Just one okay. of the shapes. Okay. So let's start. Now, because I'm using dark, I'm using a white gel pen. You can use any. So don't think it's got to all be in black. It doesn't have to be. You can do whatever you want to do. So let's bring in number eight here. Now, notice how, look, I've just tested it on my hand. <laughs> so... With a, a gel pen, you've got to go a bit slower and it, it'll take a little bit longer to dry mm -hmm. <coughs> because you've got like, uh, it sort of sits on the surface and it's like, um, almost like an acrylic top, whereas with the fine liner, it dries mostly instantly. There you okay. go, drawn the first one. All right, easy done? Yeah. So then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to draw another one just above it, like that. Same shape, take my time, no rush. Check our website for white gel pens. I know various suppliers sometimes bring them to us. You used to bring them to us, didn't you? Uh, I have in the past, yeah. I think uh -huh. um, creative expressions do things like that, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going <coughs> to follow that shape. Now you think, oh, I can't do all of it. Stop and start. Mm. Bring it back in. Stop. See, bring it back in. A little bit of a curve. And I'm going to. If it goes a bit wonky, it doesn't matter. End. No, you know, no when you see embrace the finished, it. When you see the finished picture, you just don't see any... No, not at all. So ...wonky lines or anything like that. Let's do it this way. So again, stop and start. Stop and start. And then along we go. Into there. So th we've got this kind of shape going on. So let's put a line in the middle here. Imagine doing this with like a gold pen or a silver Ooh, pen. Yeah. And there. Yeah. And then I'm going to put little leaves at the top and then I'm going to come down one side with little leaves. Looking around it. All the same. So we've got that sort of muscle memory kicking in. Yeah. So this is where your focus starts to work in, giving you that little bit of mindfulness. I was going to say, this is why so many people say that sand tangling is so relaxing. You kind of lose yourself in what yeah. you're doing. And you, and you, notice, con you just concentrate on each petal as you go. Yeah. And instead of turning my page round as I go, I'm, I'm trying to make it as comfortable as possible. Although I don't want to sort of uh, lean into it. So here we go. All right. You mm -hmm. can bring an extra one in there. Again, so every time we're building up and adding that extra bit of detail. And remember, this is using just one of the shapes. So, you know, you, you could actually do these around, you know, the new arch, things yep, like that. Yep. Or around any of the, the ovals, it'll look nice with as well. Uh, it's it's kind of nice to work to. Now, the arch that we got more stock of is going incredibly quickly. It's about to go. We've got a few left that are unchecked out. So uh, remember, this is the latest frame. I know lots of you collect all the frames that Sandra does. There it is. If you want your frames, next few of you to check out will be lucky. 1855, brand new today. Brand new in the show, actually. Oh, 1635, beg your pardon for the arch. It's on the right-hand side. I was looking at the wrong yep. details. Increasing so the arch profit the margin there, Dave. <laughs> 1635 gets you the book with the inspiration and gets you all those different shaped and sized arches, which could be a window, a door, pagoda. It, absolutely. The, the possibilities, isn't there? Possibilities. 
I don't know how many sellouts we've had in these two hours. The stamps have sold out. We've got loads and loads and loads of, uh, lots of red on Alex's, the producer's screen, which means sold out. So if you've missed anything, sorry, I'll try and warn you. It has been a busy, a busy one. Thank you, everybody. Look, I've done leaves. I'm doing exactly the same thing, leaves. I'm yep. not, I've not changed at all. So again, if I come in here and put another leaf in, and it's just how it builds. And I think sometimes you need to see that. Um, and even if you think, well, the flowers or spring is a little bit too much for you to start with and you want to just give it a go, mm -hmm. this is a really nice one to go for because it's got lots of little variations and things in there that you can use, but they're not really intimidating to the point that it's got to make a final picture. This yeah. is a lovely sort of set of leaves in a sense that you've got you can work to so i'm going to bring a little curl in and it's kind of introducing you to some of the most basic shapes that we use and it's sort of saying it's okay if you want to go a little bit bigger with that curve and it's okay if you want to put two more in mm -hmm. it's just working beautifully Let's bring that one so in. you can actually kind of do exactly what the booklet suggests if you want to but if you want to put your own spin on it to make it uniquely yours do that of course so we've got those little bits going on what i'm going to do now is i'm going to bring a few little dots in now when you're using a gel pen with dots take your time because if you go you'll end up with like little like flicks on it and we don't want to do that with a, a fine line it's different and notice while i'm holding it upright because and with gel pens it's normally the lightest touch is the best idea isn't it, it is yeah it is and if you wanted to we could come outside and do some slightly larger ones again this is not necessarily in the instructions but you know you can go with you know we talked about creativity earlier with those other stencils mm -hmm. you can create little I think the first time I ever used a white gel pen, I actually pushed the ball into the pen. Oh, good I, I put too much pressure on. So just light touches with the gel yeah. pen. Yeah. So you know, I've never done that. Haven't you? No, never done You've that. got a gentle touch then. I'm is that what it is? I'm heavy handed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't say that if you saw me with a hammer and nails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the technology teacher, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I like the wood and things. I actually did a, a project with a group of year 10 boys right. on a Friday afternoon, you know, double class. Yep. And we'd been given some really sort of old beech wood. You couldn't really do much with it. So I actually got them, we carved spoons. Okay. And you're like, what? Like, you know, like a Welsh wood love spoon kind of thing. And all the, the lads were like, yeah, we'll do that. And okay, a few broke and you know, a few tantrums, but they had another go because it was, it was free wood. And once we'd carved these spoons, we tangled on them. Oh, wow. And uh, I, I'm, honestly, I have never known them so quiet on a Friday afternoon. I was going to say, what were Year 10 students like with tangling? Yeah, Did yeah. they think it was cool? They absolutely, well, the, the whole thing with the project, if you, if you didn't have any left at the end when they'd finished, you've done well. And I think I had, out of 24 students, there was one spoon left. Wow. And that was because he, di he didn't bother coming on the day. <laughs> so I, I still, to this day, and you think I've been out of teaching now, I think uh, 10 years, I think, I've still got my spoon. I'll find a, a picture of it. If not, I have got it actually in the, um, the, in the, um, the gallery in the, right. at HQ. I've still got it. I will photograph it and I'll put it on oh. the uh, Facebook page. So it's I've, I've quite found, delicate. But I, I found something the other day that really made me smile. Um, when I started in Shop and Telly 25 years ago, we always used to use rulers to measure everything. Yeah, yeah. And someone put one of their rulers in a frame for me and gave it to me as a leaving gift. And oh. I found it. I've lost it, and I found it yesterday. Amazing. They're cool. Yeah. Yeah, spoons are quite got, quite going to something, aren't they? Yeah. It's nice to sort of do. And I, I say I've never known them so quiet. It was just, it was lovely, and they really got in, involved. They were focused on what they were doing. See, I'm just putting some nice little borders in it's now. It's great, though, when you find little keepsakes like that that you've kept yeah, for years. Yeah, I wonder if they... I mean, you'd never know. I'm in touch with a few, you know, from school still, but I'd, I would never know if they've um, still got them or not. I bet some of them have. Yeah. OK, now what we've got to do quickly is remind you that the brand new item that we launched at 5 o'clock this afternoon is still available. But 
we don't have many of them left at all. We're approaching single figure stock. Now, uh, as I say, earlier on when I showed you this, it looks like a pile of wood. Well, it is, um, but it's cherry veneer, no ordinary wood. It's a cherry veneer wood, which is gorgeous. <laughs> and this actually is your very own tangling easel. Um, if you look at Sandra's that she's got on her desk over I'll there, it, it becomes over. obvious. Um, it's A5 size, yeah? This, A5? Sorry. A5? Uh, yes, A5. yes. So, yeah, you get an A5 on there. Um, if I just put this, this card, you see it's an A5. So, yeah, obviously, so it's, it's, a, it's a, like an easel that you can paint on, you can colour on, you yeah, can yeah. tangle on. But e even that, you can also use it as, as a display. So you can put something, maybe a book, or maybe you've got um, one of the colouring books that you're really proud of. Open it up, put it on there, have it on display in your home. Uh, but equally, you can put your tablet on there. You can, yeah. And it's a real simple slot together system. Yeah. The instructions are there. If you've put one of ours together before, you'll understand how it goes. Uh, once you put this in, it's not going anywhere. Um, in order to sort of take it off to write the instructions, I really had to get something in there and push them out, but they're not coming out. This, you've got a lovely little system here, if I just sort of turn that round, where it's, it's got a little disc and you see it just pushes in. Mm -hmm. So you've got this that moves. Here, you've got a slot together version, but then you make sure that your slots <laughs> are both the same. And of course, looking at it, you want to make sure that these are actually going to sit in so you see it's going that way. Now, obviously, Sandra's has so. been decorated. Yours will come like this. Yeah. So whether it's something that you actually want to tangle yourself and decorate, which I'm sure many of you will want to do, or whether you just love the, the look of that natural wood and that's fine for you, that's what you want, it's entirely up to you. So it's a, basically, it's a, a blank canvas, a blank canvas for you to tangle or decorate however you wish. Um, and there's no glue needed, like Sandra said, just literally slot it together. 26 99 loads of you came in for it earlier on. We did have triple figure stock. We're now down to virtually single figure stock, not many more than that. So if you want it, $26.99 is your price. DY1234. Have we got any more stock of the clocks, Alex? Are there any of the clocks left? Because the clock featured earlier on, and I know in the one o'clock show it flew. We've got, okay, a clock like that, including the mechanism, we've got two left to make your own clock. Obviously, again, just like the easel, it's a blank canvas which you can decorate, but look at what it can become. I know, and I have included in the instructions for that one how to actually create what I've done on the front there. Uh, you have got a couple of little uh, stands <laughs> there as well. They're yep. in there somewhere, but yeah, so it will stand on, on a, a desk. Or so that. that's the book Something that comes stuff. with the clock. So if you wanted to decorate it and recreate so, that, yeah. And it gets it comes with a mechanism as well. Yeah. All that for fourteen ninety nine. I know, yeah. And then step step by step on the back of how you put the clock mechanism together. It's very straightforward. I'm sure you know how, but I wanted you to put, you know, I want you to get it get it right. Okay. Well, no, the next I've put those the next there. two of you to check out. We'll get that. We can't spend any more time there, unfortunately. Now we're going to go back to Locket Lane, which, if those of you that are new to us, well, um, do bearing in mind. Or well, do bear in mind, of course, that um, we've recently been uh, on Virgin for the first time about a month or so ago. I think we joined Virgin. So as a channel, you may not have been watching Hobby Maker for a long time because we've not been on Virgin at all until uh, last month. So you may not know the story of Locket Lane. And Locket Lane is, how did that come about, Locket Lane? Is that where Dobby lives? Or? Uh, yeah, it came about because in, in a class we did a piece of artwork basically with a keyhole and on the inside it had got these lovely little townhouses little mushrooms and it had got a little mouse looking in right and that's I where remember. the mouse came from yeah, i remember um, of course it was so popular people were saying please bring out the, the secret keyhole so we did we did do a secret keyhole stencil and then you get to thinking well what happens behind this keyhole how does that work so of course you step through and you turn down the cobble steps, turn left. Into another world. And there's Locket Lane, and then down the bottom of the roundabout, turn right, and you end up in Halloween Hollow. Right. Don't want to go there without, you know, going twos. Going Halloween twos. Hollow, bit dodgy. But that's Anyone how it's. come out, came. but. <laughs> well, this is. Well, apparently, there's uh, the uh, gamekeeper or the, uh, the cemetery gardener was uh, moved in at the uh, old asylum kind oh, of thing. Okay. And uh, he, he left without his wife. Or, Came in with a wife, left without one. Oh, it so all goes on. There she is, don't know what goes on, what's happening there. But uh, yeah, that's Halloween Hollow. But you can see we've got lots of little variations now um, that actually sort of go behind this keyhole. And this is another addition. It's giving you extra houses sure. that you could actually recreate with your stencil 
or if you wanted to, you could use a stencil and, and bring houses in. And there and is add to it. a story to uh, Lockett Lane as well, which Thanks has been Lynn. written by Lynn and the illustrations in the front of the book to give you ideas as to how to colour them in, also done by Lynn as well. Um, but then you come on to, I mean, the quality of this paper that you use in all of your books is amazing. But whether you're using your um, pencils, we've got the wax-based pencils, we've got the water-based pencils in the show as well. They're on the website right now for you. But you'll have so much fun colouring these in. And easily you can remove these from the binder and trim off the perforations and then put them in picture frames. Have Lockett Lane pictures on your oh, wall. Oh, absolutely you could, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. You, you, you could, could have the whole story. The whole story. Oh, yeah. yeah, you could sort of like match them and see who lives next to who because there are stories there. Oh, hang on. That's um, why I'd like to move. Yeah. yeah. That's very me. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And you could. You, it's you escapism, could, isn't it? Well, of course. And you could, you could work out who lives there. and who, I mean, I've given you little pointers as to who does. So. And yeah. how do you reckon, what, what do you recommend colouring these in with? Is there a particular method of choice with this, yeah, with this paper? You've got, you've got variations, because it's super smooth. Okay. Um, uh, alcohol markers will work with it brilliantly. Okay. But just make sure, there's nothing on the back, but make sure you put something under or move your coil. That's so always you, the same with alcohol Always the same with alcohol. Yeah. My regular cold pencils, which I've got here, I've got some here, and I can show you that as well, work brilliantly. Build it up in layers. Okay. Well, All right, I'll don't tell press you what, on straight away, layers. Should we do that? Let's do it. Because so when I went to your workshop, and I'd never coloured in before using your pencils, but oh. I did it there, and I didn't realise you could put colour on colour on colour. Oh, yeah, you build lay layers as easy. Yeah. It makes sure it, your pencils will last longer, okay. and you'll get a better result in the long run. You'll get that deeper sort of three-dimensional effect. So these are your standard Santangle pencils. I say standard. Standard, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they're they're wax-based, basically, yeah. um, and these are what I used in the workshop with Sandra when I went up there a few months ago. Um, and these, I remember your face when you first got these. You were so pleased. I, well, I still am. You are, uh, yeah. They're, they're fabulous. I absolutely love them. Okay. And I use them most days, I would say. So these are twenty-seven ninety-nine at the moment, and they're in stock at the moment as well, which is a rarity in its own right. So TH1260, if you want to uh, do what Sandra's about to show you, uh, go for the Locket Lane colouring book. Treat yourself to these as yeah. well. Yeah, and I love the little verse in, in there as well. The making impossible art possible. Yes, well, that's you. I think that's, that's the, what we believe completely. And yeah. that's what I Absolutely. totally wholeheartedly agree with too. Of course, yeah. I think everyone so, watching would too. Yeah, so I've got this lovely house. You know the one we picked earlier? with the tree yep. this is number uh, 15 perfect for a larger family this place has six bedrooms all on separate levels so plenty of space for everyone the last owner had a lift installed so no no problem getting to any of the levels the kids think it's a great idea and they have fun going up and down it with their friends from number 14 so you can imagine the fun that's going on in this house so let's bring a bit of color in uh, I used um, to do that when I was a kid. I used to go into the department store and just spend just an hour and down on the lift. down the lift. I used to love lifts. <laughs> uh, or so, a lift operator <laughs> when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I, can't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never did that. <laughs> so what have I got here? I've got dark sea blue, mid sea blue, and summer sky, and a white. Okay. So let's start with my dark sea blue. Okay. And I'm going to do a little bit in, in this section here. First thing you'll notice with these when you use them is they are so creamy. There's no drag when you're using them, especially on this paper. So you, you see here, look, I'm actually coming in quite lightly. I'll just do a few so you can see where it's, it's going. So that's my darkest colour, OK? Then I'm going to come in with my mid. I know it's mid colour because it says mid sea blue on it. OK. Love these colours love them so again i'm just working over the top look and pulling it up into that space now you can still see some of the white of the paper underneath and when you do your first layer i would expect that because i'm doing it lightly see look summer sky oh. do you looking at your pencil there do you always have a really sharp point to your pencil or is it important to have it a bit Blunter. I do prefer a sharp pencil. These ones, I've, these are new. <laughs> I've just claimed a new set. So you see how they're a bit flat on the end. Yeah. I would put a little bit of a sharpen on them. Okay. But uh, because I'm working on, on air, you don't want to see me sharpen pencil. The white in there. Now the white we use with everything. So you can get hold of a separate white pencil as an extra. That's because on the website as It well, is on the website. it's the one that you'll get through first, I think. You will. Yeah. So now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add another layer. So this time you can see that the white is starting, or the white of the paper is starting to, 
disappear. Yeah. And this is now my second layer over the top of that. Of the same colour though. Yeah, use the same colour. Now I'm in my mid colour again. Yeah. But again, look, I'm working over the top. So layers are no problem. You can tell the quality of a pencil by how many layers you can get out of it. So, and then back into the light. Now I don't necessarily need to put the white back in because it's sort of stopping me going any further and it's blending that out into nothing. But let's look at this, but then let's also bring in a little bit of night sky. So it's a darker blue. And because I've gone over that now, I've got a nice little blend there. It looks lovely on its own. Mm -hmm. But if I come in and add a touch of a darker blue now over the top, I don't tend to put the darkest in to start with because there's nothing really to blend it out to. Right. But because we're using darker over the top of other colours, it sits better. What I like about this book is, as well is there's no rules with colour because no. it's fantasy. So you could have blue leaves, you could have blue trees, you could have pink trees, whatever. Of course, whatever you want to do. So look at that. So again, this is another layer and it's going over coverage, no problem. I'm just going over nice and lightly. And look how that bit layer's starting to build. Now, you could put a base layer of alcohol markers down mm -hmm. and then go over it with pencils and that looks stunning. You get an extra depth going in because it's taking the white of the paper away. Look at that. So let's bring in, there's gotta be in here, of course, Santangle Red. Oh yes. Yeah. It can it can mix with the reds, then into the oranges and the yellows, or you can mix it with the pinks. Okay. It's got that lovely sort of working sort of environment with it. Was that the so, hardest colour to find? Santangle right. red. Yeah, because it, <coughs> it it's one of those sort of colours, isn't it? And everybody knows it. It's not a, a bright sort of poppy red. It's got that little hint to the pinks. Mm -hmm. But as if I wanted to, I can actually bring in the light red and mix it with that. Or, as I say, I could mix it with the uh, the pinks. Now, what I found in with coloured pencils as well is when you get to um, the oranges, you know you want to blend it out, you only end up with a one orange. So in this pack, you've got a couple. You've got clementine, which is my main orange. You've then got mid-orange, light orange, mm -hmm. and then you can go into the yellows. So you've got, a, from here to go to this orange to a yellow is quite tricky. Yeah. But because I've added the extra sections in there, you could actually take it from the orange into a yellow, no problem. And was it, was it really important to find that, that lovely kind of fusion of the same colour family in different grades and stuff? It was because, uh, again, with my teacher hat on, it's all about giving you um, a chance of success. And I want you to be able to achieve and recreate what I've done. So if I just give you um, a dark red, a light red, an orange, and then a yellow, you're going to have to work harder. It yeah. can be, you can blend it, but you're going to have to work harder. But because you've got those layers in, it means that you can go from one to the other easier sure. than actually trying to sort of do it all on your own. Well, the Locket Lane colouring book, uh, you've got literally dozens and dozens of pages of hours of enjoyment and relaxation and fun. Um, it seems a sin to kind of keep the images in the book once you've done them. Take I them know. out, use them on cards, use them in frames, you know, put them around the house. It's a fantastic, fantastic uh, publication, this. 14 images to tangle and colour with inspirational stories, but you actually get them twice over, so there's 28, isn't there? Yes, yeah. yes, you get two of it. So two of why it. not cut one out and build it up and decoupage it? It's a good idea. Or actually build it up and make a bigger picture so you've got like two, one in front of the other, so you don't have to do it on top. You could do it side by side. Add a few different ones in, so you end up with a whole row. Absolutely, brilliant. There's so many things you do with it, you get quite excited. You could have a street on the wall, couldn't you? A street of Lockett Lane. Yeah, it'd be fantastic. Oh. Or like across the bottom of a, a, a wall, it looked lovely. Little, now, all I can do is apologise to those of you that have missed out on things that you wanted today, because we've had, I've lost track of how many sellouts we've had. We've had loads. Um, if there is still availability on the website, it will say that there is. If it says sold out, I'm afraid that's it for now. We'll try and get stock back in the future if we possibly can. But have a little look at the website, hobbymaker.co.uk. That's where you can go. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Dave. Safe journey it's been back. a pleasure. You it's too. It's been brilliant. I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock opening up things for Hobbymaker. See you tomorrow.